Yo, what's up, guys? Hello. Happy Thursday. Manny, it's good to see ya. Um, Nikom, Loken, what's up, guys? And Jason. Hello. Happy Thursday. We are here on the Dark Knight. Hopefully this shouldn't give me a problem. I did my research on Behemoth and it's um it's reminiscent of the old strategy with with just a lot more of a buffer. Um that's pretty much what it is. So we'll do healing strat as advertised. Um and then we'll see how the new living dead works. And it's as simple as that. Um you also Yavi and Rax as well. Shall we? In we go, it's time. I hear thunderstorms, so that's always great. It's always a good it's always good to hear thunderstorms. But I have a backup game if uh, anything goes wrong. Fubar, good to see you. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday today. Hopefully, we'll uh, get to clear today. It's been a while since I've cleared Palace. <coughs> uh, need to need to fix that kind of soon. Haven't cleared Palace in a second, so we need to uh, we need to remedy that situation. Yeah, get wrecked, dude. What's up, Biftek? Ganu, hello, hello, hello. It'd be nice to to do a palace run where I could only where I only have to pull one at a time, you know. Be like nice and leisurely, uh, single pulls. Up until I guess 171. The trace unit has has been excellent. Oh, Nikom, hey, I really appreciate that. Um, it's getting really serious. Um. And that would be the backup. I was trying today to reclaim world record. Uh, was not successful, unfortunately. But I feel like I have a route that can take over world record for uh, PlayStation 5. I just need to nail it. It's very hard. Um, so that's probably what you're going to watch a lot of it tomorrow. I'm going to practice probably a specific stage um, tomorrow before stream. I gotta do a couple other things too, but tomorrow before stream we're gonna work on a certain stage, which is the sewers, because I died there, and uh, we're gonna try to clean up that run. <laughs> but um, there was a video posted of some, like, so I have, like, I think I have an, a 1 hour 22.46, um, and then someone had posted a video of 1 hour 22.10 seconds. In essence, they beat my time only because I made a rather big mistake. <clears throat> and that's the only reason they actually have a higher time than me. And then I'm actually I actually have a couple things that are even faster now. So it's gonna be is if I again if I can nail it, and assuming there aren't any other times out there, which the speedrun.com stray category is is clogged and it is backlogged. But assuming no one else has posted anything, I have the fastest time if I can do it. <clears throat> I am really enjoying that speedrun, and to see the competition, there is now 60 competitors that have been approved in the PC, um, in the PC, uh, listing, and there are now 21 for PlayStation, and they're still on backlog, like, they haven't even finished, like, catching up with all the runs that have been submitted, it's insane. So many people. So, um, I, and I actually put Stray on my wish list. Because if that thing goes on sale, I want to get it, and I want to do it on the PC category as well. Because they're they're very different. Um, the only difference between the two is that the dialogue gets skipped like at blazing speeds, um, versus uh, versus on PS5. Like I was doing like a side by side comparison, and I can't compete. Well, not not that you're supposed to, right? But you can't compete with the speed in which PC can cut through dialogue, and th that alone is probably going to save like the three minutes I'm missing. <laughs> So, I would just be interested to see how my route plays in PC to see if it competes against them, but I'm happy with the PS5. Um, I learned about myself that I can only handle 50 floors a day in Palace before I feel burnt out. Okay. You got a limit, it's fine. I mean, you know, and, and also the, the environment in which you're doing it on and etc. all matters too, Biftek, you know? Like, I've always said that here, I don't mind the lower levels, but that's because I stream it, and then like more than half the time I'm talking with you guys. So like my attention is is not is not here the entire time, you know. So <clears throat> are you kidding me? I'm still not out of here. Oh, that'll be fun. I mean, I'm killing fast, but big ass board. Um, I got watch trades because one day I want to plan to buy it. Hey, don't worry about it. It's actually it is a pretty spoilery game. 
So if you have intentions of playing it, yeah, don't don't watch the speedrun because even though we skip dialogue, it, you you learn enough about the story because of it. Hello! What's up, Eric? Yo, they can get a shout out for Hollow. Our good bud, Hollow, the artist. Oh my god, this was max kill. What in the world? Hollow, how was your stream? I think we John today? You were doing arts. Hollow is an amazing artist. Guys, if you've seen my Mimic Bongo PNG tuber, Hollow helped me with that. That does not exist without Hollow. So that's how amazing of an artist they are. This isn't, uh, oh it's not, you're right, it isn't. Wait, it isn't? Oh, it isn't, right. <laughs> no one said anything! Here I am, I'm like on, I'm like, uh, on Astro mode. None of you guys are paying attention. You said you watched the stream. <clears throat> How was stream? Heaven on High was a lot more fun for you, the four patterns of palace make you feel like kind of clutch. Yeah, actually, true. That's one reason I kind of don't like the cave cores. It's so, it's so, like, tight and all that stuff, so I can see that. I, I've, oh, I've kind of liked, I mean, that's why I like the higher floors in Palace Viv Tech, because it feels so airy. So much space, not to mention you can see a lot further. Um, but yeah, I can I can absolutely understand that. There's more. Um, wait, should I? I don't have stun. Well, actually, that's interesting. Really. So I'm here to try, I'm, so I'm here trying, trying to kill my Gunbreaker and POTD because I have a spot to try to push with my warrior but the bastard will die and for it's still going strong. That's an interesting way to, to approach it. You want to die but it, you, won't, you, you won't die. Interesting. I still haven't played Shade and just ended up having your stream up to listen to while you're playing it. Fair. <coughs> I, had to, I finally renewed my uh, PlayStation account, my PlayStation subscription so now I, I am paying for the year instead of the monthly. Save like 60 bucks or something. And it looks like I'm gonna be playing Stray for a while, so I kinda need to do that. Otherwise I just pay for Stray, but I'm sure I'm gonna benefit off of PlayStation Plus in the future. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> maybe not. Uh one thing better layout heaven on high entirely. I agree with that one. I, I think 151 plus is the better is the best layout period. I wonder if the new Deep Dungeon will have um will actually create something that's even better than both of the Deep Dungeons, I wonder. I wonder what kind of what kind of layout they're gonna work with, you know? Just finished off commission and started doing something for stream. Nice! Excellent! I'm hyped that took time to do it. Yeah! Um, the only problem is that it's, uh... Is it a week after Harvestella? But I guess I don't have to rush Tactics Ogre, because it's, it's not entirely a new game. So I can, I can do that, I can do that in the future. Um, but I think it's a week after Harvestella, and I would definitely want to do Harvestella. But I, I really want to get to, to Tactics Ogre. It's, it's almost like um, it's almost like I have to, and, and I want to because it's 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 a tactical game, so that's up my alley. That is that is the genre I like to play. But it's like I have to because it's it's what Palace of the Dead is built upon and and inspired by. So I gotta I gotta know, man. <clears throat> yeah, I want to stream Harvestella. Um, the games I want to stream in the future is uh, Dio Field, debatable Star Ocean. Not sure. Um, Harvestella, and then it's Crisis Core. Oh, and then Tactics Ogre. Tactics Ogre gets added to that. Um, actually, I gotta wait for you anyway. Get Insulted Earth! Oh my god, it's friggin' please. Hey Pauline! How's the run going? Well, so far so good, we just started, but everything- Well, actually, we had a max kill, so that's great, but, um, you know, everything's so far so good. Group hello! Do you think your solo grind will extend to the new Savage Dungeon? Do you think it's like more Dungeon so? It will depend on what the content uh, provides. I am 100% diving into it when it releases. That will be my premiere content if, once, it, once it shows up. And it will come down to what the content offers for me to stick with it. Like it's basically gonna... It's similar to like Boja Duels. If anyone watched me do the Boja Duels when it got released, not Southern Front, but Zadnar. Zadnar, we did it when it released. Well, actually, what I did with Zadnar was the following. Uh, patch released. I spent all day in Boja getting to rank 20, and then getting honors unlocked, and getting a few honors. And then after that, stream came in, and then I started um, trying to hunt down the duels. Um, 
and we did that on stream for I think two weeks every day I think I think we did every day maybe minus one day but we did it like every day and we progged it blind which was fantastic man and it was so cool because um no one knew like like anyone could have legitimately come in and backseated me but no one did because they were all learning it at the same time and we were trying to do the full the full mechanics like we weren't going for a speed run so we were running the whole fight and that was such a fun entertainment but the thing is that felt like a one and done because once I beat it, I didn't have any desire to go back in and do it again because I got the achievements. Like, that's it. I got the achievements. I got what I wanted. We did the fights. We got good footage. You know, I wasn't really... Uh, there wasn't any desire for me to continue doing it on stream. So we went back to Deep Dungeon. So it all depends what the content offers. I mean, to be fair, if there is some type of competitive feel to it, if there's some type of repeatability to it, you know, if there's a desire for people to want to do it, you know, achievements, whatever, that that's going to help. And one of the things why Deep Dungeon keeps drawing me back in is because you have a leaderboard. You have people hunting down the clears, you know? Um, you have you can do it in all the jobs, and you have all the different challenges, so it just depends on the content. <clears throat> uh, Sig, thank you for the 28 months of resubs, I appreciate that. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Yeah, Dio Field Meep, yeah. The, the, um, the, uh, the demo is next week. August 10th. Is it a Friday? Wait, seven days? No, it's a Wednesday, right? So that's coming out, and I want to do Dio Field demo on stream, so you guys can take a look at it as well. Maybe you're like kind of, you know, you know about it, not really, you've never really heard of it. I want to do the demo, because it's also going to tell me if I like it, but more than likely I will, because that's a tactics, that's a tactics RPG as well. So that's already the genre that I prefer to, I prefer to play. Yo, Vesmo, thanks for the, thanks for the Prime. You followed earlier, uh, today. I know, I saw that, and then you did the Prime. Thank you very much. Thank you for so the stream. Yeah, we're pretty close to the Dio Field demo. It's August 10th, I believe, is that. Hollow's got a feel. Hollow is amazing. Hollow's always here, and they, they have, they're they in the weird time zone too, so like, they're here anyway. It's, it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it, um, not obviously when it releases, so whenever, if, if it lands on a Monday, which I guess it won't, so I guess I'll do it on a Friday, like next Friday we'll do the demo. Um, more than something like that. And then, and then again, I'll probably back it up to Stray. Although it also depends on uh, what's going to go on with RPG Limit Break if they accept my run. Because if they accept my run, then I will start bet. Uh, I'll get back into SOP because I got to practice. But um, right now it's it's stray speeds for a long time until I conquer and secure world record. I'm gonna be very motivated for this. Very very motivated. It's it's because I can smell it. I can smell the world record, at least based on submissions that I've seen and my current time that I can push, I can get it. <coughs> Zeth, good to see you. Um, MacGyver, which job, which job you consider easier to solo, first time heaven on high? Ooh. First time heaven on high, look, I always suggest in general, no matter what deep dungeon it is, to try the job that you're good at. Even if it's a healer, because you want to learn deep dungeon. Like, there's, there's two things you need, like, if you try to just pick a job that we're like, oh yeah, go the tanks, which Heaven on High, by the way, it's the tanks that are favored, and probably Warrior or Gunbreaker, you can, you can kind of coin flip Warrior and Gunbreaker. But, if you've never touched either of those jobs before, well now you're gonna have to learn Deep Dungeon and learn the job at the same time. So it might be better to go in as the job that you're already familiar with, that you don't really have to spend too much time learning how to hit buttons. Learn Deep Dungeon, and then see if that job is like up your alley. Maybe you like the playstyle, maybe you hate the playstyle. And then you can then convert over to the job that most people use, right? So give it that thought. But the, the popular job right now is the tanks, and you could really argue all four tanks, for Heaven on High specifically. Um, but just bear in mind that all the jobs have clear. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, like healers are probably going to give you a little bit more of a challenge, but... If you're really good at healer, maybe it is maybe it isn't as much of a challenge as it is to someone else. It's something to think about. That's not, yeah. I following your life troll for Paladin. Okay. Got two save files, 160, but I think I can pass the DPS check in 180. I think the Paladin is a little is a little out of date, but it should be a little bit smooth right now, especially with like Endwalker and stuff. I I just haven't gone back to Paladin, so it it is a little bit out of date, but that that burst should more or less be um very similar to what it would be an Endwalker. But it's just getting down the rotation, essentially like maximizing your rotation, 
Um, it's a lot easier too. You can probably start with either Goring Blade or um, or your final combo. I already forget the name of the final combo, but it's probably good to start there as the first button you hit, and then work your way through the rotation that way. So, uh, yep, pretty sure you can aggro. Um, yo, Rina Chan, thanks for three months. Thank you for supporting the stream. Thank you for the hype train, guys. Let's go. I tried having on High Reaper, and it was smooth sailing until 61 when I got instantly wrecked. Ah, yeah. Sounds like an honor you probably got to you, or Wakakuza. One of those two things. Or really, really anything on that floor can murder you pretty fast. But, um, it's okay. <laughs> it happens. Fortune. Oh, I can't use any. Tina, hello! Soggy, hello! Yeah, the, the stray speed, by the way, is very dangerous. There's a lot of ways I can die. It's... It's... It's hard. It's gotten so hard now. Now I'm like, I'm giving, I'm giving it more respect now. So I'm like, ah, you know what? SOP was a little more challenging with the RNG. And now I'm like, actually, actually, <coughs> Stray is actually pretty damn hard. I don't remember. I don't remember. It was a while ago. I just wanted to see how far I can go. And then, that's fair. That's fair. I can almost predict it was the big tentacle dudes that got you. It, that's usually what murders most people, especially if they're not- if they go in like without information. Cause- cause you fight them in floor 1 to 10. So you might be put into a false sense of security, you're like, ah, they're not too bad at like, you know, floor 4. And then you pull them and then they're like, oh! Guess I would start back at 1 again, that's literally what happens. Greg, hello, good to see you. Oh, Sig, by the way, if you're listening. I actually did hear back from my from the person I was talking to for um, Jabby, and they said they're going to talk with their manager and then get back to me. So there is at least a response. So, um, you know, still have to hold a little bit, but there is a response. So I will wait. I will patiently wait. Yeah. Yeah, a lot sooner than I thought, so. <laughs> about, a, about a week and a half faster than I thought. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I miss. Oh, I love blind. Blind is my favorite debuff. Oh, See now, how you doing today? It's good to see you. <laughs> Gotta pull the wiper. Wiper is a uh, prox, so we need to uh, eliminate it. Ooh, ooh, oh. Yeah, tomorrow, um, we'll be doing a lot of stray, like, all day stray speedruns. I'm debating if I will go live a little bit earlier, too. It just depends on how I feel, but, um, expect some stray speeds tomorrow. Nothing Saturday, so here's the deal. I'm gonna predict I'm not gonna get enough potions this week, so we might return back to Red Mage next week, which means I don't set up a file Saturday. Um... But I don't feel like I'm gonna have quite enough potions after this run. So I'll do another run to, to get another break and then we will head back into um to Astro week after that. I'm glad that unmend went off. <laughs> what a great, I'm happy. It makes me really happy. I'm doing well, mostly recovered from the cold. That's nice. Am I feeling well? I feel a little bit better. It's actually interesting. I woke up and I kinda still felt the throat thing, stuff like the phlegm in the throat. I was uh, coughing like whatever, but then as the day progressed, I felt like I was doing less of it. So it's kind of cool. So um, yeah, I, I, I guess I'm progressively getting better. It's hot as hell here though. It's really hot. Um, and uh, and you can tell when it's really hot when I have to bust out a t-shirt for stream. That's when you know it's hot as hell because I will always be in a hoodie. Not today. Oops, I shouldn't be doing that with Blood Weapon. Can't be losing a- Oh, 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 I forgot Blood Weapon is the- Oh, that's right! Oh my god, my brain up until right at this moment was thinking, Oh, Blood Weapon. I forgot Blood Weapon had the stacks, so I don't have to worry about my, uh, my timing with Blood Weapon anymore. Oh, yeah. That's why Dark Knight's so much easier. Oh, yeah. It all makes sense now. Okay. Alteration. 
Getting better, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> I'm hoping to dump the cock soon. So... Hey, thanks for the hype chain, I think. I don't know, my hype... The, the thing is always... Why do I have three item... What? Three no items in a row? Uh, you know what? It's getting it out of the way already. It's fine. And I should be not be using... Uh, I should not be using potions anyway. That's the idea here. I'm down a beauty. Hello. The B4, thanks, man. I forgot Blood Weapon was the stacks. Oh my god. Make Wildfire stack instead of a tight timer. Just want to be able to. Uh, yeah. With the. Uh, with the ping. I mean. When Yoshi P finally re when, when Yoshi P finally finally um understands that there's a ping issue for people, maybe you'll see it. But I still remember that quote. It was a quote from them that people were complaining about ping and they're, and they're like, "There's a ping issue," <laughs> and this is like recent. Like you guys are having issues with ping. That's interesting. It's like it's like eight nine years of like this game and they only realize it now. It's like uh yeah. Oh, I'm supposed to play an ad. I keep forgetting. When we uh, when we clear this floor, I'll do um, a one minute ad because we gotta get it out of the way. But can I time it in such a way where I don't have to? What times? No, I gotta do the one minute. Yeah, we gotta do the one minute ad. I'm trying to. I'm gonna try to weave in 30 second ads, but I forgot. So I need to. I need to get into that that mode. Um, we had an evening. With refreshing rain and also a bit of thunder, really cozy to sit through and listen to audiobooks. You know, <clears throat> I do enjoy the ambiance of rain and thunder, but over here I've got I've gotten a little traumatized a bit because, especially because when we had Hurricane Sandy over here, um, the intensity of the storm and the thunder it felt like it was literally right on top of you, and a lot of the storms where we are are usually very intense like they they come in pockets so like they come in for like 10 minutes 15 30 minutes and they're gone so it's not that kind of steady rain so it's always very intense and very loud so it's no longer like this kind of soothing the rain is but not the thunder but the lightning um so it's kind of i don't i don't quite like it as much unfortunately like like if i hear like a like um like a track like a like one of those nature tracks. That's fine because that's gonna obviously be controlled. But actual nature, I just I don't like the sound of thunder because I feel like it's just gonna just go crazy, you know. Hey, Al's, I'm doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. Um, is there a big difference between Dark Knight and the Paladin in terms of DPS? I hmm. So Dark Knight is bursty in 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 pockets, right? If I have full MP, I have full burst. I do feel like overall maybe Dark Knight has a little bit more DPS, maybe. But the benefit of Paladin is that you have Goring Blade, and it's the only tank that really has a dot that you can control. Gunbreaker has a dot, but it's only it's like a cooldown. And having the dot is kind of nice in Deep Dungeon. We'll do a one minute ad, by the way, so BRB on that one. <clears throat> um, it's it's nice with Goring Blade because you can kite enemies with a dot on, you can shield lob them and run them around, and that really saves you a lot of navigation time. So there's some benefit that that, that it has, but I think like compared like one to one, um I guess it's it is a little debatable between the two. I will say that the behemoth Oh fuck. Oh my god. All I have to do is hit one goddamn button, I can't hit it. Um, I will say the Behemoth though, I I think Dark Knight will be a lot easier on Behemoth versus um versus Paladin. Especially with all the changes that Dark Knight has gotten. And sometimes when it comes to tank, it really just comes down to Behemoth. How are you gonna handle Behemoth? Because the rest of the run is more or less the same for the tanks in my opinion. She don't have no items, hog. Well. One day I'll hit the right button, guys, I swear. Sight. We have such massive forest fires that nearly destroy our state every September or so. Rip. I can understand nature can be extreme. Yeah. And and like I said, it this is more of like the past couple, maybe like five, ten years, Tina, when I am. Um, so it sucks, but it is what it is, right? 
how the Howard climb is all messed up because of it. Vampire, hello, how are you doing? Oh good, I wanted you to come over here anyway. Oi! Oi! Right. You're not dead, why are you not dead? Hello? Hell? Please. <clears throat> I mean, the other thing I would give a benefit to Besmu to Paladin, is I mean, you do have better deals. If we're talking uh, Palace of Dead, that is. I mean, Clemency can save your ass. I feel like Dark Knight is a little squishy, because all you really have relying on is Soul Eater. Um, I mean, you have defenses that you can weave in, but it feels it does feel a tiny bit squishy. Hey, Massless. Ooh. Hey! Oh, I sighted, right? Okay, cool. That's a Luring Trap. Your proximity... Effigy is Sight. I'm new to the game, so I know nothing. Hey, it's all good, it's all good. <laughs> Ask questions for sure. And, and, and also, like, in general, there's definitely other things that, that... Like, if you talk about raid, it's my understanding that the tanks are pretty close to each other in raid, so like, at, at, at level cap. But, you know, my knowledge my knowledge is in deep dungeon, so I know what deep dungeon is, and at least that I can give you the, the appropriate response to that. But raid would be a little bit different of an answer. Um, you're an aggro. I personally don't like Dark Knight and Palestad because you don't have the Darkest Knight. Uh, I know, it's it, it's hard. I mean, to be fair, Warrior, you don't have inner release, you know. Um, Gunbreaker is probably one job that probably feels a little bit better, but it doesn't have too many OGCDs. Um, and again, Paladin, Paladin in itself is, is interesting because you have a dot and you can really do things with the dot. I need this chest. It's just a meme. No, 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 it's fine. I mean, that's why everyone's gonna have their own personal preferences and playstyles, you know? I mean, for instance, I I keep shitting on Monk in Endwalker. I think Monk 81 plus is fine, but in Deep Dungeon, I hate it with a passion. And I used to hate Dark Knight, uh, Dragoon, Dragoon. I used to hate Dragoon with a passion prior to Endwalker, and now I've completely flipped the script and I really like Dragoon now. So it's just, it's just your playing style, you know? If you don't like it, you don't like it, that's it. <clears throat> Doesn't need to get any more complicated than that. That's why there's 19 jobs. You're gonna like something. Is it Dark Knight? Nair, you had to kill 12. Is it Dark Knight? We had to kill 12 on 4? Was it? I don't remember. Dark Knight doesn't die to Living Dead anymore. Well, it's more like you can use Living Dead. Because, like, cause like, you wouldn't be using Living Dead, but now you can. But Monk had Real Earth. It does have. Oh, at 60? It doesn't really matter. It, that's not the problem. It, the defense is whatever, because your defense just makes you feel like you're a samurai or like a ninja without kiting. That was not the problem. The, it's the it's the way the job plays that I hate. Because because Monk prior to Endwalker felt like a fast job. It felt fast, you had a lot of OGCDs, you felt like you were literally punching the living hell out of enemies. And now it's like you're working with a combo system, and it feels so slow, and I hate it. And that's why I hate Monk. It's not- it's- I mean the defense- again, the defense is whatever. Yeah, I don't have the stances and stuff. That doesn't help any- that doesn't help the situation, but... It's more the playstyle is just- I hate it now. <clears throat> yeah, and like I said, 81 plus Monk is great. I- I was doing a little bit of 81 plus Monk in dungeons, and I'm like, Oh, this flow is real nice. Like, it, it gets fast. It, it- it- it plays really well, but... That's a job that- like, Reaper is in the same category, except Reaper just rips apart enemies. Like, Reaper feels very naked, 60 and 70. Your rotation feels very, very simplistic. But the job is meant to be played at 80, at 90. Which makes sense, I mean, you know, obviously. But it just benefits because it's a powerhouse. Monk, in itself, it's twofold for me. I mean, aside from it being feeling slow, and I'm used to the fast Monk. I mean, it lost all the defenses too, so that kind of sucks overall. But Monk does feel good on the bosses, that I'm not gonna deny. When you play against- when you do bosses on Monk, the, bo the bosses melt on Monk. It feels like a gunbreaker in that sense, where if you're in sustained fights, it will benefit. Or if you're in shorter fights, 
it gets irritating. And that's that's the other thing that's irritating about Monk is that you have to build your blitz combo, and I think that's timed, right? Like that's not sitting on like a permanent like a permanent thingy. So it's like you have to kind of plan ahead if you're gonna kill an enemy with your combo or finish or whatever, and that's just it's just it's just annoying. Yeah, so if you're going enemy to enemy, it's just it's just really just annoying. That's all it is to it. That's why I just don't like it. I don't want to have to think so much. I just want to just like hit my rotation and bop things, you know? I really like Dark Knight Palace. At least a few times I've done it recently in group, it's fun. Dark Knight Palace? The, the only thing I... like I, I mentioned this earlier. The only thing I don't like about Dark Knight is that it feels squishy compared to the other tanks. I feel way more... Um, way more tanky on the other ones. So... But I think it, it, it is a little bit better now. But that's always how I felt. I, I'm kind of looking for silver, uh, for uh, bronze here. I'm not gonna go too far. I've never considered you could use paint to pull. You could use a paint to pull. I mean, you know, 90 second pull. The quote of the look. <laughs> damage so bad makes you fall asleep. Well, again, in Palace of the Dead, you can you can use some advantage because of the dot. You can make some interesting plays with the with the with the with Goring Blade if you really want to. I wonder about Reaper. Once I get some stuff in like I bet Poetsu would come out come out of the one, two, three. You mean like regular PvE comp PvE content? I guess. But like in Palace and in Heaven on High, Reaper is is insane. It's just so strong. It's it's probably the strongest job, maybe second to summoner overall. I mean, hello. Quick question: What is the best way to progress through lower floors as a tank instead of single floor stuff? How do you how do you safely do landmines in one fifty plus? I gotta have balls of steel for uh, for landmines. Like you just gotta just be like you know suck it up and just do it. But one thing I would recommend, Amiya, take go into fifty one plus. And just go through 51 plus a couple times, get some sights, and practice landmines there. You know, I, I mean, the best way to learn how to do landmines is just to practice landmines. And it really isn't any different from the lower floors to the higher floors. The execution is about the same. You just have to, you know, just get used to pulling big and having the right time to do your invuln and step on the landmine stuff. But you can do that, you can practice on the lower floor. Uh, for for raw damage, I'd probably put Summoner first, yeah. I mean, you know, all the other details aside, I think raw damage Summoner is going to be the strongest. It's just absolutely ridiculous how much power it has. I think against Reaper, I, I think so. I think it is stronger. Stren Ooh, wait, wasn't there another Strength here? Did I, did I open a chest and not pick it up again, like I always do? <laughs> Pal Paladin and Palace is so boring, damn. You're not doing Going Blade tactics. You don't toss Going Blade and leash it for like... 20 minutes, that's a lot of fun. Just shield lob it to death. And put Going Blade back on. It's like, um... Oh, why are you over there? I'm gonna go over there to get that bronze chest. <clears throat> just copy ranking system, just do it for... I don't know what OTK's ranking system is. No, no. <laughs> Reaper does 50 more DPS than Summoner, so they're pretty close. Summon calculated jobs in... Ah, okay. Math. Good. I don't have math, I just have eyeballs. Oh great, I stunned him after I chirped. <clears throat> I managed to trigger a landmine without taking damage from it like twice on Reaper Egrets. Do you know if there's a way to make it consistent? I've seen people do it, and I don't know about consistency. When I tried it, I didn't have any success. That, that's as much I can tell you. I imagine sprinting towards landmine doing egress works, but it also might be a server tick thing, so I can't help you there. Every time I've tried it, I never was successful in dodging landmine. So I deemed the strat, uh, I deemed it not, not worth doing, essentially. Definitely practice it. That's interesting. What do you think of the top job to clear the easiest with? Well, Machinist is probably still top dog. Um, if I really had to, if you really had to ask me in terms of just the kit, 
Like, let's let's put this let's put the assumption down that you're playing all the jobs equally. Like, you have equal equal skill in all the jobs. Okay. So I probably put Steel Machine is up there. Summoner Reaper are really close together. Warrior is really good too. I mean, you put Warrior up there as well. A lot of good options. Dark Knight is what we're exploring now, and what a lot of people have been saying with Dark Knight kind of would say Dark Knight is up there too. I mean, I honestly would put Sage. I put Sage up there. And we're talking Palace, yeah, we're talking Palace. I put Sage up there, but that's only because I, I, I one-shot Sage, so that's kind of a biased opinion. Um, I had a good time with Sage. But, yeah, I mean, just a lot of jobs are really capable, but it really comes down to your ability to play the job. If you like the job, like if, if you if you play two jobs, okay, and one of them you like a lot, one of them you don't like a lot, more than likely it doesn't even matter if like let's say you're let's say you're warrior, right? And you really love warrior, but you really hate machinist. More than likely you're clearing on a warrior before machinist. Because I mean if you're hating life every time you go in here, that's not gonna help your your confidence level. You know? Motivation does help, for sure. Dark Knight Gang. Warrior having a high feels twice strong too, just testament how good. Um, it is very good. I mean, you can still make the argument for Gunbreaker, and I think people can still make the argument for Gunbreaker. Um, but I definitely have argued Warrior is still superior, uh, in general. Can I do this without potions? Question mark. Feels solid for my test runs. I only failed to run because I was accustomed to EW tactics. Gotcha. Yeah, Warrior's nutty. And that's why I do all my charity runs on Warrior. Which I, I still have to try to see if I can set that other one up, but that's why I do it on 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 on, on uh, warrior because I know I I know I can lose all my pawns and still make it happen. I think I do need the potion here. Ask me. The... I cleared a Reaper because I love to have a big silly edge edge lord scythe. You know that's all the reason you need. That's it. You don't need any other reason. Oh, I have reprisal. That's a thing. By the way, we are playing an ad when we kill the boss, guys. So. What we're gonna be trying to weave in is ads when you kill the boss, and then ads in the middle of the run, right between the floor transition, if I can remember, 30 second ads. So that's how we're gonna play around with, uh, with that stuff. I'll always have to repeat it though, because you may not always have new people and such. <laughs> okay, then do I really have to use a potion here? I mean, I guess I can steal. To mitigate the potion. Actually, I think I will steal. God, but he needs steal for the other floors. To steal. This is to not use potions. The only reason I'm stealing is so I don't use a potion. That's it. Well, this place I, I honestly sucked in Machinist and I couldn't get past <coughs> 173 as before I can get the team guaranteed everyone. Yeah. It's playstyle. It really is playstyle. I mean, we're all we're all unique individuals. We're all gonna like something and hate something differently. Can't be <laughs> you got a donut bunny. I need to conserve for Astro. I need my drugs for Astro. What's up, ma'am? How you doing? Boop, 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 boop. We can get a shout out for Donut Bunny, by the way. She is someone that is working on Machinist. And she's made it to 171 plus a number of times. He's, you you want to watch a necromancer, uh, a, a person that's gonna potentially get necromancer, then you gotta watch her do it. Thank you for shouting her out, guys. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm getting better. I feel like I'm getting better at least. One would hope I am, but yeah, I'm feeling a little better. So thank you for asking. Hope you're having a wonderful night. Oh. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Better not do that on Behemoth. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just really hot. It's just really hot here. Yeah. <laughs> it's just really hot. I think, I think, I think, I think you know what I'm talking about. It's like really fucking hot. Living is on fire too. It's just be both. Yeah, 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 yeah. Today was just like exceptionally hot for some reason. I was trying to, I was trying to, I was trying to get a new record on straight today, and I was just sweating so much. I moved away from Mississippi to to escape the heat. Here, I still, I would still prefer the heat though. Like it's hot as hell, but I would still prefer heat over a cold. Although my PC would say otherwise, to be fair. It would actually I would actually prefer it to be cold in in my office room if you will. <laughs> Had to go shopping. I got home just dying of heat. Oh no. Rip. Alright. Three minute ads, BRB. Also people. There's people everywhere. It's hard to move away from the people. Oh, I forgot to use food. Oh. I actually brought um I, I did bring uh I'm gonna do skill speed food for Behemoth if I remember to use it. But I'm gonna be using my go to Archon Burger for uh for my climb. There's one time that I lost power from a snowstorm. And my heat runs on electricity, so I turned my PS my PS4 to my to warm my legs. Nice. Yeah, it is a it is a portable heater sometimes, you know. Don't talk about burgers. I'm hungry. I have Archon Burger, pickled herring, Saiken cookie, and then I have the beef stroganoff for later. I also have uh, Miss spinach quiche. I have Thabnary and corn. What other food do I have? Well, that's what chocobo is. You don't want chocobo food, do you? I have iceberg lettuce. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like ripping off like a recipe reborn uh, menu or something. Oh. That's a conal. That's not a gaze. Food? Hell yeah, dude. Do you need a head of iceberg lettuce right now? All that water. Come here, Gubu. You make my life miserable in Astro. Now I want to destroy you in Dark Knight. This is nice, you know, this is nice and relaxing, you know, pulling one at a time, just chilling on Deep Dungeon, no need to worry about double pulls. This is like a vacation right now, literally a vacation. Is the water content the reason it's called Iceberg Lettuce? Um, I'm not sure. You shot enough the whole run, I was afraid I would forget in 180, that's fair. I don't think it's gonna be a big deal, because I don't think, I'm not sure if Chila used, uh... Be strong enough on her run or spell or skill speed. I'm not sure. It didn't look like it did, but I'm not sure. House of Ice, they would pack like green before the advent of the. Ah, there you go. Google for the win. Fortune. Okay. Oh crap. I bet he moves in this direction though. For no other reason other than he's a jerk. I'm just gonna drop uh I'm gonna drop it. I need oh he didn't go this way. Hey -o. Hey, welcome back from the ad guys. Appreciate your cooperation a lot. Don't worry, you didn't miss much. Dude. Yeah, I do want that chest. 
This is the best armor to do any content in. Dude, I love this. I just wish I could, um... I wish I could... Um... Oh. I wish I could... Change the glow color. I hate that it's just stuck on- it's stuck on yellow. Um, Luna, hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. I appreciate it. This song is from a dead game. A dead Final Fantasy game. In case anyone was curious. <laughs> It's, it's true, the, the game's dead. I mean, you could probably get a private server for this game, but the game, game's dead as a dead AF. Spoilers. Well, the original SOP. Well, that is this one? No, this is Mobius. How do you not get nervous keeping your palms that low? My palms are low? Wait, my palms are low? Wait, really? My palm's on the Oh, you're gonna aggro, aren't you? You little piece of crap. Oh, you You max out palms early and keep them max? Um, because I'm always checking chests, so I never really worry about it. I mean, I'm looking at my palms, they're not low at all. I mean, I use the steel, but the steel is inconsequential because I'm a tank. I'm full on strength. I mean, I use the, uh... Oh, I had a resolution. Oh, I had a resolution here! What? Um, I mean, I just used the race because I had a free one. The only thing that's down is purity, but that's also inconsequential because I'm a tank. Lust is down because I used lust on the boss, so my palms are fine. <clears throat> yeah, but I, you know, hitting number nine is very difficult for me. Let me tell you. Seeing a glowing glam, I'm grinding relic weapon for my paladin because I found an easy, an easy, brilliant light window. Oh. What is it? Is it a? Uh... Is it is it PvP? Because I know a lot of people are doing Frontlines, I think, right? Because of the Moogle Tomb event, Tome event. Frontlines is back in order because it's it's cycled back to Frontlines. I find that I only I only need to start con really conserving 151. Yeah, it's about that. I mean, 141 too as well, depending on the job. Um, but for tanks, I'm not really gonna be too worried until like maybe like 160 or something. 161 is probably where I start actually worrying about. Um, a little bit on time. That floor tends to be a little, little spicy. Oh, I gotta get sub to Nobby stream. Let's go. Um, I guess I'll go this one. Shiva X? Oh, okay. Adrian forced me to stop being obsessed about keeping Palms Max out. Yes. Well, that's a strategy we employ for Heaven on High. That's where I learned about it too, Vampire. You know, that's that's what I converted into instead of instead of keeping things at um, at max. I did I actually up until I started doing tanks, I would keep it at max and play with what the game gave me. But then tanks, especially Dark Knight, that's when I learned that I need to be more aggressive with with palms, and we had so much more success because of it. So, Alice is just different though, like. It does benefit you to go a little aggressive on palms, but you don't do it as much in, in Heaven on High because it's not as necessary. Keep palms until you let you pick up and go, also let you use palms when you're done playing. So yeah, that's the, that's the thought process there. That's the idea, especially Heaven on High, because the, the original thought that I had with those strategies was that um, it was the penalty of picking up a Petrify and a Magicite after you cleared the floor. And that felt like it hurt more than if you're just sitting at 2. And that's where it all started for me. That was the logic I gave myself. Okay, at least we maximized our use of Petrify. Then it kind of converted into more of the other ones. Like Strength and, and Flights and all that stuff. And then, of course, now in, in Heaven on High, you're just way more aggressive on Flights because it benefits you later on the, on the, on the later floors and such. Am I excited about Ogre Tactic Remaster? I am. Yes, uh, that is a game I will be playing at some point. But Harvestella is gonna be uh, Harvestella is gonna take priority. But I will I will do Tactics Ogre at some point. That might bridge me to Crisis Core. It'll be um, <clears throat> it'll be Dio Field, then Harvestella, then Tactics Ogre, then Crisis Core. For me, aside from competing with Stray as well, because we'll see about Stray. 
and SOP. <laughs> it's, a lot, it's a lot of games. A lot of games. But I don't think Harvestella and Dio Field are gonna be speedrun games for me. Or Tactics Ogre. Maybe Crisis Core. We'll see about that. I can play that way in POTD up to about 130. After that, I've started using them. <coughs> for... I played so fast and how it's irritating. I was I was fairly aggressive and held on high. Well, you're you're learning, dude. It's all about learning. You'll find your balance. Pushing. Oh, I wish I had plunge right there. That was nice. It's nice to have a gap closer. If it helps, you learn to hate 141 and 150 as well. It's true. It's really good. It has a good story. I never played the original, but I I always. It was actually a common question I got, Pauline, when when I arrived in doing um, Palace. It's not as it's like a not not like an everyday question. I'd say like maybe once once every two months or something. Someone would ask like, did I ever play Tactics Ogre? You know, and I think it would always kind of follow up the question because I always expressed the fact that I liked FF Tactics and I liked like Fire Emblem and stuff. Um, so now I get to I get to enjoy it, and it is it is a it is a um, it is a genre that I adore in terms of gameplay. So I it's just. No question I'd play that game. First time I got it was the PSP remake, gotcha. Half of it was you! Well no, I wouldn't say I'd say less than half of it. <clears throat> Speaking of 13, Yo Kaiba! I was there for the GBA release of TO but only for EU. Damn. Well thankfully we're gonna have a global release. I'll take one third, I'll take one third, I'll take one third. Just don't spoil me in the game, I got, I'm gonna play it fresh. I don't play it. All I know is that there's Palace of the Dead, that's all I know. That's a dead end. Oh, come on. Oh, that's the exit. Let's go the other way. Good old blinded by light. Oh, I need to weave in 30 second ads. I forget. I keep forgetting. Captured! Oh! I wasn't looking. Nice. GG on me. <coughs> well, no more purities, guys. I was looking at chat. Feels bad. Intuition? Sure. Mummy has to go because it is Prox. Good movement. Uh, Witching will save, just in case. Um, I'll drag you, let's go. Silver chest. last room. Take your pet, I, I will. Yo, Para, hello, how you doing? Alteration? Sure, let's do another alteration, so I can fight more mimics and not use int intuition. Uh, interject, rather.
No dice. Take it like a man. How are you doing? Welcome in. Fine? Good. Good to hear it. Okay, let's go. What was that other chest? Oh, witching, witching, witching. Uh. Okay, you're here. Excuse me, sir. Ma'am? Sir? Ma'am? There's another one. No, I pulled the other one. Okay. Alright, 30 second ad. 30 second ad. BRB. Light's good. I need to pull something soon. Alright, welcome back from that 30 second. We'll do another, we'll weave in another 30 seconds when I get a chance. Mandy's. Okay. Why, hello there. I don't know where I can find the PRTD DPS. <coughs> PRTD DPS per class list? Oh, someone was mentioning that, right, Raxus? If you have that, let me know. I don't think I have it. Yeah, I, I don't think I have it. But if someone has it, just speak up. We'll let you post it. I honestly didn't know there was one. So. That would be interesting data though, to be fair. I guess no one has it. Well, I'll keep it in mind. Yeah. Phrasing? Ooh. I love insurance. Start once. Well, if anyone, if anyone in chat has it, just let us let me know. We'll permit you to post it. I just didn't know there was one. And you know, I'm not someone who likes to to have to talk to talk too much about leaning towards like a job choice or whatever. But I mean, that's that would just be math, I guess. Math is math. Can't we really argue math? Um, was this last week? What is this? I don't remember what this was. Oh, surrender. Okay. To the uh, next floor, which is flighted. I need my purities. I don't have purities because I'm dumb. Mostly. Steal. Yo, what's up, Loki? How you doing? I think it's raining really hard outside. I, think I hear rain outside. Apple. Why do I keep getting stuck on my arm and armor? Well, I hear the thunder too. I don't know if that came through the microphone. Well, if something happens to this file, and we don't clear, I will do it again. I'm kind of assuming I'll hopefully get the clear today, but if something happens, we will do it again. <clears throat> do I ever get bored running Palace? Um, I don't know. Get back to me in like a year, I'll let you know. I've been doing this since... I've been streaming this since 2018. 
I've been doing Palace since it got released in like 2016. Um, I'm, I still do it at least once a week. I mean, maybe at some point I'll get bored. Have to stay tuned to find out. But I will say though, Molded, um, I have edited my schedule in such a way that I think has helped me keep the motivation of going back in here. So what I mean by that is I do Palace once a week. I don't do it off stream. I only do it on stream. So I think that kind of that kind of helps a little bit where I don't get I don't feel burnt out on it. If that makes sense, right? And that's how I've been kind of I feel like that's partial. That's part of how I've been able to maintain doing this for like on on stream specifically for like three plus years. <clears throat> um. Because then I also get the balance between this and, and Heaven on High. Because so, so I I go from Palace, so I go to Heaven on High. So you kind of get the change up. Um, you still get the you still get the fun part of the deep dungeon, but you're doing it in different in different zones. So it keeps it fresh for me. I think that helps where I don't get bored of it. And then not to mention you have the new one coming in. So the new one's probably going to be cycled in too, right? And and more than likely, what will happen with the new one is I probably put Heaven on High and Palace on the shelf for a month or two, because I gotta focus on the new one. And then I get like a I get essentially I get a vacation from Palace and Heaven on High, not because I needed it, but it's just by the nature of the patch stuff. And then that that refreshes me, you know, that that kind of refreshes the whole thing. So. Wow, two thousand. You think I'm gonna clear in two thousand forty-five? That's pretty generous. Yeah. Yeah, the the different jobs is also another thing. If I had done Red Mage for three and a half years, I don't know, that might be very tough. Like how much more am I how much more gonna am I gonna push that job, right? But by changing jobs we're pushing that limit of the other jobs, therefore you're given different looks. And I think also the fact that that you're doing it because it helps other people as well is part of the part of the motivation too. A lot of times I will definitely say I take in jobs because someone asked me to. Or someone I had had asked about a job, and I'm like, you know what? Let's just do it. Let me showcase it to you guys. You know, whether I clear or I don't clear, at least you can see it visually, and then you can decide for yourself, kind of thing. That kind of helps me get motivated on it. Dark Knight in essence is, is a little bit is a little bit of that idea, um, because I had a lot of people asking me about Dark Knight, and not to mention. You know, wanted to see the healing strat, so we're gonna do the healing strat today on Dark Knight. So a lot of things come into play. Third deep dungeon, there will be spells where you don't see one of them. Yeah, um, well, for sure. I mean, on release, you're definitely not gonna see. You're not gonna see Palace and Heaven on High for at least two months. But how I how I adjust the schedule, we will see. But getting all the information out for, I mean, what will what will probably happen, Logan, is unless there's a job update. I probably don't step back into Heaven on Higher Palace for for like any reason other than a refresh. Cause cause I mean you don't really like you don't really need to update information, right? Unless it's a significant job update. But if that doesn't happen, then I probably just sit in the new one just try to clear all 19 jobs. Which will take a long time to begin with, and depending on how many floors they decide to go for it, that could also mean quite a bit too. I mean, if it is if it is jokingly 300 floors, then I mean that'll take me a whole week just to do a single run. That's 19 weeks minimum. That's a lot of time. That's my other. Oh, that's for fortune back next. Okay. I need this. I'm gonna check. Oh, I'll go here first. Do, do. Oh, I gotta do a 30 second add on the next floor. You'd be disappointed if it's 300 floors. Like I said, it's like. I'll, I kind of won't like it either, but it's not like I'm gonna protest the content. It's like, okay, well, I guess we'll just figure out a way to do it on stream. That's it. There's clearly people who are gonna want to do it, so we gotta do it. Just, just basically, just like you know, shrug and just do it, kind of thing. But yeah, I kind of would prefer it. I really would prefer it to be 100. 100 would be kind of perfect. Is that another rage? Guess. Yeah. What is this? It's like, uh. Yeah, I'm just not gonna go back there. Alright, let's just go. Alright, 30 second ad, one more time. BRB, 30 seconds. It sets me up for, uh, I think 40 minutes now. Go no ahead. Yeah. Let's 
Strength is good. I can use it now. It's not gonna carry me into the boss. I want to have Strength for the boss, but it's too early to kind of min-max that. So I'm not gonna get to the boss in time. Three hundred floors would be somewhat manageable if it's three hundred interesting floors. True. If it's a, if it's two hundred fifty fluff floors, I think that's gonna be tough for a lot of people. That's one of the complaints of Palace already. <laughs> so, welcome back from that quick ad, guys. I appreciate that. I gotta clear this up. Oh crap! Don't come this way. I gotta fight the air muffin. Here. Oh yeah, good. Good! What I need is the Aramon. What did I spawn? Troubadour? Okay, the Aramon just needs to die first. <clears throat> and the cow needs to die next. Yes, I can do it. Steel is down. Alright, so we do the guard next. Have I ever played Dragon Guard? Nope, I haven't played that. I was spamming Super Potion, hello. Did Essie show off the Magicide to a new Form Menace for Heaven High before it came out? Um, not that I remember. I don't remember what that happened. I think you probably saw it on free patch, but I I don't know if I was tracking live letter back then, so I don't know. I think live letter might have been like in the in the dead hours again, so I, I I don't recall. I just I do vividly remember reading the patch notes and studying all that before the patch came out, and that's where I kind of knew about stuff, but not before then. Because it would just be bad according to Logan. Gotcha. Um, I'm taking my first actual Necro run, solo, 10 floors a day. Just the one, just at the 40 buff. Nice, okay, let's go, frog. Ooh. The light grind window has closed, so that's my cue to head off. See ya, Tina, have a good night. Thanks for passing by, as always, my friend. And I hope you have a wonderful uh, sleep and weekend and all that stuff. Actually, I may not see you tomorrow, because you said you're avoiding stray spoilers, so I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Alright, cool. Two hundred is just right for a sl the slog run. I mean, so Logan, here's the here's the thought. Here's the thought for you. Let's take Heaven on High, okay? Heaven on High is hundred floors. What if they tack on hundred floors to Heaven on High, but it ramps up difficulty from what it felt like ninety one plus? Like, would that then make two hundred like really awesome? And I guess equal to that, if you have Palace of the Dead. And you, and you tack on 100 floors, but it ramps up from 191 plus, so it doesn't get weaker. I mean, would that be more enjoyable? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, practically speaking, I don't know if that's viable, but just for the sake of argument. Like, would that actually make it enjoyable? I, I think it would make it enjoyable for me. I think what makes Palace tricky is that you have the quote-unquote quote unquote, boring-ass floors, you know? Sheila, good morning. Good to see you. I can't look at Chad right now, though. I hope your Elden String went well. But I woke up late again, so I didn't really get to see much of it. I hope it went well today. This one? I'm doing pretty good! I feel pretty good. Not quite cured, but I'm feeling pretty good.
Y you know, that would be interesting, Logan. What if they add in 100 floors to Heaven on High and, and, and Palace of the Dead, but then they they make a 90 cap? <clears throat> interesting there, huh? I don't know. I just love- I just- dude, I just- I crave a challenge, man. I just crave a challenge. Give me a challenge and I'm doing it. That's it. That's just all it comes down to. The four of IRL hypnosis, true. I could take IRL hypnosis, that'll help my sleeping. A little more randomization so you really have to think on your feet. Yeah, there's a tough balance with, with randomizing RNG for sure, but you know. I'm sure they'll find a they'll find something that works, that'll be fun. I mean look, they they I mean to be to be fair, they've nailed the first two deep dungeons, right? And they've had four or five years to think of the next one. I, have, I really have a lot of faith and a lot of confidence we'll get a really cool- we'll really get a cool third beat dungeon. Yo, Tusker! Thanks for finding my channel! It's really hard. Probably dug around just to look for it, but I appreciate that. I didn't read the rest of your message, so hold on. I have an Aramon. Aramons like to petrify me. Okay. Um, any quick tips on soloing on Machinist? Ooh. Well... Running gun. I mean, never stop running. That's for sure. Hug the walls. Um, one of the things I like to call I, I like to call it a machinist Tusker is NASCAR. For for Palace of the Dead, which you're watching right now, it's it's like a long runway. You like run along multiple rooms, and the rooms are usually big, so you have a lot of space. Heaven on High is a little tighter than Palace, so a lot of times what you do is you pick a room and just run around run around in a circle. NASCAR. That's that's why I call it NASCAR. Um, and as long as you're hugging the walls, you'll avoid a majority of traps in general. So that's kind of the strat that you do in Machinist. But in general, it's just run and gun. You know, don't stop moving. Utilize your utilize your uh, leg raise a lot. Have bind ready just in case for emergency. But it's kind of the same strat you would utilize in um, in Palace of the Dead. Really, it's just run and gun. Don't stop moving. Maintain your DPS. That's how you have success with the. Uh, that's how you have success with Machinist specifically, and Machinist is very good. Um, I think Machinist, honestly, Machinist is the popular one for Palace. That's the one that most people will try to clear on Palace because that's what a lot of people will say, and there's a good reason for that. But in Heaven on High, the tanks take precedence because their 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 job kit at 70 is so much better than their job kit at 60. So a lot of times you'll hear people say warrior, gunbreaker, tank, 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 tank. But in all honesty, Machinist is slightly better than it was in Palace. It doesn't lose anything in Heaven of High, and it's a fantastic job. It's just, you know, the enemies do hit you harder, you probably have a higher risk of dying, but in reality, the, 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 the strategy you employ in Palace, just, you just copy-paste it to Heaven of High. And you'll have, if not the same success as you will in Palace. So, just curious, why do you have numbers turned? Why do I hotbar numbers turned on? What do you mean hotbar numbers? Like where you see like one here? I've always had it on. I've never turned it off. I guess is one way to put it. It never bothered me. Actually, like I don't really need it, but the numbers on the left of my hotbar. Yeah, all these here. Oh, I don't know. That, that can you turn it off? I don't even like to turn it off. Um, so who knows Zeppo is winning and Asmund thought about doing it to you? Well, Asmund has always thought about doing it. I haven't played Heaven on High yet, but after dying a lot in Palace of Dead 171 plus, I think it'd be okay with 150 floors. That's with you being really hard. I want all 100 floors to be hard. Wait, did, did I get a resolution? I did. What's the resolution? Okay. Uh, Machine is better for Palace. Damn, I'm using Warrior first to try Natural Heal. Well, it's, it's, so... KJK, it's it's personal preference, just bear this in mind. Warrior is very good. And you're talking about two extremely different playstyles. You're talking about something that runs and guns, which is Machinist. You don't want to get touched on Machinist. And you're talking about Warrior who sits and tanks everything. So you're so they're very different playstyles, and it will come down to what you prefer. I mean if you don't like running and gunning, then don't force yourself to do machinist. Warrior can do a lot of work. Um but for me, I, I personally do like the running and gunning. I like the kiting. It's it's the playstyle that I prefer. So I, I do it really well. Um, 
And there's a lot of reasons why that job is very successful. And it does, it, it based on Shadowbringer numbers, it did have the most clears, to be fair. Now, in Endwalker, it can be very debatable, because a lot of jobs do very well, and you know, we just don't really have the solid numbers to give you, like, a... Like a, like a, like a, an actual, like, math, mathematical statement of what's kind of the job that people are gravitating towards. But, you know, it's gotta, it's gotta fit your playstyle first and foremost. I use my mouse? I can't demonstrate the, the thingy unless I use the mouse, unfortunately. Outside my, uh, ability in here. There's no undead here. <coughs> I hate that in the I hate that in the middle it feels so so easy boring. Oh, uh, I'm I'm tank physical main DPS outside of palace, so I like to be up close and personal. That's why. Yes, yeah, and and that's enough reason, you know. I have seen enough people KJ that have tried machinist and they they swapped off. You know, a lot of people. You 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 asked twenty people. Who either have Necromancer or who are working in Deep Dungeon, I bet you 19 out of 20 will tell you Machinist. Um, because that's the job. That's what, that's what most of them probably cleared on, and that's that's the one that's popular. But it doesn't mean that, that you will have that much less of a chance of victory if you take in Warrior. I mean, people are proving Warrior is extremely good. Finn tried to prove that, and I think he did a very good job about that. So, yeah. Definitely play to your style first and foremost, and then adjust from there. Thoughts on possibly running Reaper Heaven on High? Haven't tried it, just curious. It is... It's a powerhouse. Reaper is extremely strong. It almost has... It, it's almost scary how strong it is in Deep Dungeon. Um, but it's still a melee. And a melee has its own difficulties and challenges. Um, you have to utilize your bloodbath, you have to know what to kite. You know, you have to deal with pox. So there's some downfall melee has, but it is very strong. And kind of Reaper is a bit of a glass cannon, if you will. Um, its defense, you feel its defense is pretty weak, but your power is extremely strong. I'm gonna overtake you? Well, I mean, if you do more than 10 floors a day, I'm gonna overtake you. So far, it's been a good experience. 30 has, has, was a lot of... I did 30. Oh, my bad, 30. <coughs> A lot of, lot of debuff floors and a lot of close calls, but they will pull through thanks to Warrior Bean. Yeah. Yeah. And hey, look, I mean, you're talking up Warrior, like, you like the job. That's, that's enough. That, you don't need, you don't need to, you know, convince yourself that maybe you should take in Machinist. I'm gonna stick with Warrior, man. You're, you're liking the job, and that goes into it. That's an intangible reason why you'll have a better chance at Warrior. Like if you look at it on paper, okay. Like you can, like people can can understand on paper why machinists will be really good, but you have to factor in the intangibles. And maybe too, you want to do it on that job. You want to be like, I got necromancer on warrior, and that's a that's like kind of important for a lot of people to claim that. <clears throat> Yeah, Arcane Crest is super good. Alright, we're gonna do a 3 minute ad when the boss dies. Let me just read Prizzes. How about instead of Flores, there could be an echo, enemy Echo with a more damage? Well, I think that's where Criterion Variant might, might come into play. Um, with that idea of making enemies harder. Um, what do I want to do? I'll pop the ocean. Alright. Let's go. Oh, that's a little slow. Oops. Okay, that's good. Three here. Arkin Chris enabled you to one shot Reaper Heaven on High 100%. I've always hated Warrior since it was the popular job for tanks. I would be there with Paladin, it was Helia's Warrior, but I figured Warrior would be good for his run to live Boston. Yeah, it is, and it is, it is. Gotcha. Oh, we got this, easy. Alright, 3 minute ad, BRB guys. If anyone talks without, without a sub, I will try to respond in chat, so BRB. Yeah, you do always forget this boss, good job. It does exist, 
It's a it's an easy boss, Chila. <clears throat> maybe maybe you convince yourself you get extra points by killing it normally or something. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Well, true. It, it ghosted your brain. Yeah, true. You know what? There you go. You got ghosted, dude. <clears throat> All right, one point one. All right, this is where time can be a little bit of an issue um, on this job, but we will just keep moving, keep killing it, keep keep it climbing. Rip Southerner, witching. Hmm. Hey, you know what's really cool about this floor right now? I can actually fight demons because I can't fight them on 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 uh, Astro because I take too long. Well, I guess I could, but you know. I'd raise him, I guess. Uh, let me pull some also, Chila, thank you for your Dark Knight video. I was using that for a quick review. But the plan of action on Behemoth is basically the old one, where we do the super where we do the super potion heal back. Um, I do the Super Potion heal back, survive Meteor 2, and then Living Dead Meteor 3, heal up Meteor 4, and then probably don't even make it to Meteor 5 because he's probably dead by then. <laughs> I just needed to see a quick visual. Finally died on Gunbreaker, Pog, dude. Welcome to freedom. Yeah, I, I'm gonna do Healing Strut. Instead of tincture, so it'll be the it'll be the OG strat. See how it goes. I have food. I do have food. Uh, this uh, well-fed status off ready, but I should not need it. I should be okay without it. I think. We'll find out. Stay tuned. What's this? Oh, oh, the other. Oh, that was a safety. Oh, okay. I guess that was a fortune drop, probably. We had to take the dogs to the vet today, so we'll be... Okay, okay, okay. Everything okay with the dogs? It's just a checkup? Hope it's all good. Just turn on the Twitch mobile app, you'll be fine. They just need to get like, a weekly checkup, gotcha. Ask for the veterinarian Wi-Fi, and then just do the Twitch mobile app. Easy game. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't have to kill this. God damn it. I wanted to get fancy with a with a boomy boom chest, but uh, I didn't need to. Okay, come with me, Mr. Cad. Or Miss Cad, I don't know, I don't know. Let's see. They'll be trying to talk to me and I'll be like, sorry bro, from the human wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll they'll understand. Don't aggro! God damn it. Oh, we got another one. Wait, why is there another one? I, I already pulled one. If I do this on Astro, I'll be tilted. But we're on Dark Knight. And my speed on Dark Knight is superior to Astro, so I don't care that I'm killing two extra enemies. <laughs> this is whatever. But I would be tilted on Astro that I have to kill like one extra enemy. Did I eat a- I did not, but I haven't really- I didn't leave the house today, so I couldn't really pick one up. <clears throat> today was a nice chill day. I played a lot of cat game today. A lot of cat game for no, uh, for no, for no results, but it's okay. I learned- I am- I am even better at the cat game. 
and you'll see that tomorrow. Oop, go this way. Do a lot of cat game tomorrow. Root beer float day? Ooh. Will I have the ability to get a root beer float tomorrow? Oh, Saturday. I could. I could also make one. But I don't have straight vanilla in the I don't have straight vanilla ice cream in the in the freezer. I have cookies and cream and I have honey graham. And I have cornflakes and marshmallows. I don't think any of them will be pretty good for float. It's a little bit too many too much flavors going on. Is there a way to approximate how many kills you need on the floor? Well, there is a range. So the lowest amount of kills you can possibly have is four, unless you flight. Then it could be two. Consider flight half the amount. So the typical range is 4 to 10, unless you step into the last 10 floors, we can get up to 12 or 13. So think 12, 4 to 10, 4 to 12, 13. Now if you're looking at a flight, you're cutting that half, cutting that number in half. So flight can be from 2 to like 6 or 7. But the key that you see in the upper right corner of my map, that doesn't really help you. It, it, there's no real consistency that we've seen that can give you some like direct indication of like, oh I need one more kill, oh I need three more kills. It just kinda just exists. Um, and, and let me tell you, people have tried to find some correlation and there has not been something that's been produced yet. But yeah, that's, you basically just work along an average. So like, for like, for instance, if I'm gonna do a rage and I wanna do a double rage where I use one in one floor and get to the next floor, I'll approximate a six to seven kill count because that's a good average to go for. Um, that's that's the best you kind of can do if you want to do that kind of kind of strategy. But yeah, it's a, it's an average RNG, um, and that's kind of the most RNG that you just basically have to deal with in general. I think I hit something here. I'm not sure. Uh, New York City has a place doing mustard donuts the same day. Mustard donuts. I wonder who's doing mustard donuts. It would be donut plant. Could be dough. I know. I know a lot of the donut places in the city. Um, but it makes me think of which ones they're doing. In. I'm getting mochi donut. I'm getting a place called mochi. I think it's called mochi donut or mochi doki. I forgot what it's called. But they're gonna have mochi donuts, and I'm getting that place opening near me, like five minutes away from me, like five ten minutes away from me. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, here? Why are you here? I have all the places to be, it's here? It's it's absolutely something I'd expect in the city, but not in where I live, and we're getting it. <laughs> yeah, they're really good. Oh, I've had them in this city, they're really good. I don't know when it's opening though, but we saw, uh, I saw the, um, the sign up. I saw the sign and I know where it's going to be located, it's just it's not done uh, being constructed yet, but yeah. Don't worry, I'll post pictures. <clears throat> Wait, do you not have- I would imagine Japan has mochi donuts. I'm a little shocked that you can't get them over there, Chila. I almost would think it would, it would be there first, though, than here. <laughs> I will when it opens. Actually, that I think I can't. I can't remember if it's called mochi donut or mochi doki. I forgot what it's called, but they also do have bubble tea, so that's even better. <laughs> I act. You know. You know. It's hilarious. I, all of a sudden, in my area, within a five ten minute radius, I have one, two, three, close to four, five. Wait, one, two. Yeah, like four. I have like four or five places I can get bubble tea. And then my local mall, which is about 10 minutes away from me, has two places in the mall that can have bubble tea. Bubble what the hell was that? Is it a spawn? Two to two places in the mall that can have bubble tea. I have so many places that has bubble tea. It's absolutely bonkers. <clears throat> Oops, I found a landmine. Yeah, what's up, Raven? <clears throat> yeah, but not all of them are good, to be fair. <laughs> They're not all good, so that's, you know, but... 
Like, Kung Fu Tea is good. And then we have one called Mr. Wish, which is great. But, like, some of the other ones are not great. Like, they're, like, mediocre. The best. Three bubble tea blazes? Nice. Brain is fried. Was doing some trap mapping and- Ooh, I like it. Mr. Donut doesn't have any. You're trying to find them? Why is there a fucking bug here? Hold on. Because it's hot, that's why it's a bug here. One moment. BRB. Okay, sorry, I had to commit IRL murder for a bug that flew by me. <clears throat> a robot? bug? Is there another robot? bug? The closest bubble tea so far, it's actually devastating. Wasn't it like two hours or something that done for you, Donut Bunny? Like 45 minutes? I remember we had that conversation some, somewhere. Someone talked about like the closest one was like two hours away. <clears throat> had a fly that interrupted his Astro runs. Oh. Maybe he was just making it up. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding! Has there been any, any significant changes to PRTD strats since 6.0? Yes. <clears throat> 91 to 140 is harder. And we don't take off food for almost all jobs when you used to take off food. Pretty much that's the lowdown. A lot of jobs also have gotten way better in here. Um, Cybri, thanks for follow up. Oh, there's the exit. Pog. It's not that horrible 30 minutes hoping for closer. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it's just in the trend. Everyone seems to be wanting bubble tea, so maybe you'll get one closer to you. Or maybe you'll have something, Donut Bunny, that you didn't realize has it. Like, I have a lot of places that, like, they serve regular food, but then on the side they have bubble tea. Like, for instance, that Mochi Donut place, it's just like, oh yeah, and also we have bubble tea. <laughs> I have a dumpling place in the mall. That was the one that had, like, mediocre bubble tea. It's called, um, I don't remember what it's called. If there's like a dumpling place, we, I didn't, I didn't like it by the way, it was, it was blah. But essentially they're like, oh yeah, we also serve bubble tea by the way, <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that answer your question, Mister. Yeah, this, this thing wasn't a, wasn't a fly, it was like something a little bit more disgusting. I actually don't even know what it is, but... I've seen it a few times already. <clears throat> oh, no, sprint. Ah, uh, mm, I can deal with a demon. So. Okay, cool. The amazing ramen I had, they have one on the side first. First one along. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. I should have done that. I might clear the- I might open the exit after this kill. Killed a little bit too much. Yeah, I figured. Um, wasn't there a knight here? Uh, I'll use the alteration. I'm not gonna miss that other chest, it's just unnecessary. I could get there, but I don't know what's over there if there's a knight or something. <clears throat> nope! God damn it. I 
I do enjoy Dark Knight being spammy once you have full MP. That's probably the only... <laughs> the big enjoyment I have with this job. Okay, 45 going into 44. That's really good on time. We're, we are blazing speed on this job right now. It's nice. <clears throat> Compared to Astro... Oh, it's Gatissus. That's pretty much draw the class at 90. Spam me every two minutes, big bam. <laughs> That'd be nice. To, it'll be nice to play with, that's for sure. <clears throat> I saw the pose in, I'm sorry to hear, but you know what? I hope maybe this run, if you're gonna hang around, <clears throat> maybe maybe it sparks some uh, sparks some motivation. I'll try my best. So right, a break is gonna be good though. Everyone needs the breaks once in a while. I'm just different because this is content for me, so I go in here because it's fun. Uh, I'll do you. Did I hit the wrong button? Nice! Let's go! Imagine hitting the right combo. No. This time I had the right button. It is fun. I, 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 have, I legitimately have fun in here. I get to do very difficult content that is legitimately difficult and, and everyone believes it's difficult. And I don't gotta party with people, it's fantastic. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. I'm gonna aggro that mimic. I'm just gonna be patient. I'll wait to the crowd. Hello. I wish I could change the dye of this. I really wish I could change the color of the dye. I'd do it like a light blue or something. Okay, we should be good now. Whoops. I didn't realize. I didn't think on men would be. That's like the new unmend. I didn't realize I'd reached that far. Let me know when we are doing the four man savage dungeons. Okay. I that actually we could do that. <clears throat> That's not a bad idea, Logan. So we, I know it this is um Eureka. This is the tank set from Eureka. I like the way. So I I originally had it as like the black the the black the uh, the Batman kind of vibe, where you do um oh my god, where you do um just like black and then it's yellow so it kind of has like a black uh Batman kind of thing, but then I like the the way the dragoon blue looks so I've done dragon blue. <clears throat> um, we could. You want to do that? We can try it out. Be kind of fun. Once in a while. Dive into it. As long as there's no, like, there's eye level. Is it? If there's eye level uh, requirements, that's gonna be tricky for me, but. I feel like I have to take a two to three month break from QTD every five, 170 deaths. Um, and then I get annoyed at having to reprog like mobs and move in vision and in, in in visions that, that I forgot. That's fair. <clears throat> well, I have, so I will be able to craft my own gear. I just won't have savage gear, that's the only downfall. But I'll have crafted gear at the very least. I mean, I have to watch. Yeah, you have to watch a Loken stream, that's right. Time to take me. I don't have time for savage! I'm, I'm speedrunning straight! Sheila did, Sheila, did you see my posts in Discord? There is now 60 people listed in the PC leaderboards. <laughs> it was 50 this morning. There's now 60. <laughs> There's 60 people listed and it's still a big queue. Jeez, I don't know how many people, dude. There's so many people. It is so competitive. It's awesome. PlayStation 5 is at 21. There's probably more. Mine, mine still isn't listed yet. My, my run still is not up there. <laughs> 
I'm waiting patiently. Can I play level 90 content? Um, I can do it on... I can do it on Black Knight. So yes. I can't do it on like a lot of other jobs, but I can do it on Black Mage, I can do it on Warrior. All the jobs you need. I mean, what, what other job would I possibly need? I don't have very many, um, I don't have very many 90 jobs, but everything is... Everything is, I believe, 81 plus though. So I'm ready for next deep dungeon. But I don't have, I don't have 90 on a lot of jobs. I'm gonna do a 30 second ad, BRB, 30 second ad, 30 second ad, BRB. Black Mage? I like Black Mage! I have fun with Black Mage. <clears throat> oh my god, you Black Mage haters. Boop, 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 boop. Man, I like Black Mage. Black Mage is fun. Welcome back from that 30 second. We're gonna do- we're gonna weave in another 30 second at some point. So we can keep the ads in control. I have to play ads, so that's my bot saying there. I have to play ads on stream because we are in an ad incentive program. So what I'm trying to do is weave it in at the best opportunity- uh, best time so you guys don't miss a lot of action. So that's the balance that I will have, and I'll try to give you guys warnings and stuff. Um, but hopefully it's been going well. This is our second month into this ad incentive program, and I hope it's been okay for you guys. I hope it's not too too annoying. I promise you will not have a ad during Behemoth. Donut Bunny, have a wonderful night. Thank you for chilling and stream. Um, whenever your next stream is, I hope it's fantastic. I I'm usually lurking in your stream, so you know, say the magic word, I might come out of lurk. Always takes the magic word. But have a good night. I like that emote. Oh wait. Okay. Yo, through the wall, let's go. Well, it depends if I'm awake. Although Donuts Donut Bunny streams at a really good time. Sheila's just a little early for me. But she streams at a good time. <clears throat> it does. It's it's a necessary thing, but you know, if we have to do ads. Ramza, then I'm gonna try to make sure that the experience is as good as possible for you guys. Uh, no, I know, no, it's just, it's, I'm half joking, Sheila. It's just the past couple days I've been waking up at like 11 Eastern my time. Because my sleep has not been fantastic, although. <clears throat> You know, you know why my sleep hasn't been great? It's because I would start dreaming of speedrunning Stray, and it would wake me up. <laughs> Past like three days, I'm like, oh great. This is really getting in my head. So that's been waking me up. So I've been like taking extra sleep when I'm like tired. So yeah, <clears throat> I've been waking up later. Cat dreams, yeah. That's when you know you're really deep into a game, when it just invades your brain, you know? Oh, oh, Sheila, I wanted to ask you, or pin. Is, is, you remember the, you remember the... <coughs> the company in Stray? It was called Neko. Is Neko also cat, or is that just a random thing? Do you ever, yeah, I used to dream of Feast a lot. That's cat? Okay, it is cat. Cat Corp, okay, okay. Cause my friend was talking about that, I'm like, oh. I didn't know that, and I should just ask, uh, I should ask Sheila about that. Do I want that chest? Do I need anything? No, I need purities. That's what I need, I need purities. Cat Corp. Neko. Okay, got it. So it is cat, thank you for confirming. Appreciate that. I keep dreaming of my splits. That's what just happening the past two days. I keep dreaming of my splits. And then I would go slow, and then I'd wake up because I'm pissed off at myself. <laughs> I'm like, no, I lost time, and I'd wake up. I'm like, oh, 
God damn it, dude. That's what I would do um, when I used to dream of feasts. That's what happened to me. Is that I would be I would be dreaming of a match, and then I would make a mistake, and then for some reason I thought it was viable for me to rewind the match and like do it again and like fix my mistake, and then I realize I'm dreaming, and I'm like, oh, God damn it, dude. That's that's literally my thing. Stressed yet? Yeah. Well. Oh, fuck. Can I hit the right- dude, I- oh my god, I can never hit the right button. It's, it's a struggle for me to hit goddamn intro. When I was playing Heaven on High for the first time, I jumped to the 81 floor, but mainly just wandering around them. Damn. With infinite time? <laughs> yeah, so it's like, I can't complain about that, because I- it's, it's essentially self-inflicted, right? Yeah, it's, it's stress streams, I'm stressing about the competition, I'm stressing about what I'm trying to work on. Like, can I really complain? Like, hey Doc, uh, my, my sleep has been shit because all I stream about is, is this game Stray. And I'm trying to get a world record. Doctor's like... Oh, that sucks. <laughs> anyway, would you like to buy these pills? Uh... Excited to watch you battle through the later floors. Hey, I'm excited to get to the later floors, assuming uh, we get there. If I ever go back to POTD later on, I'll probably be going for Hoarder. Yo, let's go. Are you gonna get it before me? Something that happened to me weeks ago, but I also had a fever. Oh, dude, fever dreams sometimes are very interesting. Fever dreams can get very interesting. Doubtful? Oh, well, you got a long way to go. Yeah, that that might be a bit of a bit of a bit of a mountain to climb. But hey, you never know until you try, right? I mean, there is a theoretical way to farm it if you really want to, but that's a lot. There is a map somewhere, like someone put out there for like one to ten. To get all the intuition, because it was a way to farm uh, six cents. So I'm sure you can just dig that up and just farm one to ten if you really want to. But you know. that's a mole too, because it is a slow prog. Okay, you're there. Oh, there's a knight here now. Alright, well. Get to 11 with intuition inside, maybe. Could, yeah, you could do that too. That's also possible. That's another way to farm it. For a couple seconds, I woke up thinking I was the character in my dreams. I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that, that's one way I was thinking of it. Man, that's gotta be boring, though. I have to get the known failures out of the way to get the known success. It's true. It's a valid statement. We was trust. Intuition? No. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know how many till you hit it either, but I remember has an instance cap per day. Does it really? Is that really a thing? Hmm. I kind of want to. I, I want to come back for the steel. Hundred instances a day. Interesting. 
Okay, that's clear. What is this? Intuition, which I don't care about. Okay, now this room. I guess I don't go back with the steel. <clears throat> I'm like I'm like in Narnia. So I'll just go to the exit and just clear it up. Really interesting. I didn't actually know that, but I guess I never ran into it, so it wouldn't be a problem for me. So if you use all the instances and got the horde every time, you don't until 11, so make 50 days. A long time. Damn it! Not for the faint of heart. I mean, I'm I'm at 9,000, so I'm pretty I'm getting pretty close. But that's after like six years of doing the content almost every week. thought it was only 5k? Now it's 10k, dude. So you're gonna start harder instead of Neko? Just in case we get a rage. Wait, you're not in the salted earth. Okay, now you're in. Did I ask you to- oh! Oh, that's a problem. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's quite a problem. I don't have any more defenses. <clears throat> I don't want to use a potion, but I have to. Yeah, it's a party. It cost me a potion, no! I'm trying to farm them, not use them. On the bright side, we got four quick kills. Okay, three serenities on this floor, real cool. I'm gonna go back. <laughs> yeah, well the other one I didn't see coming, so that didn't get hit with salted, but yeah, I didn't see the other one coming. Alright, so Serenity for days, that's good. Check this one. Into, uh, uh... You know what, whatever.
That's some tank privilege. Bro, if I was on if I was on Astro, that would be an immediate witching after like two of them. Without steel. I did have steel on. If I had steel on, I would have fought three. But if I had four, I would have had to monitor the situation very big. If I had no steel on Astro and I picked up two, I'm already in a big risk. Oh, play. Hello. Oh, would you move to my. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. He's gonna probably aggro though. <clears throat> Alright, our time is just absolutely brilliant. Not even concerned about time. We're 24 minutes until 149 and it's flighted. We're gonna be to the boss in 20 minutes remaining. <clears throat> no problem with time here. And I get a free strength into the boss, which is even better. So that's just a brilliant, brilliant scenario right now. Oh, come here, Gravekeeper. After you tried to kill me earlier. You don't know her? I was supposed to do one more 30 second ad. We'll do a quick 30 second ad as I'm moving to the um... As I'm moving to the boss, we'll do a 30 second ad. I forgot I should have done one. Like I said, I hope, I hope this runs in will help you out in the future. I hope uh, it'll give you some, a little bit of ideas, a little bit of inspiration. I should have a good run today, I hope. That's what I'm hoping for. Absolutely I'm going to kill the baby zombies. Baby, why did you, yeah, baby zombies, Jesus dude. Is that what you call them? Oh, there's a shrine here. Okay, I don't have to go. I don't have to go back all the way through. Cool. Because they're baby tiny. They're like normal sized zombies. They're just crawling on the ground. You don't have to get grabbed by the zombies, you can take- you can just kite them in circles around the boss with Stalwart Soul. It takes more- it takes more time doing it though. We want to eliminate them as fast as possible so we can use little GCDs. <clears throat> Especially if you get into a time crunch, although right now we're not in a time crunch. But it's good for a time crunch. Okay, so I know I have a strength at the exit. I just need to check these last two rooms. Also gonna bring in the in-game music here. Yes, give me that bronze chest. Although I might get the persona with me for it. Ah, uh, the uh, it's the leave music. When you do leaves, does anyone, does anyone ever do battle leaves? I do, I only do them for like below level thirty. That's it. Is that a silver? Damn it. Yeah, no. You want to time it? I'm gonna have strength up. No steel, but it will have strength up. No lust, I think. I'm gonna save lust, so I won't do lust. But I will have to use a lot of potions, it's gonna be a problem. Alright, let's go. Quick 30 second ad, BOB!
do 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 do. Nice and easy. I think I just focus in on um because <clears throat> I need to have three targets for AoE, right? So I just focus in on this. I'm trying to save Salted Earth for the ad. Tank privileges. Alright, so what I want to do for the middle is I want to wait for them to get to me, then I go to one corner. That's the difference there. I want to be in one corner. Because I go here. And I can take them out. Gotta get ready for the bat. Alright, see you in a bit. Did you make a dark lamb? Do it! Salted Earth coming in at a good time. I'm gonna use it here. Rizal. Time to rebuild my MP here. <clears throat> so that's how you're supposed to do that. I just face tank every AoE and then bone through the. <laughs> really? <clears throat> well, Dark Knight is just special because you have to have the corner so you can hit everything with a flood of darkness. Kind of all the other tanks are fine. You just hit, you just go dead center and then just like tank it all. But Dark Knight's a little special because it's a line AoE. Saving my MP here. I didn't, I didn't weave in a flood of darkness there, that's why I got, it got a little spicy.
Alright, 44 halfway there, almost. We build back the MP here. I tried and remember killing them for attacks and tanking the first AoE. Yeah, you, you have the Flood of Darkness, you have OG City hit. I mean, Warrior, you can do Berserk Decimation. <clears throat> Gunbaker would probably take a little bit longer, but you do have the finishing combo, right? Or your AoE, I think. So yeah, Dark Knight will do it a lot faster. The Dragoon will do it the best. <clears throat> you do, um... You do, uh, you buff up your AoE. Oh, they just die, they just melt. Nice and easy. Losing Shank though. So this will be a little bit longer than an 8 minute fight. I have to do probably one more cycle. Eh, like, yeah, it'll be like an 8 minute 9 minute fight. I gotta get my MP back here, which I will. It might be about maybe two more cycles, I think. By the looks of it. Like how Reaper, you just kill them just in time to teleport out of the AoE. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah. Reaper is strong, too. Just a reminder guys, we're gonna play a 3 minute ad um, when I break out of the boss, so just heads up on that. 3 minute ad when we kill the boss. Damn it. Oh, my MP is bad though. I overused it. Okay, so... Kind of this one's a bit of... this one's gonna be a mess. That was a mess because I didn't manage my MP very good. I dropped Salted Earth to actually get some extra damage there. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know if I kill it here. I might, but it's alright if I don't. I'll kill it next cycle, guaranteed. Yeah, next cycle. Sorry. Not a big deal. <clears throat> well, like, <laughs> yeah. See, that's when, like, you don't prepare properly and then it goes a little south, but... Sorry, right, I, had, I, had, I had plan A, plan B. I mean, I was gonna... I was ready for Living Dead if I had to. But, um, we're good. Hold that MP a little bit more. Okay, this will be better because I have... Actually have MP. One corner. There you go. Alright, three minute ad. I'll be your B. There you go, nice and easy. That's like a nine minute fight ish. A 90 minute fight ish. With one strength, no lust. One strength, no lust. What's this? Okay. 
SOP has revised their rules for for uh for submitting speedruns. I guess I'll take a look at that in the future. So that was uh oh 10:15. Interesting. 10:15. Okay. All right, let's do 151 and then I'll take a restroom break at one at um at the end of this set. Go right in. Do, 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 do. 10 minutes, thanks. With a little bit of a screw up too, to be fair. Hm, I thought I would aggro. Oh, I need it. Looking interesting. It's a, it's a pretty good job. It is a pretty good job. So I have a steel which I'm delaying to use because I don't need it right now. Another fortune. Cool. Oh, something dropped. Okay. Oh wait, that's a steal. Wait, is it another steal? There's two steals, huh? I guess I'll just use them. doing a tank run, but after I got my title in PUCD, doing the main story to reach Heaven High. Yeah, now that would be a good idea, especially you kind of want to get the, you kind of want to be ready for the story for the next deep dungeon. Welcome back to the ad, by the way, guys. Thank you so much for that, <coughs> for supporting the stream. Um, you kind of want to get moving on the main story, because you might have, you need main story probably for the, for the third deep dungeon. Yeah. Cough, sig, cough, cough. Oh yeah, that's dead. Well, okay. I think I aggro the other pudding. Oh, I can avoid the pudding and get the deep eye. Oh, let's go this way. That's a silver, which I'll just ignore. That's a Lucian. Mm hmm Okay, that's kind of what I expected. Hopefully these two puddings will be enough to get me out. I have another- I have a couple kills in the other room that has the other fortune. <clears throat> so we should be okay in that front. Wait, I want this one. So I need to be three expansions. It won't take too long. Uh, you know, I mean, the story is good, so maybe don't skip the story, but you'll have a lot of time. You got, what, five months now? A lot of time.
We gotta respawn in 30 seconds. Respawn in 30 seconds. <clears throat> F off. Thanks, follow up, man. Eight seconds for that respawn. Three, two, one. Don't know what it is, didn't have. <clears throat> Hello? Okay. I'm gonna wait for the tank buster. We got a chest with the gremlins over here, which I do want to take a look at. Um, I can't tell that other room that's far, but it looks like the exit is up there. Yeah, the exit is up there, so actually we'll go backwards. We'll go this way first. Take care of the shotty. We do want to try to get to all the rooms. To see what the game has to give me to speed up. I want to keep the kills a little minimal because it looks like we have a couple kills we may need to do by the exit. So I don't want to do too too many kills right now. There is a chest there and a sh oh that's a treasure room up there. Okay. Um guess we'll go this way first. I can tell because if you can see by the map, there's a shop key that's there, and it's not coming this way. And if a patrol is just basically staying in the room, that's the treasure room. You don't even need to question it. Guaranteed treasure room. Oh, that's the exit! Oh, shit! Okay, well, that's okay. I'm not going that- I guess that was a chest I was looking at. Well, I'm not going back anymore. I guess we'll work the treasure room then. I thought I- I thought I saw the exit in the other room. I like that bronze chest. Man, I wanted to pull this because it doesn't clear me up to the bronze chest. So this has to die. I don't want to get the bronze chest. This was a witching, but I don't need to really use it. Hopefully, what I'm gonna wait for is the gremlin moves. I sneak that chest and then I come back. Probably should have saved plunge, but it's right. <clears throat> not a big deal. Perfect. Uh, you're facing left. Gremlin's facing left as well. I'm gonna sneak past these guys. Yo, hey, hey, Clemency, how you doing? Happy, potentially Friday or Thursday, whichever it wants. Oh, rogue, rogue, uh, a key over there. Um, let's try to work this to see if I can pick up the chests. This one for sure. I'm gonna chill here. And we'll work the treasure room until the exit opens and then we'll leave. <clears throat> right now, if I get this right chest, I have to deal with a deep eye and a pudding. Because it's definitely not clear. I think I still have to deal with the deep eye and the pudding. 
So the, the pudding would be next to pull if I need to kill more. I do. Do good. Recently found you as I got back into doing Palace of Dead 1 to 200. The last night's tempted was back in Stormblood. Ooh, that's a while ago. Okay. A lot's happened since Stormblood, let me tell you. But welcome back to the climb. You have any questions? We got you. Uh, you better not be an actual patrol. Okay, good. And Clementia, if you would like, I would definitely recommend hopping into the Discord of the channel, but it is full of the Dungeon Soloers, and, you know, if, if, if you don't catch me live for some reason and you have questions, you're gonna get answers in that Discord, let me tell you. Okay, we're out, and I'm just gonna go... good. Efficient. The fact that it was only just Meiji? <coughs> well, for Palace, that's true. For Heaven on High, I did work on I did work on Heaven on High a lot more. I got Lone Hero first on my end, and her guides were out before I even really had too too much out on my end. <clears throat> and she's still around, by the way. She's busy, but she is around. She's still trying to clear on Arcanist as we speak. Okay, wait. Um. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. I can... I can get all these chests without a problem. Oh, it's open. Um... 34 seconds, I'm just gonna dump. Wait. So here we're gonna take the time. I have the rage. And if I can't get to the next room on my left, I'm going to uh, just skip and go to the exit, because the exit's clear as well. Oh, well, answers that question. Oh, there's nothing there, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we just pick up the we just pick up the rage and then off we go. Unless this is a mimic. Uh, I'll do that. I was watching a few of your videos earlier. I've been watching yours in Sheena's climb. Only done two attempts. Ooh, how far have you gotten for those two attempts? I hope I hope you've had fun. That's more important. I hope you had fun. We'll leave this song on. This is a good song. I love this song a lot. One of my favorite battle themes. Oh, multiple debuffs on a flight altered floor. Ah, yes, no items. Ah, but we get Corgans in the exit room. I will at some point get back to Remake to do this part of the... <coughs> to do this part of the game. We haven't done the DLC. We finished the base game on stream. Oh, that's really good. Do I take it though? Well, I mean, we're really good on time. I really don't have to go any faster. I do have to worry about that control though. Just cleared 100 boss as a first attempt. And did all the one... Oh yeah. <coughs> My mind was still in Shadow Banks and Distance. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's okay, that's okay. I've been trying my best for people to get that conversion. Because I think a lot of people are used to, like, the, the quote-unquote old strategy. Um, and I tried in the description, like, right at the top of the description of the old tutorials, I'm like, The thing changed! Watch out for 4100! But, eh, you know, what, what else can you do? So, like, I've disabled the old videos, and hopefully the new ones are there, but... It's been it's been interesting to see how I can actually get that information out so people are clear about that. And I'm still kind of learning, you know. But but the updated videos are there, and they should hopefully kind of explain it. You wiped on 100. Yeah, that's honestly don't feel bad about that. It's act, it's a really tough boss now. You really have to pay attention. We used to it, that used to just be a pushover uh, before Endwalker. But now, now because of now because of Endwalker, it's, it's really changed quite a bit, and you really have to actually respect that fight. Managed 189, but then started to meme attempts for 115, 114 rewind. Yeah, yeah, it is a pain, because you want to just prog those high floors, you know. That's why it hurts, and sometimes that is another reason why it hurts even further. It's because you want to get back there, but you you rush a bit. You you try to go a little too fast. And then you and then you suffer the consequences for it. I've run two safe house, silly stuff, and it's silly beginning motivation. Sure. 
I'm actually somewhat dreading since they're both- yeah. They're not- so if you're taking Machinist in, if anything they're just taking longer. They're not too too bad on Machinist overall. Because you're still doing the same strat, you're just running and gunning. It's just things just die a little bit slower. <clears throat> but you just you just kind of have to just turn the brain on a little bit more, that's all. And you'll be okay. This was a flighted floor. Like, this was like one, two, this is like five, six kills. A lot of kills for a flighted floor. Alright, to the next. <clears throat> time is brilliant though. Not complaining about time. Can't really pick up any items, so we're not even going to bother. We're just going to go right to the exit. Hug this because there's a trap on the corner. Ooh, SOP. I wouldn't know because I only ever use Red Mage back, so ah! They're very different classes, very different classes, that's for sure. If I had raising, I would do this, but I'm a little. I'm not ready for the for the big pull yet. Kills there. Stun five. I can do another one. Is this the FF8 theme? It is. It is a remix of the FF8 dungeon theme in uh, Stranger Paradise. <clears throat> it's a good song. It's a good mix. Also struggling with reclimbing, says Sibian. Sibian, sorry. Uh, last time I got timed down to 180. Didn't even get the facts. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, you know, it's, it is part of the challenge. I mean, if anything, the only the only plus side, if you will, is that everyone has to do it, right? No one no one gets a shortcut, even the guys who cleared like multiple times. We all have to do it. So it's the same challenge for everyone. Um, because it doesn't ease that, but uh, you know, at least you're not you, there's no special treatment for for someone other someone else and such. <clears throat> and the Agalus and Trap Floor layouts are a godsend, I never knew I needed that to know. Yes. Yeah, the Trap Floor layouts, yeah. Especially 151 Plus, it's... The information for Deep Dungeon nowadays, uh, Clementia has been just getting more and more detailed. I mean, frankly, the community just wants people to clear it. And if there's ways that we can help you, that's all it comes down to, right? That's the whole idea for it. Alright, let's deal with an Imp. <clears throat> It's about two casts of Blizzard, then I want to stun. Stun here. Ice Spike stun. Wait for Void Blizzard, wait for the stun to come out. And then we interrupt. Easy game on the imp. That's kind of a tank thing. So you don't take any of that damage. Because you can take slow from, uh... You can take slow from the ice spikes. If the ice spikes go off and you hit them, you can take a 30 second slow anyway. Void Blizzard does slow as well, but ice spikes also gives it. But you have two tools that can stop that. You can handle them no problem. Hey, not Kudir, thank you. I'm gonna need that. A little bit. Hopefully. I just really hate Machinist, so I can't go Machinist for my first clear POTD. That's fair, Soba. Hey, maybe I can convince you on Dark Knight, huh? Dark Knight's doing pretty good, isn't it? Hey, we're gonna walk into we're gonna walk into uh, the sixth floor with forty minutes remaining. <laughs> oh wait, just just we're walking into the sixth floor with, with forty minutes remaining. That's a lot of time. 
I wonder if there's a list of targets that can be slept and stunned. Um, there might be. There's a vulnerability list in Discord. Um, I haven't gandered it myself because it's always just kind of up here, but it might have it there. <clears throat> I'm waiting for the eventual further... <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, Machinists will just keep getting buffed. And every time it gets buffed, man, it gets stronger in here. There you go, Loken said it. It's the Ben Rice uh, battle uh, ball scene right here. That's what I think of it now. Aside from it being a long fall and splitting, I think of it as uh, the Ben Rice, the Ben Rice uh, boss theme. Um, we can let you through. Uh, Loken can uh, permit you. That was best. We have to permit you for lakes, but we can permit you. And you're good. If Loki knows how to permit. We... There you go. You have 60 seconds. Do it fast before you lose, before you lose time. Do it quick. Time is ticking. Nailed it. Good job. Well done. There you go. Thank you, Alabeth. It's actually hilarious how little abilities Machine has got Endwalker. So they're gonna buff the potency and lower level abilities to buff. Yeah. Soon they'll make it strong enough for Reaper. 50? Can I have some? I'm at 31. That's actually not too bad, but I would like uh, a couple more. Got another patrol coming, so I want that next. <clears throat> what are we looking at? I can get that chest. And I'd have a strength behind me, which I want to get to. Don't know who's the author, especially, but it's done very well. I forgot to. Plays better. You guys should uh, sig all your stuff. RC Duke! Oh my god, it's two years? Holy shit. RC Duke, I can't two, believe it's two years. Freaking years. Cheers. Cheers to the past and many more years to come. Many Shuffle more years. One cheers, Hurric 82, cheer, Angela Side, yeah, yeah. Yo, two of my favorite streamers right there. Let's go. Yo, thank you for that, man. It's been a pleasure knowing you for that long. And I hope I get to know you for even longer. <clears throat> oh, by the way, guys, speaking of. Which, I guess it's related, but not really. I was talking this over with my mods in a bit. Um, about TwitchCon. And I was talking about how I wanted to go to TwitchCon. But, since their, um... Since their health policies are, like, non-existent, I am currently not going until they change it. But the bigger issue is that... The longer they wait to do anything about it, uh, the, the flight prices get more expensive, so it's a problem. So I don't know, the chances of me going to Twitch are very low. And not to mention, that's me coming, you know, from just having COVID. So it's kind of like a little extra more that I would like to have some help from some help from. But, <clears throat> that's the saddest in that one. I'd like to go, I really would. It's just, um... You know, safety's a little bit more important to me. So what is this again? Alteration, which I use. Um, if anything, I want the strength more than the steel. Shh. Okay, good. I was gonna echo the thing. Mr. Perry Fridge! Which knows better than Amazon doesn't care? Uh, I don't care who it is, it's just... That's it. That's my that's, that's, uh, that's what it comes down to for me. You know, whatever, whoever it is, and whoever is, whoever is making the, whoever is making the decisions, uh, it's causing me not to, it's causing me to choose not to go, so. Yo, shout out to Perry. Perry is a member of the community, guys, does deep dungeon runs, but also has been doing some ultimate. Um, hey, where is your... Did it not do Void Blizzard? I like, forgot it was gonna use it, and then it never happened. Okay, I gotta pull you. I'm gonna pull you to the strength. Come here. Were mob directional errors added in Um, it was added in Shadowbringers. You do notice it, huh? The directional arrows? I believe that was Shadowbringers. And it's funny because it was the biggest nerf to Ice Sprites. Because Ice Sprites are sight. 
and we had to just kind of just watch it move to know where it's facing, but now they got nerfed tremendously because you know exactly where they're facing them. It, it was a great addition, I think, overall. Um, but all I thought about was ice sprites. <laughs> oh crap, okay, well, fine, I guess I'm pulling a soul player against my, against my better judgment. This is a max kill, this is a high kill floor, but it's alright. Or a high kill target. So I want to stun after Mind Blast because I will prevent it from doing another, uh, to doing Soul Drain a little bit here. I also got, I ran back into the AoE, so I'm kind of dumb, but. I, I slice, yeah, well, there's still Nightmare Fuel, it's just you know where they're looking, though. How's everyone going? Going pretty well. How is your stream, Perry? You gotta let me know how your stream is going. And welcome in from Perry's, uh, Perry's chat community. Angel's Demonist, we are doing Dark Knight. For the first time ever since the Living Dead update. Um, last time I did Dark Knight was before they changed Living Dead. So now we're going to explore the new Living Dead and see how it, how it plays out in this run. Especially, specific, specifically on Behemoth, but we'll also be using it on the, on the Landmine plays if we get a chance. Not gonna lie, I'm a little shaky on it. I don't have practice on it, so I might get a little messy, but uh, we will try our best. <clears throat> And do and try to perform very well if we can. This week's kind of off for DSR Prog because we have a sub this week. Gotcha. Uh, so we're not seeing much. Gotcha. Okay. They are sights. Ice sprites are sights. No, I didn't. I ran out of potions, Duke. So this is me farming potions right now. Unfortunately. Well, fortunately, I can take the break. You know, the break's nice. Ice sprite, that's right, that's right. Good one, Logan. Um. <laughs> Good. Let's see. Do I get? I get this. I get this one. So we'll wait for Ice Spikes, right? That's one cast. That's two casts. Now we stun for Ice Spikes. We wait for the stun to wear off and we do Interrupt here. Interrupt here. So slow. All Spike, all Palace, but no. The ones in 101 are sound, I believe, or proximity. Oh crap, I'm gonna do that. But they're not all Scythe. If anything, I think the Ice Bites are the only one that's actually Scythe. Which one are procs? The one in Heaven on High? Are they procs? Oh wait, that's Silver Shadows. Right. There we go. I noticed it a little late. So I have a Steel in the first room. That's another s silver chest, alright. Funny they're all exploding when I'm not on Astro. Gee. Two blizzard casts and then you'll see an ice spike. Mimics here. The full one. Oh, my interrupt is not ready. Okay, it's ready now. Okay, there's a there's a chest over the far end that I do definitely want to get. I just realized I have haste. I don't know, are they procs? They might be. I wouldn't be surprised if they are, but yeah, they kinda don't matter because they melt. Oh, 
For the steel. Yeah, I'll just work this in. <laughs> Listen, it matters. Alright, fine. What game? This is from Shin Megami Tensai 5, right? Whatever the recent one came out, I really don't remember. But I, I believe it's 5, Shin Megami. This is the boss theme. Hype boss theme. I still need to kill something. We'll kill the Mimic, so I want to stay close to this chest, since it is the steel. Watch out for the Death Trap bait. Sometimes the Mimics that spawn because of an alteration will open with Death Trap, and it is such bait, because it's very rare that they do that, and your mind is usually set on interrupting the first ability, so you gotta be careful. 29 minutes into the 7th floor, probably about 27 into the 8th floor. Time is extremely good right now. Really, really good, and the palms are really good, so we're, we're looking up right now, for sure. Oh, oh there's a the steal. So here, we want to watch this patrol. Because the patrol can either go left or right. Okay. He's tilting to his left, so we want to go this way. Because if we go to the right side, we're going to aggro. So that's why I stayed in the middle to see. I didn't want to already pick a side. That is something that tends to happen. They can't walk straight. And I don't know why they can't walk straight, but they can't walk straight. So always be wary about a patrol going down the room. Uh, Sheena Heartland, thanks for the follow-up. No knockback. Another steal. I don't need steel. Now, after this conal, you want to wait about 1.5 DCDs. 1.5 seconds, sorry. And then stun. Right here. Got it. You can't, you can't, and you can't predict abyssal transfiction. You have to anticipate it, and that's how you, that's how you stun it. They are indeed sound. They have ears. Good to know. <coughs> Something here. I have stun again. Oh, but there's another arch team coming in. One point five. One point five. Wait. Yeah. Nailed it. Good one, Ramble. Oh. Okay. I know there's another one floating around. I guess it went this way. Which it did. I have stun. There's a chest there. Wait. Now. Uh, well, I, was, I was late, I was late, I was late. Super late. I was, I was trying to squeeze out a GCD and I got, I got penalized for it. <clears throat> if 
Fantastic. Well, anyway, the curl. Well, wait, that's an instant cast. We have another trick for the curls, to be fair, though. Oh, I'm out. Um. I can take the time, I guess. Wait, you moved, so let's check. Well, let's check the chest. I wanna check the chest. Oh, that is the exit. Oh, okay, we'll just go this way anyway. Good thing I didn't turn back. I was about to turn back. We had a steel, didn't we? I'm not gonna go back for the steel. I mean, it's gonna be good for the next floor, but it's not gonna be good enough for the boss, that's for sure. So we'll just go to the next floor, take the time. Twenty-five minutes into the ninth floor, that is fast. We didn't really use too too many things either. It's just pulling and moving, that's it. Couple landmines, of course. Arch team in the in the distance. Is that a silver? That looks like a silver to me. You want to stun here after 70% stun? Chest. Okay, no boom. But that's the safest way I can do it. I don't see a chest over there where the arch demon is coming from. I just don't see one. Zyron, what's up, dude? I probably aggro the soul flare if I go in, so we'll just pull you. A lot of soul flares here, not cool. We have stun, so again, 1.5 after the Colonel. Hold on a sec, and go. Oh, too early. <coughs> Man, I nailed it twice in a row, I can't do it anymore. I am finally able to see after 8 months of not doing palace in like 6 hours. Nice! I hope you remember it, it's been a while. Imagine you forgot. Okay, gonna watch this room. Okay, there, that's the movement that I was looking for from the Soul Player. Okay, let's go. Flight, great. I'll use that for the boss. Um, let's deal with the Soul Player while I have Steel on. Probably have to clear up this room. How much damage is it? It, it does 70%. Uh, so what you'll see me do is I'll drop an enemy to 69 or below, and then I'll pop the silver, under most circumstances. Sometimes I do it early, but most circumstances if I'm going one-on-one, -on -one, you'll see this on the later floors too, I'll push it down to 69 or below, and then I'll trigger the silver, and it'll die that way. You don't want him above. It's in my long-term memory, just <laughs> Alright, 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 alright. Let's go long term memory. I'm gonna check the chest first. Safety. Two casts and then. Oh, I don't have stun. I'm gonna let Ice Spikes go. I'm gonna suck for it though. I was late. Oh my god. Terrible execution, I was late everywhere. <clears throat> Landmines are 80%, but they never kill the enemy. Silver chest can kill, landmines can't. Got my steel gun. So, so what you'll see me do is ideally you want to do a landmine early, not later, because you still can't kill it. Um so you you'll see me do a landmine like a lot earlier if we ever do a landmine. Okay. Uh, just, wait, is there anything here? Nope. 
Alright, we'll just go with the boss. 20 minutes of the boss, we're not gonna use anything here. What's a good plan to flog lords? I got to 91, 92 on a summon run. And want to try something else. Tanks are good. Tanks are good. Uh, the Fizz Reigns are good. I mean, Summoner is great. If, with, if you like a lot of kiting, Summoner is great. But if that's not kind of your jive, try the tanks. Tanks are, are mono -y mono. Um, you know, you just, you, just, you just tank and spank. Weave in your defenses, pop a couple some healing and stuff. But definitely good for understanding enemies, because you're going to live through a lot of things, that's for sure. Healer is technically good, but that's only if you really like a healer, to be fair. Gonna do this no strength, uh, so I can save the palms. But we're gonna have to use quite a bit of potions to stay alive here. Astro's torture? What do you mean? No, it's not. Depends on your definition of torture. Yeah, if you want to learn enemy abilities and like what they do and all the aggro, tanks are pretty good for that. You're gonna suffer a little bit with time. That's okay. At least you survive. As a heads up, we're doing a 3 minute ad when we kill the boss guys, so just heads up on that one. If you see an ad pop up, it'll be once I kill this boss or around that time. <laughs> Although actually, actually cancel that. Uh, I will get to the hub floor, talk a little bit with you guys, and then hit the ad. So I'm gonna hit the restroom. So we'll do it. We'll, we'll do it in the restroom break. I forgot I wanted to do a restroom break. Dan J! Hey, thanks for 13! I'm doing pretty good, thanks for asking. Hey, Angelus, how's it going? Pretty good. I did a lot of stray speedruns earlier. Unfortunately, no PB. We're gonna do a lot of that tomorrow on stream. So if you wanna see the stray speedrun, that's tomorrow on stream. Uh, and we are we are gunning for world record. I have a, at least based on who I've seen post their scores and their times, it looks like I am within range of taking world record again. So if you want to see a PS5 world record run speedrun of Stray, then tune in tomorrow. But it's very difficult. I, it's just I can't take a death and that's what's been killing me. Like, literally killing me, killing the run. I keep dying on the runs and it's very difficult. Very, very risky, very risky things I have to do to try to save time. It's killing me. Oh, I missed my combo. We're not even halfway through the fight. But, this is to conserve palms. My palms are beautiful right now, so we want to maintain that, that's for sure.
Fine, halfway through the fight, let's go. This will be like a 10 minute fight, I guess. Maybe longer. Up. Have you soloed in every job? 18 out of 19. The last one is Astro, which I'm working on, but I ran out of potion. And that's why we're on Dark Knight today. Because I'm taking this as an excuse to farm some potsherds, but also do Dark Knight for the first time uh, since the Living Dead changes. Because I did Dark Knight prior to Living Dead changes. Um, so, this, so I get to explore the new Living Dead, so... Yeah, we're almost there to Omni. I did Omni in Heaven on High, um, but I have one more job for Palace. And it's it, we're on, uh, I think, 11 attempts now. When I start the next one, it'll be my 11th attempt on Astro. I've been, my PB is 196. So we're almost there. Actually, the 196 was kind of heartbreaking, because that actually could have been the clear. And that was attempt number 6, I think. So it was a little unfortunate, but it happens, and... Uh, I just gotta learn the lesson and try again. <clears throat> Alright, 32%, almost there. Yo, Naxi, what's up, dude? How much here? Doing Dark Knight? How you doing? How's dark damage compared to... Um... I don't know about Gunbreaker, because I haven't done Gunbreaker and Endwalker, but Gunbreaker shouldn't have changed. It's still probably superior. To Warrior? I'm not sure. I mean, when you have full MP, it's really nice, but when you don't have full MP, it's kind of just like, blah. I think, if anything, the defense of Warrior is still kind of superior. Hey, thanks. Thanks for the 8 months. I, I appreciate that, Naxi. Continuing that Prime Gaming sub over here means a lot. Hope, you, hope you've been doing well. But so far I will say the Dark Knight one has been good. I mean the time, uh, the amount of time we've had on the floors has been stellar. I have 12 minutes. I got here with 20. So we're just kind of just, you know, just coasting right now. Of course 161 will be the floor that challenges my time for the first time. But uh, we've been coasting. I'm mean, moving and it's dumb hot. Oh rip, yeah it's pretty damn hot here today. <coughs> Like the whole day I was like sweating. So I shouldn't be using so many of my damn potions. I always play too safe. 16%, it's almost there. Maybe like a 10 minute fight <clears throat> without strength and steel. Oh, that's strength, if anything. I really dark is very strong on floors because MP we get out of combat. It does, but like if you if you engage an enemy without MP, it feels really like slow. I guess it's no different than engaging an enemy. Engaging an enemy um, when your berserk is down on warrior, you know what I'm saying? Probably kind of a similar idea there. But it's it's hard for me to get a decent eyeball with the comparison of warrior to dark knight on the floors. Outside of just looking at like how the time looks and stuff. Three percent, almost there. Again, we're gonna do an ad when we kill the boss, guys. Three minute ad. <clears throat> Three minute ad. So BRB. Oh wait. Oh wait. Wait, I'm gonna take a break. Sorry, I keep forgetting. I'm gonna take a break first, and then we'll do the ad break. Alright, let's update the title.
I'm gonna get some more water, I'm gonna hit the restroom, and then we'll continue to 161. Thank you guys for watching. <clears throat> it's good to have you here. We are getting closer to Behemoth, so hopefully Behemoth will be clean. Um, but we shall see. Oop, oh well, guess I'm not having buff, of buff, buff food. <clears throat> hey Kojo, going good so far. We're about to enter 161, but I'm gonna take a small break and then we'll continue in. Imagine Dark and Lucid Dreaming, it's called Broken. Alright, give me uh, three minutes ish and I'll be back, alright guys? So hang tight. Enjoy some ads and all that fun stuff. B or B. Hey Wallen, welcome in, dude. Yeah, we're we're solid. Uh, the runs the runs going solid right now. Palms are fine, no issues with palms. Um, we are so far good to go. What's supposed to come up next? Is it a one minute ad? I think it's a one minute ad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope you're having a wonderful night. <clears throat> what do you think? Are the major differences of attempting Necromancer on PS5 rather than PC? The major differences? None. Not that I can... I mean... Yeah, none. I, don't, I can't imagine any differences at all. I mean, considering... I mean, you could, you could argue a controller versus a keyboard mouse. Or whatever you want to play, but I mean, if you really wanted to go, like, hardcore, I mean, you could go a keyboard mouse on a PS5 and you can go to a controller to a PC, right? I mean, on my end, I'm not using a mouse, so I'm closer to controller. Um, outside of that, that's that's it. I mean, if you're talking about performance or graphics or so, I don't think any of that really affects anything. Um, so I just would say there's none at all. No differences at all. <clears throat> um, and even even if you were to throw the debate of like again, like a controller versus a keyboard mouse, I mean. A lot of JP are, are console players, and they've cleared 
very well in controllers. I've cleared on a controller using it for like the very first time ever and I cleared in like, what, two weeks? Um, so that's about it. I, I don't think there's really any difference at all. You cleared it first time on, on PS4? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, now to be fair, I never played on a PS5. So I mean, you know, if anyone wants to chime in on that. Um, a friend of mine said using Poe Manners on PS controller is kind of scuffed, but I never played on a controller myself. Um, it's it's preference. It's just the way you do it. I mean, the way I handle Poe Manders is exactly the same way that I would handle Poe Manders on... Um, it's exactly the same way I would handle Poe Manners on a controller. When I did the controller run, I did it on my PS5 controller on this one. So I had absolutely no problem, and I have that video up on YouTube for me using the controller. So, uh, I had, I had no problems with palms, but then, to be fair, I've been playing like this for, like, how many years? So I'm just used to it. It's just no problem for me. I mean, if you're, if you're, if essentially you've been playing a certain way, and then you step into this game mode and having to do something essential like menuing to Pomanders, I mean, it's a new thing to learn. So it's understandable that becomes a little, a little clunky. Um, but if you get used to it, it's just, it's very fluid. I think it depends on what job getting used to legacy movement for cutting or non controller keyboard and mouse. That that could be also true. When I did controller, I did do it on Red Mage. I didn't do it on any other job. Nothing happens. That isn't my fault. Yep. So yeah, I mean I hope that answers your question, last man. Um I mean again if it if let I me mean, bring you back to that first point I made, I mean if it's a discussion of like controller versus keyboard and mouse, I mean you could just use a keyboard and mouse. Just install one for your for your MP, for your uh, PlayStation Five. What food do you suggest from Sinus? Um, one of the ones I like to use is 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 the Direct Hit Determination. Um, I think I think there was a um, an argument for the Skill Speed Direct Hit in terms of mathematics, like literal math, hard math. Kind of suggested it would be this one. But I like Archon, uh, Determination, Direct Hit's pretty nice. You don't have to go too, too serious, but one thing to keep in mind for um, Palace of the Dead, which is uh, worth noting, is the following and why Direct Hit is really good, is that um, Palace of the Dead is... Um, it's Heaven's Word content. And Heaven's Word content did not have Direct Hit. It didn't exist in the game until Stormblood. So in essence, Palace of the Dead does not have base Direct Hit. But by using food that gives you direct hit, so this one here or this one here, you then get about a 2-3% to 3 direct hit base value. Which doesn't sound a lot, but going from 0 to 2%, it kicks in once in a while, so it's kind of nice. But again, food is not going to be the difference whether you clear or not. It, it really isn't. Um, it, it helps, but in the long run, it's not going to be the difference. I mean, you have people on a free trial who literally can't have access to food because... They can't trade people, they can't buy from the market board, and they clear as well. So, but if you want, I mean, if anything, the easy way to answer that is just whatever you use for raid. If you're a machinist main, and you use a certain food for a raid, use that one. It's not It's not going to be too big of a deal. Um, but yeah, so. Alright, shall we continue? I shall nom some burgers though. Wait, what's my, oh. Here. I gotta nom more burgers because I don't have the FC belts on. That would be my bad. Okay, 161. Welcome back. How the dog goes? Hopefully you look good. It's hot. It's hot everywhere, dude. Where are the two chests here? What the hell? That's rare. All right. Finesse needing self healing. Interesting. They're good. Beyond the controller type, I would say that the majority of people connect their PC with Wi-Fi using Ethernet cable. I would try not to do PUT in Wi-Fi. It's fair. That's a fair point. The good we couldn't get the back we couldn't get vaccines L O L M A O because they overheated. Damn. Oh. On the wall. Oh, oh. So the dog's overheated. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Is it point three? Interesting. Duly noted. So I have to take a cab to get into the bed and go next week. Gotcha, gotcha. I never knew that was actually a thing. If they overheat, they can't take the bat the a vaccine. Good to know. I'd rather take the harder one. Oh, 
70, we're gonna bring him down to 69 and below, and then use the silver here. So. Oh, nice. Oh. That's hot. You running and trying to use Unman looks like a weird, some weird dance. It's the Dark Knight dance. What is this chest again? Oh, Witching. Okay. Really? It's a small room. No wonder I had I had, I had a two chests in the first one. Yo, what's up, Paladin fanboy? Oh my god. Sheila, you're, you're not in America. You should know, like, Celsius now. You only need Fahrenheit in, in America. Literally only America. Actually, Philippines uses Fahrenheit, to be fair. <clears throat> I do accept for body temperature. Alright, alright. Alright, 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 alright. Pals is tilting me right now since Necro. I was trying to get my title on Machina, so I decided to switch to tank because I'm a tank main, and it would be nice. It would be nice getting the title as a tank, but I died twice B150 and I had no problems to get into Machinas. It happens. I mean, it's like reprog, if you will, you know? But, um, I mean, it, it's still, you're still learning things, so, and yeah, I know the reclimb is tough, but, uh, no. don't look this way, don't look this way, don't look this way, okay, good. Lurking, prepping for the weekends of nights, okay, gotcha, man, it's good to see you, I'm, I'm glad you're doing well, I hope you're doing well, but I'm glad you're doing well. Because I see in chat, so that means you must be doing at least pretty decent. Yo, June, what's up, June? Yo, shout out to June. He was doing Heaven on High last night. Stepped into Heaven on High over there. Thanks for double shouting out Mr. June Clancy. He of the guides. He probably helped you clear Savage. If it wasn't some guy named Llama Todd, it was probably some guy named June. <laughs> How is. How is your how is your heaven on high run? I think I caught you up until like you got to sixty. I think I don't I don't know if you went further than that though. Good answer. Yo, Braddock, what's up, man? <clears throat> do -do -do -do. All oh, slimes? Oh god, slimes. I'm not out of here yet. Is that a silver? I can't see the chest. It's a gold. Okay. Can't see through his dead body. Wait, there's chests all over the place. Hold on. Gotta come back. Let's do a Linworm. Oh no, 87 DC! What? Meme done 71 instantly, meme done for <laughs> Damn. Oh no, disconnect, what the hell happened? Oh god. 87 though, hell yeah, let's go. I knew you'd have no problem doing doing deep dungeon. You're too skilled for this game. You want a Jubob heaven on high guy? Oh make make him clear it first and then we'll maybe see about it. Okay, good. Let's get out of here. Six minutes on the first floor is pretty good. I attempted Necromancer twice, got my ass kicked by luring traps and kind of panicked with palms and died. I was on 104. Try to try to try to hug try to hug the walls the best you can. Although 104 to like 150 is kind of ass because those are the floors that have 
literal wall traps, but... You do some later tonight, question mark? Gotcha. <clears throat> hmm. What patch did they nerf? Um, and Walker. So 6.0. It was funny when I was doing it because I thought it was Reaper being too strong. And then when we took like every other job in, we're like, oh never mind, it's just 1 to 50 is just easier. I'm ready on attempt number 3 for Gunbaker, so hopefully soon I can. Yeah. It happens, you know, re like reprog and regression is totally a thing. Um, <clears throat> it, it it's in a lot of it. Some sometimes it's because of um, your your desire to just get up to the higher floors again. And I knew it. That, that happened to me a lot in when I was doing Red Mage myself. It's like, oh, I gotta get up here. I gotta get up here. I gotta get up here. And, but then you're going too fast, and you forget things, or you take too many risks, and then you and then. You, you lose the run early because you're like just trying to get up there faster. So I've definitely like re re kind of done my runs where now I just like kind of go a little bit more casual, especially for a clear run. And it might take me an extra you know three to five minutes per per set of ten, but I'm guaranteeing myself getting up to the high floors without a without a question. Outside of outside of you know disconnects and whatnot, um, but I prefer that kind of assurance over. Um, Rushing, if you will. I had to kill less than that. Oh, perfect. We will check a lot of these chests first. I need to figure out where the exit is too before I pop that. Uh... Oh, well, there you go. Okay, exit in the opposite room. So I'm gonna pop the strength when I go towards the exit, not yet. Mm -hmm. Good song. This is a good, like the one good song from Triangle Strategy. Intuition came back. Okay. Oh, come on. You didn't aggro the first time. Hey Ross, I right, appreciate the lurk. I'm having fun so far. It's sure. Oh, I gotta wait for the patrol now! Bad cycle. Nice, 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 nice. I bet he comes in this direction, though. I would almost bet he will. I'm coming here for the potsherd. Yeah. Okay, he, he went straight. That's good. I'm almost certain he would aggro if I try to walk past him right now. I gotta hope he stops. Actually, I'm good now. But the uh, this one might aggro. Okay, we're good. Dude, screw the tourists, they're gonna stow me. Is the behemoth burst and that I need to play safe and not rush so much? Yeah, that's that would be my recommendation for sure. Metal gear solid? Hell yeah, dude. It's it actually it's more stray, dude. I've been working on my stray stealth tactics, so it's more stray than metal gear at this point. Really, 
dead witching in, in play. I'll be like, oh, this. How are we looking? I might have to deal with the next two wyverns because they're cl they're too close to that exit, the pathway. That puts me at four kills. on this floor in particular. Would you recommend climbing on two slots simultaneously for someone going- Uh, yeah, it's not a bad idea. Um, it is, it is obviously way longer to do so, but let me tell you, a lot of people do that. I did that for Necromancer. Um, it, it gives you a really nice comfort level because you can F up one file, you can keep it fresh in your brain, and you're like, you know what? Alright, let's try to apply what I just learned. That's super helpful for Frog. I saw the Mandy's. Pardon me. One extra kill. Oh, nice. Well, that's great. What's over here? Oh, that's the one I don't want. No, this is a waste of time though. Grip run, yeah. That was a that was an interesting uh, corner trap there. I need to keep that one in mind. That's just me not being on the That's just me not being on the wall enough. I thought he doesn't use your videos as a reference. Hey Kama, uh Kuma, you're welcome. I hope it helps you. I hope it helps you get the clear more importantly. I heard it is very difficult in tanks. Well, last man, if you're gonna if you're gonna be able to stick around here for about an hour and a half, I'll showcase to you uh, this run. I'll showcase to you the uh, the 180 boss, so you can judge for yourself if you think it's up your alley or if it's a little bit hard. I'm not I'm not saying that in confidence. Like I I I, I am kind of worried about it myself, but hopefully it gives you a good idea. If you happen to miss it, it'll be on the VODs, you can review the Twitch VODs in the future. Um, and I'll, I'll definitely have it on YouTube at some point, but um... We're definitely gonna get there tonight, because I'm gonna go until we clear or wipe today. I gotta go pick up the Witching, so that kinda sucks, because it's like a waste of time. <clears throat> um... I'm... ooh, crap. I'm just gonna go, that's unfortunate. I don't think I can get the Witching clean. I'll get this chest though, but I can't get the witching. Uh, the wyverns will will handle me. It's okay. It's just the witching. I'll, I should hopefully make the witching back. Ugh, it's tempting. Witching for Pot Trigger trade. I just can't get over there. The wires are just gonna waste time. I already wasted time as it is. Uh, we have we have the easy dino here. Let's just take him. This dino is super easy. You know why? Watch. He does the front conal. We get behind him. He does the tail conal, and then we just go right behind him every single time. Easiest enemy in Deep Dungeon on the 164. That's all he does. It's his existence. It's an unfortunate existence, but it is what it is. He's confused. Well, he should have picked a different uh, ability set, that's for sure. Again, we're gonna drop this down to below 70 and then pop the chest. I'm gonna stun first, too. Getting itchy. Can confirm, got Dark Knight yesterday. Oh, yeah, it's hard. Congratulations on that. Done. We'll go.
Tarnum, did you do uh, healing or did you do tincture? I don't remember if you mentioned it. Also, there have been a hand a handful of Dark Knight necromancers as of as of late. Just a heads up on that one. Honestly, I've been using Summoner Bot's help with my run. The only thing that sucks is that you got a lot of free rage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I honestly that doesn't help people. Like, I like the runs where we really have to struggle. And there are runs where I do pick up like an extraordinarily amount of awesome palms and that just doesn't help people. Like we did a ninja tutorial in Shadowbringers. I walked in with three rages into 191 and I picked up another one and I'm like, great tutorial. Like maybe I should just like I should honestly like force myself and have a bad bad run and it would make more sense or something, but sometimes I don't know, the clear release kinda of better. I should like waste them out and dump them and handicap myself. You think you is yes. The healing strategy will be very similar to my old one when we did Dark Knight before, where we used a lot of healing to survive the second meteor. It should work. Uh, it shouldn't be as tight as it was before, that's for sure. So, uh, time. You know what? I I thoroughly believe everyone who's gotten the title. <clears throat> obviously can get the title. All we did, all the community did, was expedite the process. That's it. We just made it faster for you. But clearly you could have done it, you know. By doing it and achieving it, that means you could have done it, with or without the community. It's just... Maybe it would have taken you longer without it. Well, I guess time isn't the issue. It's more like... I'm I'm partially concerned with the heal back, but I should be fine. Like yeah, I was tight, but now I don't have to be so so tight either. You know, with both the combo rotation and also getting blood weapon in, it doesn't have to be as precise. I don't think it's well. I'm used. I I've done it before, so it's not that bad. But we'll see. I'm gonna monitor my HP, and I have my food bug just in case. Uh, just in case it. It doesn't look like I'm gonna make it. There's nothing else there, so I'm just gonna go. Fly, ooh, fly. So also, we were, we were having this discussion earlier about controller, and um, about controllers and using controllers versus a keyboard mouse. Pay, like if if it, if you don't notice, like pay attention to when I'm using my pomanders. Um, we're menuing through it. I'm not using a mouse cursor, so this is exactly how a controller would be doing. Um, Homelanders, and I've just gotten used to it for all these years. It's just like, I, I, well, first of all, I love menuing. Menuing is actually something I, I thoroughly enjoy doing in games, to be fair. So I'm used to it, but it is just, I remember, I see where the position of my cursor is, and we just hit it X amount of time to get to where I need to go. And it's very fast. I mean, I do make mistakes, but honestly, it's no different than someone misclicking. Um, so. But I can see people having like, trouble with it, to be fair. I can get it. I, I can see how that's partially annoying. But it's just a personal preference thing. We need a quick palm pinch, it's pretty easy to take time, yeah. I want this one. So one of the things with tanks too, is that we are not wasting time pulling. I see a mission, I want that chest, I see the enemy blocking it, we pull it. It's just, there's no real thinking about it. But we're also trying to manage our amount of kills, right? We don't want to overkill here. I know I have a patrol that's blocking behind me as well, which we want to pay attention to on top of that. But, you know, there's these little things that keep it efficient, and you'll see, we'll, we'll, we'll do good with the time. I think this is flighted. This is flighted. Oh, that's okay. Uh, okay, so... Yo, Bap, what's up, dude? Like, doing all the Rezo Behemoth chat, I felt like it was really bad at getting the Rezo real quick from Mouse. Really? That's, in that's interesting. I, I felt like a Mouse would have been superior with the Rezo chat pin, because the thing with the, with doing it on menu wing is you have to account for the animation delay. So if I miss hit it, if I, if I hit it too early when I'm weaving in a GCD, I just don't get the Rezo, and then I lose time that way. And that sucks, whereas if I'm on a mouse, I can just click, 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 I can keep clicking while also hitting my GCDs, and it'll weave in eventually. So I always felt like in that situation, a mouse would have been superior, but I never tried to do it as a mouse. 
You killing red? Oh, you raising instead of? Oh, yes, I guess it works both ways then. Yeah, I, I always actually thought my I always thought doing it on a on a you know controller S for the keyboard was inferior. That's why I always hated it. I, I did not like the Rezo chat because of the because of that one delay that could mess me up completely. I guess it's not easy no matter how you slice it. Yeah, it was, oh yeah, you know, actually it's true. True, 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 true. Oh, nice. Strength and steel. Okay, cool. 37 minutes walking into 36. That's really freaking good. Especially on this set of floors where I'm always concerned about time. Rizash, Rizash, thank you for the, uh... The, the positive uh, co comments over there. Oh, great. I need to use the palm so I can then take the palm. Right, they're still down the witching, but oh wait, I didn't check that chest. Because I came, I came around this way. I need to check this one. If it's a witching, I it would really could use the witching. Just relating your hey, it's 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 it is useful to people. That is that is the most awesomest thing about this journey and the title and all that stuff is that you have a story to tell, right? And it's different for everyone, but someone might resonate with it. Okay, good thing I have a steel. Uh, you guys, your friend gold. I believe this is a full floor. Okay, Dino coming in. Literally coming in. Oh! Debated. Come here. Bird. Cool. So he's not in my way. I'll check the two chests here. I don't know what that one could be. We'll check that one, that one, and then we'll check the eat the west. Can you pull any mom uh, you want as tank? Um, more or less. I, in this specific situation where I have HP down, no items. I would want to avoid certain ones just because their damage output is a little bit higher. I do have steel, but more or less I can just pull anything uh, if it's in my way. <laughs> like for instance, um, I wouldn't have a problem pulling this one, but I'd have a problem pulling this one because he's gonna do like a lot of double attacks. This one doesn't do double attacks, he just does the stone skin. Um, and he would be an easy pull, and he's proximity, so if he's blocking my path I have to deal with him anyway. So, but like later on when we get to the next set, I mean, apes will still be a problem, but we can tank them. And zoo are definitely, oh, and zoo are definitely going to be one that we want to be worried with because without steel, that's still going to be an annoying fight. But it's mostly annoying because he keeps stunning you, amongst anything else. Well, we all doing good. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing good, dude. Okay, let's proceed to the other section. But uh, but I will definitely say the more priority is making sure my path is clear for tank. Um, so sometimes it may not matter what's in front of me, I just need to make sure that it's not blocking me to a room or an exit. And I don't want to be too, too uh, specific on pulling the quote-unquote easier ones. I just want to make sure I have a path to go places. I mean, if you, I mean, for the most part, I don't. Um, I mean, if there's nothing left, you do, but that's definitely a last resort amongst anything else. 
Well, it's not it's not about the ability of killing it. That's not the problem. The problem with an Anzu is that it stunlocks you, which is a waste of time. Like that's you're just wasting time fighting it. And you'd rather just pull literally anything else, because anything else will just be a faster fight. And that's why you don't pull Anzu. Um, and sometimes it is it isn't it it really isn't down to whether or not you can kill it or not. Last remnant? Yeah, last remnant. No, crawlers are also in the category of an Anzu. I wouldn't pull a crawler if I wanted to. The problem with the crawler is that they slow you, so you're just killing it slower for 30 seconds. Again, that's another situation where you'd rather just pull anything else. Um, it's an inefficient pull. Like, generally speaking, a tank can kill everything in Palace without really too much of an issue. But you're talking about a time, but right? your, your issue is time, so you need to go fast. So you don't want to pull something that's just going to cost you more time. That's why Anzu are bad. That's why, uh... Curls are kind of bad too, to be fair. Here we go. Um, but I'm a little low to pull something else. I don't know if I want to. YOLO. I'll just double buff here. Okay, good. Just a minute. They're not gonna kill you through damage, but they can hurt you in other ways, exactly. Yeah, well well played there with the silver chest. No problem with that one. Time save. Walking into the seventh floor with 30 minutes left. Oh! <laughs> no one saw that. It jumped out on top of the trap. That would have been uh, very sad. Yeah, what do we got? Strength? Uh, not yet. I have... So I have about a minute and a half left on strength. I don't want to pop that new strength, because I can use it on this floor. Definitely something you want to be careful with. Uh, sometimes you get excited. Ooh, new buff! No, don't use it yet. Wait for it to drop and then do it, especially on a fresh floor. Work with the ones you have now. Okay, same thing with steel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work these rooms. I'm gonna wait for the strength to drop and then I'll pop the strength. But I'll wait for the steel to drop, pop the steel and then get out of this room. And then work the other rooms. What you're gonna worry is as fuck as nice. I get to watch my stream. Usually I get to watch the stream while trying to stream. But today I woke up at like 5. Nice, okay. Hey, I'm glad I can entertain. I'm really struggling to survive this Dragoon. Oh yeah, everything is gonna hit hard. What you do on Dragoon and Melee in general is you pick and choose your enemies. So like, these enemies right here, these hurt like hell because they double attack. But this is an enemy where you want to probably bloodbath. You probably bloodbath this guy so you can mitigate that damage output. Now if your bloodbath is down, you pull that other one because that one only does single attacks. He doesn't do double attacks. See, it's kind of hard. But he does do double attacks. And so you, t you fight partially easier enemies to let your bloodbath come back in order, and then you pull the harder enemies with bloodbath. That's how you balance melee. That's how you go fast on melee. You do that kind of balancing act of when you need bloodbath and when you don't need bloodbath. You basically don't want to get into this like trend of like pulling something with bloodbath, and then like uh, basically like just sitting there waiting for bloodbath to come back in order. Like that's a waste of time, you know. Oops, I didn't get the damage done. I kept talking, I forgot my steel went up. Yeah, you gotta you gotta kind of concede to the fact that you might have to kite on a melee just to buy yourself time and to get some ticks on the sustaining potion. Sometimes you're like, no, I gotta stay in, I gotta kill this, I gotta do damage. No, melee, you gotta you gotta kite at some points. Buy yourself time. Running away from the enemy, especially a dragoon jump back. If you do the jump if you do the backflip on, on dragoon and then you run away. You can buy yourself 3 or 4 ticks before the enemy hits you again. That's a lot of HP, that's that's almost 8k HP that you make back, almost half your HP without taking damage. That matters. And then you can dive back in with your cooldowns back up, and then finish them off with your cooldowns. So it's a, it's a, it's an in and out kind of, kind of thing. 
I am pretty sure I aggro this Triceratops. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna fight him. I also have pre Necro Run Ninja because I did no item floor. Once it six uses Bloodbath and dies with Triceratops after they open the gate. Yeah, Triceratops also worst enemy in, in this set by far. I decided that HP up are god too with summoner because they also make my shield. Yes, they do. And then conversely, in Heaven on High, Jordax, having an HP down is beneficial to a lower level Dark Knight because your TBN breaks faster. Works both ways. Oh, I have another shrine. You're gonna aggro. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Oops. I know what this enemy does, I swear. <laughs> I had to I had to use my left hand to go across the across the keyboard to, to do the stun because it's on my right. What are you kidding me? I'm upset by this paralyzed. Wow, nice paralyzed. Uh, let's pull this one. Add a few fours with pretty much only Anzus, monkeys, and all that. Oh, the bird. Well, the bird. The bird of Deep Palace is actually one of the easier ones to fight. They give you a lot of. He gives you a lot of break time to 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 get your HP back. I mean, his initial pull is dangerous. Because he does a lot of tank buster-ish, but after that it's not too bad. 34 potsherds, let's go. It happens, it's, I mean, you just have to, again, pick and choose the right enemies um, to get through. But the bird, the bird, the patrol birds are actually really easy. I just deleted your 161 file by accident, Necro? Oh my gosh, Necro. I have thankfully not, unfortunately, deleted a file, but... Damn, that feels bad. Sorry to hear, man. Oh crap, come on. Really? Well, at least it's not no abilities. I muted myself. Thankfully I stopped the the goddamn thingy. Wait, what'd you post? You post a link. Oh, <laughs> that one though didn't go through. Yo, what's up, Nina? I think I already said hi to you, huh? We already talked. Oh, good thing I didn't get greedy. Uh, okay, so that could be another Mimic, so we're not gonna open that chest for a second. I'm gonna deal with something else and then come back to it. This floor will eat up a lot of time, so you need to be careful. <laughs> Alright, Hollow, thank you for the raid earlier. Definitely check out Hollow Guys, amazing artist, but also does a lot of gaming, very good at gaming. Also gonna be doing some stray speedruns here and there on PC. I don't know if they're gonna stream it, but they're joining me with the stray speedruns. So definitely check them out. Oh, raising! I think it would be nice. But I'm still okay on time, so I don't want to burn a surrender for this. We should be, we should be able to get out of this floor. Ben Rice. Let's go. Whoopow! I love the raid message. Yo, Seamus, what's up, dude? Oh my god. Hello. Hi, man. It's Demon. I do a lot of Deep Dungeon solo for the first time here. Guys, from my chat, check out Ben. He's working on Necromancer. He got to 190 yesterday. That was a fun run. 
and he is working his butt off to try to get that to try to get that title. So uh, check him out. Almost every day he streams, he does a little bit of palace, chips away at that thing. He's on attempt, I believe, number thirty-four. Number thirty-four. Welcome, in, guys. Dark so far is so good. We're not at Behemoth yet, but uh, it's it's uh, pretty clean so far outside of this one specific floor. But we've been pretty good. How was your run? How was your day? Overall stream. Hope it went well. Hope we got that file chipped away. Welcome in, guys. Duro, hello. Good to see you. Good to see you guys. We'll be here for a while, hopefully. We're at 168. We're gonna go till we clear or wipe. Hopefully I'll get put on a decent show for all of you. Especially on this job, which is recently updated. Because it does have a brand new Living Dead since, uh... Wait, since a specific patch. So... Right, I need to not... So we're not popping that chest again, because if it's a Mimic, I don't have my interrupt. I just missed two things right there. I missed my Soul Eater, I missed my Heart Slash, and I missed my, my, my Edge of Dark Eyes. Nice. I love Blind. Blind's my favorite debuff. Yeah, Ben, thank you for the raid. I really appreciate that, dude. It is always a pleasure seeing you, and it was really fun watching that run last night. You did awesome last night. I, I, like I said, I, I cannot wait to see when you get that clear. You will get that clear. Back to 61 with what looks like a super juicy score in the making, but it just needs me for some subs, so I'm being responsible and I'm trying to get back to <laughs> All good, all good, all good, all good. Okay, check. Oh! Sweet! Which means I get the reason. That was some mimic. Awesome. Alright, let's, let's proceed. Resolution? And... Probably gonna aggro this one. Maybe not. Okay, let's check this one. I gotta pick up the raising to remember the raising. Nice! Oh god, there's like three mimics on this floor, but you know what? It's not a big deal, because these all contribute to the exit, so it's actually not that big of a deal. And one of them gave me a Serenity. So I actually cannot be, uh, cannot be mad about that. Insurance, that's right. Maybe we can get sponsored by Geico, and every time I get raising, we can do a Geico ad or something. At what floor of POTD do you start relying on potions? Not Empyrean. Um, not Empyrean, the other one. Oh, sustaining? Like, one, honestly, like 131, 141's where I kind of start popping potions, purple. But it's like, it depends on the pull too. Some of the enemies are like really easy to deal with. I don't have interrupts. I'm gonna wait. Last time I got 1.5 million 100, this time the break. This time the goal is to break 1100 kills. Oh my god. Oof. Man, I think I, I barely scratched like 1k whenever I had, I had attempted to do it. Whoa, who that? Hey, yo, red crushed eyes. Thank you for the five good subs. PS, PS1, Hagrid, thanks for the follow as well. And thanks for the 5, Red Crush, I hope you're doing well, man. My best was 10.99. Oh, man. You're, Ben, you're gonna be scary, man. If you start really diving further into scoring and after you get your Necromancer, oh. You're going to be scary on the board. I can see it already. Um, we're gonna go, for time. I wasted enough time on this floor, I'm just gonna go. 19 minutes. We do want to get to the boss kind of soon. It took me 10 minutes on the other boss without strength and steel. So um, we kind of want to make sure we get to the boss. And the next floor is flighted, so I will do this a little bit faster, but... Bad crush, I really appreciate it. Thank you for supporting the stream. Okay, I have a strength of the boss. This is good. Blinded by light again. We heard it earlier, but it's fine. It's a good song. Should be le most 11 minutes without strength and less than? Okay. I have a rage. Well, we're gonna get there with a lot of time, that's for sure. <laughs> Don't really need to question it now. We'll get there with like, uh, 16 minutes, so it's, it will be fun. Time, no concern. Where's my exclamation point pinned? How much time do I need on the boss? <laughs> you need 35 minutes on the boss. Do, 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 do. 
I'm gonna clear this Triceratops so he doesn't give me a problem getting this chest later. There's a lot of chests here, by the way. Aggro! So one thing you do want to do on a Rage, really good idea, let them aggro you. Let them come to you, don't come to them, because there could be a trap that they're standing on. Just stand there, let them come to you, smack them in the safe spot. So I wait. Smack. Good. Got my Rage back. Okay, so we have yet another Rage on this board. After all the gas gameplay, Tank looks super fast now. Well, I mean, the time is also, like, coming, coming, you know, it's also showcasing itself, to be fair, but... Yeah, this is, uh, this is a blazing fast. Also feels fast, too. Points? That's right. Smells the points. I like how I got- I like how this game is just like, you should have fortune, and then they're like, you really should have fortune. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright. Oh, we had a, like, a full refresh on this floor, apparently. I think the first chest was a rage, right? No, the first chest was a strength. This was the rage. Okay, this was the rage. Got it. Three rages, two forges, and a strength. A really good floor. Wanted to make sure that you walk into one one seventy one with everything. You can smell points from a thousand miles away. Good. That's right. Alright, two dub boss. Palms. I haven't seen a witching in a while. I haven't seen a witching in ten floors, nor have I seen a purity in ten floors. I hope I hope the need to learn monster behavior is thing and tw Yeah, oh that'd be so good. I hope so. No lust. Open, did I open with sprint? Did I seriously open with sprint on this fight? I guess so. I sprint. Oh, come on! Oh yeah, there we go. Oh well. We'll ask sprint later, it's not a big deal. I have no idea what success from is. My inclination is that it's going to be more akin to 4-man Savage than Deep Dungeon DLC. Well, if it has like the ability to edit the... Um, edit it to make it harder or, or easier, like that would be definitely interesting, but this is going to be a brand new content. We, we have nothing to base it on. It certainly shouldn't be like Deep Dungeon, because Deep Dungeon is Deep Dungeon, right? So... Just means skill set wise? Gotcha. Hey, they could they could flip the script on what a dungeon defines as too, right? I mean maybe a dungeon all it is is just it's instance, but it doesn't necessarily mean uh that it's your typical like, you know, trash boss, trash boss, trash end boss. I mean you know what I would really like <laughs> if if anyone who played FF eleven uh, did, did assaults. Assaults in FF11 were some of the best content I ever did in that game. And basically what that was is that <coughs> there was 50 of them, but they all had very different objectives to do. So like, you had to rescue, you had to escort something, you had to beat up something, you had to kill a specific thing, like it was very specific objectives. Um, and at least in FF11, it, it, it honestly did require you to come in with different job combinations just to clear it. Because you needed a specific job to do a specific role. So it's kind of cool in that fashion. And that would be kind of cool if like, it really flipped, like I said, if it flipped the script on your definition of a dungeon, that it isn't just trash boss, trash boss, trash boss. Like it would be something different, like that would be cool. Like Guild has were paid attention to. Yeah, yeah, actually true. Guild has do have different objectives that you need to clear, but yeah, something way more advanced than that, for sure. 
Am I gonna clear the- um, yes. Prague will be purely solo. The plan right now is to take um, three buddies, and we're going to do the first X floors till we get to the farmable floors. I'm gonna get my arm and armor to about 60 or 50, and then I'm gonna start soloing from there. So technically, you'll prog the first X floor. Like, if it's like heaven on high, you'll prog the first uh, 30 floors because you want to get to that repeatable floor. But I think it's more, um, I do think it's more genuine to prog as a solo versus as a party, even as a duo. Um, anyhow, could I ask three people to AFK and let me practice? Yeah. I don't know, I don't, I don't like that idea personally. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's a bad idea for someone else to do it, like, you guys do whatever you want, but for me, you'll never see me do it, especially on stream. I'm gonna do it purely solo. Racing for the app, I will, I will absolutely race for world first, in the assumption I'm here, which I should be here. But you'll see me go pretty damn hard in that content. I'm gonna do it on Red Mage though, and I don't feel like Red Mage is gonna be a great choice for world first. I think like, you know, the tanks will be superior in my opinion, but um... I got all my titles on Red Mage and I want to continue that process, so we will do it on Red Mage. If anything, I might take over world first Red Mage, which will be enough for me. Maybe I get lucky and I become, you know, Twitch first, you know? I'll take that too. <coughs> but I will almost be certain the tank will be the better choice for the wolf first clear. But damage is a huge problem? I don't know. Yeah, we don't know, I, you know? Who knows what they decide? I mean, if there is definitely, um... If there's definitely some weird skewing going involved, you'll probably see me adjust, but... I'm pretty committed to Red Mage. Yeah, like, like I just mentioned, like, I got the titles on Red Mage before. I do feel like Red Mage is my best class. Um, I also feel like Red Mage is a really good prog job when you're going in blind. I think it's a really good choice for that. Now, Tank, I do feel is superior, to be fair. Um, but I've done so much Red Mage that I know that back in my head. I know how to prog in that job with Heat Dungeon. And, you know, it's just, it's, that's just my job. It's like my brand almost. But yeah, that's the job. <laughs> job I'll aim for. It. I'm just gonna see if they're going to make it that tanks won't steamroll. We'll see. It hey, they've had four or five years to think about this. So there might be some really interesting ideas at the input that we all have to make adjustments to. Who knows? I'm sure <laughs> watching this community destroy Deep Dungeon, clear it on all the jobs and everything. Probably factors in, I'm sure they're not blind to what's happening, you know? Even they can just look at their own leaderboards and see what's going on. So... Maybe they take into consideration, who knows? Going to Deep Dungeon Solo really forces you to know all your skills, get your- yeah! Oh no, yeah! <laughs> I mean, you gotta know- you gotta know the job pretty well. But you also have to know how to play the game pretty well too, in my opinion. It really asks you, like, your skill level has to be pretty high. I get so lazy with my defense. They will likely make it intricate considering the reception of both PSV. I feel like we already have an easy and hard deep dungeon. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I guess I don't think deep dungeon is easy at all though. The only the only reason why I guess you can call it quote unquote easy is because the knowledge is just outstanding in this. Like how much knowledge we've created in the base is outstanding. You know, we've dissected this thing so much, and that's that's one of the reasons why it's easy for some people, or very, very, very good for people to hop in and to do it themselves, because there's just so much information that we have figured out. By the way, we're gonna do a three minute ad, guys, when we kill the boss. Three minute ad when we kill the boss, so heads up on that one, alright? Boss dies, three minute ad. And pray that I uh, can actually do landmine plays on Dark Knight, because I haven't done them yet. <coughs> there are a lot of Heaven on High solo clears. I mean, it's just wild. Oh yeah, there's um, probably a thousand Necromancers and Lone Heroes now, and that says a lot. That's a lot of people. Do you think Machinas at 150 paying will lead to DPS reduction for you? 150? <coughs> 
Talon, I'm going to answer that. Um, let me answer that first, then we'll play it out. How about that? Because <clears throat> I'll beat this boss in a sec. But I did high ping Machinist, and the only thing that I felt like was a detriment on Machinist was that I couldn't weave, I couldn't OGCD when I did Heat Blast. Oops. So like, if I did Heat Blast when I was doing like Wildfire, um, for me to get my, my, what was it, 5, 6 GCDs into Wildfire, with high ping, I couldn't do an OGCD because I would clip somewhere and I would lose a GCD in Wildfire. So if you're unable to do an OGCD when you're doing Wildfire and you clip, you will get a damage reduction. But with that being said, I did almost clear with high ping as well. So I mean, it's not going to detriment you pretty much, but I, I, I will say like Machinist and high ping did not feel as fun as Machinist with normal ping. Like that was just kind of like... It, it felt frustrating knowing how Machinist can play and seeing its potential and then getting hit by like a higher like 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 150 180 200 ping like it's just frustrating but it's still possible like if you really like the job like you can still do it but <clears throat> i clip so i lose one gcd yeah so my my backup plan to that was to not ogcd during wildfire that was what i tried to do and it it, it can work like you can do it i mean if you want to do it you can do it it's possible you're not, you're not like killing your chances of clearing at all, and Machinist is a lot stronger too, so... Um, you know, if you really want to brute force your way through Machinist even in high ping, you'll, you'll make it through, trust me. Um, so that's gonna be up to your call. Okay, so we'll do... Um, watching the old video looked atrocious, luckily, yeah. So we'll do a 3 minute ad, but we'll continue. So BRB for the guys watching an ad, and then we'll continue, guys. Alright. Palms are looking solid. I'm missing purity, so that's sad. Sad days in the office. I need to swap food. We're gonna be using um beef. It's what's for dinner. Do I have um actually I have the video, hold on. While we're in ad, let me pull this up. Uh do 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 Hey, there's my video. It doesn't have that many Grammarly views, but... Oh, sorry. It's okay, it's okay, it's alright, it's okay. Um... Uh, I want- I want skill speed for Behemoth. Because my rotation's gonna be kinda tight. I, I'm just not sure if, uh... Oh wait, did I double tap that? I'm not sure if Talon is in an ad right now, so I'll just type that out. <clears throat> okay, in the meantime, we will be continuing. But yeah, I want, uh, skill speed for Behemoth. Alright, shall we? Uh, 171. Okay. I'm just gonna respect the guys in an ad. So, by the way, we'll try to do that also, like, if anyone who doesn't, who's not subbed, talks when the ad's on, I'll probably try to respond in chat. So it doesn't seem like I'm missing you guys or whatever. Alright. You got an ad? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Because I have an ad playing right now, okay. So, yeah, definitely check that video. That's a comparison of, um... <coughs> that's a comparison of, uh, Behemoth with high and, and, and not high ping. Because I did it, I tried it myself. Please let there be a landmine here. Good. I only have one witching though. Okay, pray for me.
Okay, well that wasn't too bad. Oh, I got a rage. God damn it! Plus intuition. That was a uh, good practice, yeah. Lost your ultimation. Uh, uh -huh. Safety. <clears throat> okay, that's a rage. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use a rage now because I need to clear the path to the exit. So that 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 first try went well. <laughs> the first time I did that. Three things I'm doing right now because the machine is one sprint and kite, good. Dead leg and kite, good. Open silver chests, hoping it goes boom as I kite the mob. Yes! Yeah? Hey, every every little thing you wanna try to do. Like that's strategy. You wanna employ strategy, you know? So <clears throat> And whatever can help you go faster, you wanna always try to do it. At least that's how I look at it. But of course there's always risks involved, but going faster. And man, do I know that would stray right now. But it is what it is. Hmm. Check. Got my steel back. Hog. Oh wait. Uh, okay, there's a silver here. Wait, you're not low enough. Okay, I'm gonna drag you around. This is the Serenity, I think. <clears throat> I need to stop. Okay. Yo, er Eric, how you doing, man? <clears throat> I don't remember these chests. One was a safety, I think. And one was a what? Well, lost. Okay. Alright, let's go. And I have another strength here. Hello? Walk in my pet mimic, that's right. God damn it! You know, <clears throat> that's my fault. Wait. That's another mimic I'm gonna cry. Okay. Oh, I got my witching back. Sweet. This I think is the strength, so let's go. We have uh, less than a minute for. Uh, oh, wait. Did I check this? I did. It's an alteration. Okay. This is the strength. Okay, so we did at least a living dead play. That was kind of spicy, but we got the kill, so it's fine. It's all that matters. Cyclops, please. Okay, two dead. I'll pull the one behind. Uh, Zorin, hey, thanks for follow up, man. dead already. Oh, 
A low blow. Okay, quick kill there. Oop. Don't want to touch that. Oh, we got Mandy's. Okay, well, we're definitely out of, out of this floor, but the chest... The exit is blocked by two Dommel, so that's kind of annoying. Strength came back. We'll use it already so I don't have to walk back here. Another potsher, that's nice. 36 on the potsherds now. I think it started with like 24 or something, so we got to look quite a bit today. <clears throat> that's the whole idea of me doing this run to begin with, is to, to actually farm potsherds. Um, now, what am I doing about this Cyclops? Okay, it's a loading trap. I'm not sure if I get a good angle here. I think I can catch him this way, but I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, I could probably get him this way. As long as he doesn't turn. Okay, good. Might be able to squeeze out the exit, too. Oh, steel. Good, good. Hey, Catman, what's up, dude? Alright, cool, 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 cool. Good. <clears throat> With my current main and regular content, Black Mage. And Warrior. I kind of do a lot of Warrior Black Mage, but honestly, I don't do regular content very often, so that's kind of, you know, kind of whatever, but yeah. Yeah, this is my regular content. Um, okay. Well, I guess we'll drag a bunch. Flight? I'll use it later. Okay, we can do that. I guess we'll do five. Oh, six, seven. Six, lose. Oh, I missed one. Can you- what? Okay. That was a little- that was a little awkward. <laughs> like, I'm like, wait, I hit my first thing, I didn't die yet. <clears throat> that's like clean, uh, that's like clean living dead. Yo, what's up, Zamoka? <laughs> Zamoka, I'm enjoying that, uh, Bravery Default playthrough of yours. Good stuff, man. Oh, it's ringing. I didn't need that extra one. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I, I've played the game already, so it's it's kind of fun watching the playthrough because I know I know more or less what's going on. But that's a good game. The Bravery Default Two is a good game. I I do like that game a lot. What is in the first chest? Oh, strength. Okay, I'm gonna ch can I check? Uh, maybe not. I'm just gonna go for time. We'll take the strength and move. <clears throat> That was close. Was it close? For the for, for D dungeon purposes, would you consider ninja as a melee or raid? <laughs> hey, interesting question. I kind of consider it a caster, almost like a like a like a semi caster because of because most of your damage is ranged, um, and you want to leverage that. You want to leverage the fact that it's a ranged. Uh, you have that. It almost feels like a ranged class. Uh, give me a bit while I refresh my water here. Need some water. Fresh water. Straight from the mountains. The Poland Spring Mountains. <clears throat> okay. I wanna pull right away, so let's do the let's do the chest first and then pull. Chest do a uh, oh intuition. I wanna I wanna blow I wanna uh, expend my um my blood weapon here. So that's why I wanna pull right away. To get the most out of my damage. Been digging into PH because the uh, Dita crap made me feel very about doing this week. Oh yeah, I feel that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it was a one-off, but hey, look. I mean, I'm going in no matter what. 
but I, I don't I don't blame you at all, man. Wait till it's ready. When you're ready to go, wait for that. It's all good. Do the Y sent. 30 seconds and then it'll do its full end, so we have two options. We can interrupt or we can arm slang. But interrupt is just a little bit easier. I don't really have to arm slang because I lose damage right away. This is flighted too, I need to remember that. There's another Y sent plus the exit, so I know where I'm going. But I do want to check chests as well. Do you prefer strategically rationing your abilities that you have to do in Deep Dungeon more than formal rotations? Yes. Do I wish the game was more like that? Not really. I mean, no. I mean, it. it the game has different places for different things, right? And you do you do certain things depending on the content you're doing. So not really. Um, I mean, I like the fact that <clears throat> you have. That it isn't it isn't kind of strictly on rotation. Like you you do have choices if you want to do it. I mean I've I've definitely had people say, hey, why aren't you doing you know swift casts on cooldown? Oh crap! God damn it! Because I just interrupted. Um, why aren't you using like like before before Endwalker? Why aren't you using Perfect Battle? Well, Perfect Battle is back, so I, I should be using it, but I forgot. But a lot of times my stuns and my mitigation and stuff I do save for emergencies. Um, I save them for more of a tactical situation. Because that's where I think like, it's the most useful. Because I don't want to be down the swift and I don't want to be down something that... Because I just rotated in for my damage that I no longer have it because I used it when I didn't need it. And that's kind of fun in my opinion. Having those emergency plays. But for the rest of the content, not necessarily. I mean the rest of the content is not this content. It's different. Got my raising back, that's good. <clears throat> What's over here? Nothing? Because the the whistle Oh, there's actually something here. What? Okay, it's over there. Trap on the corner, so we're we're going around that trap. Looks like weird movement, but there can be a trap on that corner. Right. Oops, I killed my map. Oh, I can't even are you kidding me? That's on it. Right over here is where that where that trap can be, so we make really weird movement to avoid it. <clears throat> we call that stone hedge, that's why we know about it. New keyboard. I don't know what I'm pressing. I'm an RPG player who never uses random- No, I, I I hold my potions for the sequel. I've actually been getting better at that though, to be fair. I've been getting a little bit better for that. But yeah, I do definitely hold my potions for the sequel. <clears throat> I know it's more common for this channel. Uh, but I have- I still have to give you props for being in the high deep under for being able to fight on a full keyboard while conversing with chat. Well, let me tell you, when I do Astro, it's not- it's not happening. That's really hard on Astro, but this is a little bit more tame. Also hard mode and deep- yes, it is. I think I did hard mode when I did it. Zamoka, I think, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> like, the bosses- like, you're- you're having a lot of fun with the bosses. Uh, but that's where it's like- it's interesting, because you really have to go super tactical on the bosses. You don't just steamroll them. I got a whisk- I got a Wyson coming in this way. If he turns this way, I'm moving. There's a lot of apes. <laughs> Miss my soul here. I'm getting rid of this so um <clears throat> so it doesn't give me a problem when it's running around. I prefer deep dungeon gameplay where more than learning Savage Ultimate Dance. I'm biased. Yeah, no, I I mean look, you can definitely have a preference never ender. And this is more my 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 style of, of gameplay. I like being able to just have to react on your feet. I think it makes it a little bit more exciting too. But rating has a place, obviously. I mean, that's what's popular in this game, and clearly people enjoy that. Um, but hey, I mean, here here I am playing an MMO, doing this, doing solo content like throughout my entire 14 career, right? So people will have their preferences. Um, but I think, amongst anything, Neverender, that I've definitely been uh, certainly not taking for granted, especially with streaming this content, it's essentially finding a community and a bunch of you guys who are like, hey, I kind of like that too. 
right? Even though it's a much, 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 much smaller niche <coughs> in this in this bigger game, there are people out there who had who have kind of similar desires in terms of soloing and the challenge like this. And I think it isn't so much of one being better or another or one whatever. It's just that's your preference. That's what you, you prefer to do. And it's nice that a game like this caters to people like us, you know? And they do it really well too. I think that's that's the biggest thing, is that they do it pretty well. <clears throat> Wait, did I check that chest already? I actually don't remember checking that chest. Huh. My memory is fading. I'm gonna take this one so he doesn't become a problem. I have! <clears throat> When I when I catch her, like she's in a weird time because usually I'm running around doing errands, um, and I know she does a lot of um, <clears throat> she does a lot of uh, chatting stuff in the beginning. So I, I usually don't hang when she's doing that, only because it's hard for me to catch up and and listen in. Also, I'm I'm watching like usually some other streamers at that point, so I try to see when she swaps over. So a lot of times I kind of miss the beginning, but yeah, whenever she goes in, I try to I try to be there. I mean, she keeps making fun of me, so I have to be there. <laughs> I have to... I have to be present when she makes fun of me. Okay, there's like a million strength here, so we'll use one. Uh, what is that? That's a bronze chest. I think the beauty part of 14 is that it respects your time enough to experience both if you want to. Yes! Hey, and we're, we're kind of hoping that Island Sanctuary becomes really cool. I mean, imagine if that becomes a solid feature in this game. I mean, that's going to satisfy a unique <clears throat> a unique part of this game. A unique part of uh, gaming in general, you know? The true theme park. They call this game a theme park, and it's going to become a true theme park. Oh, you're kind of kicking my ass, huh? Time to weave my defense. Oh, I'm out. Okay, I don't think I get that chest over there, so we're just gonna proceed with what I have. Oh, we pick up the fresh strength though. But we're just gonna go take the time. I I mean, I'm missing Witching Impurities, but... I essentially have everything else in order, so I really don't need to hang around here too long. We'll take the time. 41, 40 minutes walking to the 6th floor is extremely good. Hope I understand the end of the timeless as they say. Yeah, I hope so. I hope it's timeless. Not like dailies and weeklies. Like, I would kind of feel bad if it had like daily, weekly stuff. Okay, no abilities is gonna be a little rough. We'll deal with it. Hmm. No abilities is gonna be pretty rough. I might serenity this. Unless I pick up a steel, I might surrender this. This is gonna take so long. We're gonna surrender this. <clears throat> the reason is I'm losing like a majority of my damage <clears throat> um, by not having abilities here. And it's a full floor, so we can be here a lot longer than I want to be. Is that a gold chest? It is. Okay. How do you handle the second Odin on HOH? Nope. It you basically treat it like a I would I would treat it like a regular Magicite. Because you really don't want a Magicite like 80. You should get to 80 with enough time. 90 is really the only boss that's worth it because of the time save. So Song of the Wind. Hey, I had a question. I want to start my first defense in solo. Try, but I'm playing a controller. What would be a good way to use Pomanus in a controller? So Oh shit. So how I had it set up... Actually, uh, okay, two things I want to definitely bring up first. <clears throat> how I'm currently doing it... is I'm on a full keyboard, so I'm not using a mouse. You're not seeing me click the commanders, you're seeing me traverse through the menu. Um, almost similar to how a controller would do it. Now, how I had it on controller when I played on controller... was I would hit... Um, 
Uh, what controller are you using? I was using a PlayStation controller, a PS5 controller. So I would hit the middle, the middle menu button, and that middle menu button brought me to my Pomander list, and then I would use the D-pad to pick the Pomanders. Um, which is similar to how I do it on controller. Basically, one button to the Pomander list, and then traverse menu, and then pick the Pomander. So, um, I don't know how you have it set up, but... When I was doing on controller, it felt like home because I it, I it felt exactly like if I was on a keyboard and how I do it right now on a keyboard. Now I think the only problem I had was that when I was traversing through Pomanders, I occasionally had to stop moving unless I was auto running. Um, I think because I was was I using the D-pad? I don't remember to pick through the I actually I think I was using the D-pad. So I, I so my my left thumb had to had to be lifted off the uh, analog stick. But I would kind of maybe mitigate that by auto-running. So I would be in the middle of running and then doing it like that. Using a PS5. So yeah, so I would do the menu button to, to hit the Pomander, uh, to hit the Pomander menu and then um, select that way. I did do a controller run on my end on Red Mage. It's on YouTube. So if everyone would take a look at that and see how I kind of managed it and how it, how it looked like play-wise. Um, maybe it gives you like a live idea. I wasn't able to get a UI like I do have the keyboard right now on the right side of the screen where it would look in my presses. I couldn't find one for PS5, but I was using the controller. Also, Catman probably helped you out there too. So, yeah, what you want to look for, if you can look for it on YouTube, it's um, it's like POTD Red Mage Controller. I think that was the name of the, that's what I titled it, something like that. I did two attempts on it. Oh right, I'm supposed to hit an ad. I'll hit an ad. I'll hit a one minute ad when we go to 177. I forgot I'm supposed to do ads. I keep forgetting. So we don't get an ad on Behemoth, which would be very tragic, let me tell you. You, know, you guys don't want to see an ad on Behemoth. That'd be so sad. Okay. So this is also the other reason I wanted to take out abilities. Because I really need to mitigate on this boss, on, on, on this ape. <clears throat> How is summon at the moment? Amazing. If you're talking about Deep Dungeon PS1, amazing in Deep Dungeon. Some people will say it's as good as Machinist. Of course, you don't have interrupt, so theoretically speaking, you can't be as good as Machinist, but it's very, very good. I'm really hoping this Anzu doesn't turn around. Oh crap, well. Safe. Oh, are you kidding me? I think the exit's the treasure room. Great, I worked so hard to get off this thing. Machinist or Gunbreaker for POTD? If you're asking me, it's Machinist. I actually just don't like Gunbreaker. <laughs> uh, Gunbreaker to me is boring. But if you love Gunbreaker, then it definitely can be a toss-up. But I don't like Gunbreaker right now. I am praying to god that that is not the, uh... It is. Shit. Oh! But we are given a rage. Let's go. I got a freebie getting out of here. I did safety here. Yeah, just leave more rage as problem solved. Exactly. I'm gonna clear this whole room so I can get all the chests. This one will aggro here. This is safety again. Something dropped and I have no idea what dropped. Okay. Steel, excellent. Another steel, I guess I'll use one right now. I came back. Potsherd. Nice little potsherds. 
We'll do a one minute ad right now, since I'm just gonna be picking up chests. So one minute ad, I'll be in a minute, guys. Okay, this is steel. Alright, pretty good. That actually made up a lot of time. <clears throat> that would have been really bad on time, but now. No oh, shit. Uh, but I do have steel, so this this is the other reason why I wanted to have um potentially a steel because this would make us better. This is altered as well, so I want to look for the altered room. Wait for the bird of palace to come over here. not a good spot. I'm gonna probably take the cave with me. Yeah. I figured as much. Take care of the ape first. The bird's not gonna do too much damage on me for now. No ability Dark Knight. Yeah, but unfortunately, I mean, I had to steal on so deal with it. The unfortunate part is I already serenity the, the, the previous set which had no abilities, so now I have to deal with it again. <laughs> not too happy with that, but it is what it is. I see a silver, but I'm in no position to take advantage of it right now. Gunbreaker, a machinist main, but I noticed it gives he gives me too much problems to kill mimic and have him behind and does with machinism and does gotcha. Well, you gotta find your comfort level for sure. Also welcome back to that ad, thank you for that for that guys. <laughs> yeah, missed too much. I have to probably pull the ape next so I can proceed to the next floor. Next room, I mean. Oh, honestly, I should probably pull this one, but it's not good. There's a ch oh, that might be a treasure room. Let me take a look. No, it's not just a lot of cats. Okay. Well, I had, I had. Potential aspirations of looking for a double dip on Zemeth, but that doesn't seem like that's happening, so I guess we'll just do it normally. <clears throat> yeah, but I can't burn another Serenity, that's for sure. It'd be too risky for me to do that, I don't want to go down to low Serenity, so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna have to eat this right now. The steel will certainly help, that's for sure. You on the OS, welcome back, dude. So far, it's so good. Anything from dealing with apes? They usually give me the most problems, kills me. Um, what job we code, Joe? What's our job choice? I mean, frankly, you want to deal with them. You want to get rid of them because having to wait for them is really shitty. Because they're proximity too. Machinists? Oh, Machinists can handle them pretty well. Anytime you pull an ape, open sprints and pull them at max distance and just run them around. And then when you're sprinting, goes out, do leg raise, you get 10 more seconds, 
So you basically are just trying to kill it in 30 seconds. And usually you do kill it in 30 seconds without strength. And with strength it's even faster. But you for sure want to uh, just just hand, just kill them all on a machinist. Oh, there's Mandy's over there. Okay, I did alter this. Oh my god, oh my god. God damn, can't do. I don't know if I can get this chest. <coughs> Let's see if this is a solid object. That's a negative. <laughs> that, is, that is not a solid object, guys. Yeah, I still need to kill something. Well, it's solid enough that he doesn't aggro me, so that's good. Okay, we're gonna try to get back to the exit. Yeah, the... Um... <laughs> yeah, the... So I've been here at least five minutes. So that was a, um... That was a respawn. Uh, you get five minute respawns here in this set. So that I've been here five minutes, so that's a respawn over there. <laughs> yeah, he was busy. Scratching his ass in the post. Okay, I can take advantage of this. As expected, the ability for it just destroys my time, but we created a lot of time from the first three floors. I mean, we bought ourselves so much time to make this viable. Um, now, the beta ball is I probably use an affluence now to see if I can pull some things back. Especially if we get yet another bad floor. Losing seal in 30 seconds. Something to note because the ape is going to be way harder. Um, and I probably want to pull a cat instead if I still need to pull something. Because I don't want to deal with an ape without steel on no abilities. Pin just brought me a sandwich, I'm happy. Ooh, what kind of sandwich is good? I'm gonna affluence now. We got a full cap. So yeah, no ape now because I don't have steel on. Ham, cheese, pepper, spinach. Nice. What kind of onion? Red onion? Or a sweet onion? We'll get more bread! Duh! Make more bread! Red! Oh nice! Okay, cool. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, oh, one, two, three. This is eating my time though, like this is getting a little dangerous. So I'll walk into the next floor with like 22. Might have to do something to go a little faster because of how slow this is going. But this is destroying my time right now. So affluence is coming into play to maybe pull something out. Maybe get a flight, rage, something, strength steal. I'll, I'll, I'll use any of that. You have to give me a max floor with no abilities, huh? Might. I mean, we're still kind of in a spot where we could get lucky and the next one could give me something that makes 79 faster. So I want to get it to 78 first and see how that floor goes and then figure it out that way. 
If there's one more kill needed, that's a problem because I don't have steel on. I might actually force a steal. So I have to deal with apes, and I don't have—I don't think I have enough defense to deal with apes. <laughs> Palace wants to kill your timer; it goes all in max. But yeah, it does. But hey, I mean, like I said earlier, we try—we mitigated some of this by having a very fast three floors earlier. Two living dead plays, one landmine play in a floor. We got to 74 with like 50 minutes remaining. I mean, that was huge. If we didn't do that, I mean, we'd be in terrible trouble right now. Oh, I should have been moving. Yeah, that's why I should have been moving. God damn it. That is my fault because I should not have been here for that Anzu. Yeah, that's just my fault. <laughs> Any new news in Deep Dungeon? Nothing since uh, the 6.3 announcement. You're not going to hear anything until um, probably October. I'd say about October you're not going to hear anything. I'm going to have a pad somewhere else. Not facing in the direction I need to go. Uh, you'll have to check Discord. I don't have it um, as a command in here anymore. Because of all the shenanigans with third party, but it is in our, it is in my Discord, um, and you're more than welcome to take it from there. Can you move? Don't tell me you're stuck because it's a stupid cat, right? Yeah, I and and I talked to Loken about it. Um, I had to tell him I couldn't, you know, just for reasons. Have I? Yeah, at least one time. I think it's happened at least once. I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm not. I'm not perfect on that one. Okay, so let's see what the four gives me. Strength. Well, that's a good start. Um, eh, probably like all your life. It's like a really big hit. I mean, it's like I don't know how much how much they get, but it's a big hit. Oh shit! Abort! 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 What's the easiest tank to solo with Heaven on, Heaven on High? I like Warrior a lot, but Gunbreaker was the favorite in Shadowbringer. And Gunbreaker hasn't changed. Warrior got a lot better. But Gunbreaker hasn't changed, so it, it could be a toss-up between the two of those. I think most people will tell you Warrior, I will tell you Warrior. But I will also point out the fact that I would have told you Warrior in Shadowbringer. It's just I think the access of Gunbreaker really helped out because Gunbreaker gets act you you get Gunbreaker at sixty you don't get you don't have Warrior till one if you didn't unlock Warrior so that could be a potential factor in terms of the job you pick and, you know not everyone has Omni and Omni ninety etc so it is whatever job you have available and it definitely is going to be a lot of work just to build a job up to sixty one. What about tanking solo in POTD? Tanks are great. I mean, they've gotten better in Endwalker for sure. I think my personal ranking for tanks is Warrior, probably Dark Knight, and then Paladin, and then Gunbreaker. Um, now, I'm exploring Dark Knight now, so I definitely have to get back to you if I feel it's better or, or worse than Warrior. Although, to be fair, Warrior, we had such a good time in Warrior, so that's going to be pretty hard to beat, but I would, I would definitely put it pretty high up there. Gunbreaker is fast, but my my the way I kind of rank the tanks is strictly off Behemoth. Um, I think if Behemoth didn't exist, and I always say this, if Behemoth didn't exist and that was not a challenge on this run, uh, Gunbreaker would probably be first place by far. Like it would be hands down first place because their damage is superior to the four tanks. It's really good damage. You you will crush the floors climbing on Gunbreaker, but Behemoth exists, and Behemoth is really hard in Gunbreaker versus the other tanks right now. So, it makes a difference. 
Getting back in my soul attempts, hoping to be long. Hey, yo, yo, do it. Get it done. Hey, if anything, you know, 6.2 is a good goal, but a lot of us are trying to finish off our goals before 6.3. 6.3 is the new deep dungeon, well, 6.35. So you got five months for that, but that's where a lot of people are going to be aiming their goals for, for sure. Alright, so time-wise, we are in range now that I have to use a flight. If this takes any longer, I probably have to use even more than that. But we definitely have to use something to get off this, to, to help myself on the boss, on the Dina, to give myself enough time. So a flight will probably happen, and then we'll just, we'll just see what happens. Yeah, and that's why I'm gonna explore today. At least, hopefully I'll be able to, go to give a good demonstration of it, I hope. Maybe I don't, but we'll see. Okay, you gave me a space to check the other room, Mr. Ape, so I'm gonna take it. There's a strength in that chest while I have to check out. I wanna check these other chests while I have a chance, though. I wanna beat out that patrol if I can't help it. Another strength, again. And a mimic, okay. We'll bring it back. I have a plan for Behemoth and I'm kind of confident with it because I've done it at least once-ish in the old strat. I have an idea and it should hopefully work, but I have backup plans if it doesn't too. But I will have only one attempt on it. I gotta clear up the Mimics here. Oh crap. Of course something else spawns in here. We gotta clear this up so the exit's nice and open. I don't know what this- is this just another strength? It is, right? Oh, it's a sight! God, there's so many chests here. Uh, it's not particularly a good spot for me right now. <laughs> not a good spot. I didn't pick up the sight either. Okay, we're gonna try to get the strength. <clears throat> this might burn me, but I will try- Oh, yep, it's gonna burn me. I wanted the other strength to get it back. That's really gonna help me on the flighted floor. Now let's see if I can make it to the... We're making this really tight though. This is actually going to be a lot tighter than I would like it to be right now. Ah, uh, Shit, this is probably going to aggro. Alright, well, let's do it. <clears throat> I might have caused myself a big problem though. Like a really big problem. We'll have to hope the next floor is not going to be high kill, but that's going to be a... No. Well, I don't know. There's a landmine I didn't see. That over there is a luring trap. That was not a landmine. If you saw a landmine in another room, I didn't see it. I don't think I'll take it. I could have been out of it two minutes earlier, but I could have not had a strike on either. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. If you saw it in the other room, then... I definitely didn't see it, but that one in that in that particular room I was fighting in was a shh. That's not good. Uh, that's really bad. Considering I don't have time for this. Hmm. Well, using the steel now is probably better because I can't have it for the boss anyway. All right. 
I'm gonna try to do this with no abilities. Either way, I'm gonna have to use two strengths, so I can just pop that new strength and then take it with me. Because <clears throat> I have to re up strength on the boss anyway. But this will get really spicy. I have three lusts, but I'd like lusts on the, on the boss, on, on 190. Okay, we're doing pretty good damage with Shankon at least. Shh, great. Is that danger? That was probably danger. Not sure what I'm doing now. That's what I'm doing. Secondary witching though. I don't have abilities. Here. I'm not gonna die. I'm not dying. Too much defense. Okay, well we expended way more than I wanted to on that, but I guess we get to the boss. <clears throat> Whatever. I should I probably could have done that without the the serenity. I probably could have done that without the surrender. I'm gonna have to move though. We'll re up this shank and seal it 8 minutes. I'm also gonna re up my food now. I could have done the landmine without without using anything, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. It's whatever. I'll just deal with the consequences later. <laughs> Do you have to slow down for LD or is it gonna be back in time? Uh, 200 seconds? It should be back in time. That's uh, three, three and a half minutes. It's gonna be back in time. Palms are a mess though. No witching, no pure well, purities, whatever. Because <clears throat> everything else is kind of okay. goes in. 80%. Again, I have to re-up strength and steel. The steel can be a little unnecessary, but it's safety play on the steel. Um, <clears throat> mostly because if you take too much damage on the setup for lusts, it could be really hard to make it all back, so the steel helps you there, and you really don't need steel, you know, for the rest of... for the, for the other floors, kind of whatever. Um, but the strength does have to go up because you are not killing this in under 8 minutes. Um, especially with the setup, so we have to re-up the, str the strength and steel, so that has to happen. That's why it, w it didn't matter that I popped the strength and steel on 79. <clears throat> because I knew into this fight I'd have to re-up it anyway, so we may as well take the advantage of it on the floor. Which we did, kind of.
So I'm gonna do it at eight minutes so I know I have it for the rest of duty. <clears throat> duty. Checking zero out, so we're now good for the rest of duty. We just have to hit the hit the GCDs and get down to twenty. I'll do I'll do twenty. We'll do twenty. Take out my AOE so I don't accidentally hit it, which is right next to my HP macro on six. So I deleted them. I'll put them back in. <laughs> Oh, I'm muted. Oops. Thank you, I was coughing a while ago. I will try not to die. Good thing I wasn't saying too much. I was clearing my throat a while ago. It's okay, I was only muted for the past two hours, it's fine. Not a big deal. Um, okay, let's hold MP. I should be able to... It's one minute, right? So we should be good here. Wall. Okay, MP's full. I want him on the other side of the arena, so we're just gonna be pushing him to the other side. I just didn't hit my combo correctly, nice, GG. Twenty-four. Three. Holding a lot of my cooldowns now. MP is full, so I'm not going to use any more MP. Two. Three, one. Twenty. Holding here.
three, four, five, one more. Sixteen point zero, fifteen point nine, fifteen point seven, fifteen point six, fifteen point four, how much? Oh, my timing is not good. Hmm. Had to jump food. Living dead. Actually, the whole setup was not good. My, my rotation was out of whack. I didn't do that right. But hey, not a bad behemoth at all. <laughs> that seemed way more strength. Did it? Well, I um, I don't know. I have to look back at my rotation because my rotation was uh, not when I wanted it. <clears throat> so like, what I was aiming for was for Soul Eater to, to, to be there once the first meteor drops, and then you run through the rotation to get the soul, second soul leader before the second meteor drops. But that was just way out of whack because I used it, I'm like, oh, it's not here. So I ended up dropping food. So, so like, the food drop, so that's one reason I had this here, because this was emergency. Because I shouldn't have needed the food drop if the rotation went well. Super Potion made back enough, but the food was, was the emergency. Yeah. Well, I I wanted I wanted that that so I timed my sustaining potion specifically because I wanted to carry it into the first and second the second meter casting so I didn't have to worry about it coming back up. So that's why you saw me delay my my GCD a little bit because I saw that timing coming up. I'm like, okay, let me just use it now and hold for a little bit. But I didn't want to have to worry about a second sustaining potion. So we had the sustaining potion carry us through the second cast, but it was just the rotation with Soul Eater that was way off. I think, I don't know, I, I have to look it back again. I was going way too fast. <clears throat> Sorry if I didn't convince you for the healing strat, my apologies. Whoops. Giddy! Damn, I, I didn't do a good enough case for the... Hey, I leveled to 86, nice. I didn't do a good enough case for healing shot, oops. It didn't go as planned. No, you need it on the first hit of Meteor. So like, I set up Soul Leader to start with Soul Leader, right? So I started with Soul Leader. I have to run it back though. I don't know what the rotation was anymore. I hit it way too early. <clears throat> yeah, if I had the double Soul Leader after the first Meteor, it would have been easy peasy. The food was, like I said, the food was emergency. I needed to drop food or I would have died because I didn't have that second Soul Leader. But it worked out well with the super potion because you're healing so much more. So it worked out in that in that sense. But um, that's why I had backup plans. That's why I said backup plan. Had a backup plan. <clears throat> um. Okay. Cool. So we got to one one eighty one. Tincture's really comfy. Well, this is definitely for some people who can't do tincture. I mean, there are going to be people who cannot do tincture. And I had someone ask me the question about that. So at least now we have like extra extra visuals for it. So. <clears throat> Even with the macro, I still fuck up dropping food. That's why I put it all in six, Sheila, for me. Six, six, six. So, six is my getting rid of the, the lusts. Six is also the HP percentage, and then six is the food. So I know the button's the same. It's like, it's like, uh, it's just a very consistent button for me. <clears throat> You're too much of a cheap ass to buy any. That's fair. Yeah, free trial doesn't have tincture. And you can have Dark Knight and a free trial. <clears throat> Okay, let me take a restroom break and an ad break, and then we'll continue to 181. How about that? BRB, and then we'll re-up the food. So BRB, in three minutes, I'll be back. Thank you for watching. Down Behemoth. Now the rest of the run is a little shaky, because I have one Serenity, and I have zero Witching. 
But everything else is in order, so hopefully the rest of the run will be okay. So BRB, thank you for watching, guys. I'll be back in three minutes. Yo, good luck, Corn Pops. Keep me posted, man. Alright, BRB. Alright, <clears throat> let us continue. Deep dungeon peeps are best peeps? They are. Absolutely. <clears throat> Thanks, Wallen. Alright. I'm not in game. No, I'm in game. Okay, <clears throat> let's uh... Thanks, my FC buddy putting up the food buff. Let's go. Alright, 181. Found three raising my last floor set. Yo, Pog, dude. Let's go. Dark Knight, 181 plus. Let's do it. That's the exit. How scary is 190 in tank? Not really at all. Um, it, it's not too bad at all. You can down him in 8 minutes too, it's not too bad. Just have to make sure you don't make a mistake, that's all it is. <clears throat> Nothing coming behind me. I'm dying, I'm dying!
Just make sure you say rules for the ads. Yep. What we're gonna do definitely is we're going to hold some of our damage and MP so we can burn the ad down pretty well. You're also gonna see some double killing, uh, hitting the lust on the ad as well as the boss, assuming it can pick up three lusts. So you'll see quite a bit of that on the run. But generally it's just not getting hit with the mechanics and defending. It's not too bad at all. Behemoth is the scary one. Of course with Dark Knight that really was pretty comfy on Dark Knight to be fair. And considering even with a back even with a plan B it still worked pretty 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 um smoothly. Dark Knight's in a really good position. Honestly, I will say I I probably will say Dark Knight is probably easier on Behemoth than Warrior. I mean Warrior is pretty easy with the with the weaving that you have to do, but honestly that was really just not 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 an issue at all. So I thought it was just pretty simplistic. I mean, just just the initial burst is what's hard because you gotta you gotta load up a lot of things. But even then, you don't have to be so precise. Um, you just basically just burn off your first MP real fast, and then just start burning MP after that with blood weapon. And then you just yeah, you just take what's it, what even with tincture, it's just blow it all with tincture, and then living dead, and that's it. You know. Good. Trying to homebrew healing. Homebrew it? Hey, look, I mean When I when I was figuring oh she's here. When I was trying to figure out 180 myself, I was doing math. I was like I took like one oh. <laughs> well well then. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I missed. Good. It takes four shots? She's beefy. Oh, she's coming, guys. She's coming. Witching came back. Uh, let's go... Uh, I guess it doesn't matter what I play. She's coming. I was referring to the rare damage stick between the... Oh. Let's see. First time I ever saw her? Probably first time I ever saw anyone try to resolution her too, but I was given the gift. I'll take it. Yeah, she gave me a witching! And she also stood next to a resolution chest. Really nice of her. I'm out. Alright, well, we're we'll good. I'm gonna probably... Affluence. Let's keep an Affluence going uh, at 2. A sign that she should be fought more often? Yes. Does a special... Does a mod do anything special? No, they just melee. But they are as hard as the Mimics. And what's actually kind of interesting is you can't Witching them. So like, Livia is gonna be really hard because you can't Witching her and she's one of the hardest hitting things in here. Next floor set I'm gonna try to weave in a uh, 30 second ad. Real lucky, okay. I was ready to interrupt, but uh, apparently you didn't want to use it. Oh. I had my I had my finger over interrupt. 
I was like ready to interrupt if uh, if that was gonna go real bad, but I got lucky. Her dialogue line. Oh, was it? Oh, there you go. Well, I have it clearly on uh, on video. Oh shit! Oh, oh god. Okay, this is bad. If if this gets the heal off, I'm screwed. Okay, good. So like, what what the Walmora will do is that it can heal its friends. And it's like a 25% heal. So if it got the heal off, I'm essentially screwed. I have to just imp I just have to witch him or kill the Walmora first. But even then, that's not gonna be worth it. I see a lot of brawn chests. Oh, I hit the wrong combo. I am incapable of hitting a 1-2-3 combo. Looks like a potsherd farm. Thanks for the max potion. God damn it, can you at least give me a potsherd? I'm at 38, but I have to use 10, so I'm down to 29, but it's still better than 13. I started with 13. <clears throat> I know there's a Chimera floating around, so I probably want to just not be here too, too long. Wiped an 87 because a bronze a bronze box exploded. Bronze boxes bronze boxes don't explode. So you might have just been like a silver that looked like that's what's maybe on top of one, potentially. Oh crap. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna have to wait. Okay, we're good. Yeah, you could have been a source trap too. Although Lamb I wouldn't kill you, but still. Yeah, bronzes don't explode in Palace, so you might have just mistaken it for something else, but they don't explode. It might have been like, it might have been a, it could have been a chest on top of another chest, which is very possible. I've seen that before. Oh my god, you could, if you're gonna give me bronze chests, at least give me a potter. Okay. You might have just mistaken it for something else, which is fair. Also, um, it's also possible if you had killed something and it dropped the chest, Sometimes you can't tell what the chest is because the dead body is actually covering it, so that's also possible. am local? It's 2 a.m. here too. I'm gonna go to like 4 a.m. today. It'd be great. We go in degen. Got my Serenity back, so we're up to two, so that's good. Yo, Ari, hello. Let me get to this last chest in case it's a Mimic. Fortune. Can you make a clip? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, and then put it in Discord so I can take a look, and we can definitely confirm to you. One way or another. Um, actually that was an affluence floor, wasn't it? I got a serenity, I guess that's fine. I'm not gonna argue that. Okay, we're going this way, so we don't aggro the Wamora, and then we go to the next floor. Not bad so far with time. 10 minutes on the first two is pretty good, considering we haven't really used much. 
<laughs> and my my strength is back in order. My steel needs to back back in order, but we'll deal with that later. Back to Katissus. I don't mind. Another strength, that's good. Excuse me, crawlers, I need to check this chest. Nice flight pickup. Not siding. I have no reason to. We'll just do this for straight up. What happens if clear PUT while visiting another world? <clears throat> you will get your titles, but your score will not register. You will not have a score register. But um you will uh you will you'll still get the achievements and stuff. I'm supposed to do a 30 second ad, I keep forgetting. We'll do a 30 second ad once we clear this fight. Hey, it's all good, Soggy. It happens, man. It all- it happens. You learned a lesson, it's all good. Well, I mean, if you do- if you do Machinist, Unlike, unlike a lot of servers, unless you do a really good score, you're probably not getting on the board nowadays, because there's so many clears. Oh good, my shank is about to wear, so I'll pick up the new one and then get out of this area. Get out of this. It could be lighting. Lighting could have also like kind of made it look like a bronze, to be fair. Dragon Boy's in. If you can uncover all the rooms, get speed, mostly kill everything, you'll get no board, no problem. That's true. We probably average like a 3 million Sheila, probably, right? You half assed your machinist clears. So you arrived on your machinist clears like drunk and everything. Got it. Half assed it. Half assed <laughs> Uh huh. Uh huh. Got it. <laughs> got it. Yep. Yeah, I got you. Bronze. Bronze. Okay, a multitude of bronze chests. I am. I am here for a chest for uh, for potters. To be fair, but... Uh, one of the runs was during the big earthquake. Oh, I remember that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to literally hide under your desk. Uh, let me not incur the wrath of a crawler. Hell yeah, Pacher, let's go. I have 40 now. Mm hmm. Okay, I don't know if I need more than one. So I'll deal with the sprite and then back up to the more. Yo, more Pachers, let's go.
Yo, where's her at? Thanks for raid! Let's a number a member of the community. Has done some deep dungeon runs, but also does some other stuff. What's up guys? Welcome in. You're at a nice time. We're in uh, 183 right now. We got past Behemoth on Dark Knight. Pretty smooth in my opinion, but I didn't convince anyone about the healing strat apparently. Apparently it looked too spicy and they're all gonna stick to Tincture, but we did it anyway. I hope your stream went well. Let me know what's, what's up. Nothing! They don't drop anything! Except points. The Magicite's in Heaven on High was definitely a quality of life improvement from, from Palace of Dead to Heaven on High. When Palace of Dead, Silver Chest don't really do anything outside of points and explode it. Oh, I'm <clears throat> I'm trying to see if I can get away without using any uh, potions, but I guess not. Cloud power. Yeah, I'm a little blue. <clears throat> I kind of like blue, it's alright. Just did POTD, had a curse 161 the other day, so it was just about reclimbing, got through Godmother, and it's like, yeah, that's fair. You don't want to go sleepy, but nice, nice, nice. Awesome. Glad to hear that you're reclimbing. Hopefully, we're going for the finish today, but we shall see. Excuse me, crawlers. Don't mind me. I just want to get to the exit. You need Bakram tea, but I also want to my weapons. Fair. Benefit of Rage over Petri. Yeah, that's true. What Fubar said. But Rage is more dangerous because you could die in a Rage. You can't really die in a Petri unless you Otter for some reason. Hmm. This is a straight floor. There's the exit. I guess it could be worse. You can die in a blind Petri. Oh yeah, <clears throat> you gotta make sure you kill everything, that's right. I didn't see that Vinter. But I will take him out next. Okay, that worm, seriously. Worm is ruining my life right now. When I aggro Mifuna, yeah, 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 yeah. It happens to the best of us. See, that's a strength. Let's check the other chest first. Mifun is the samurai horseman that obliterate you, and you never really want to pull them. But they're proximity, so you kind of have to pull them. Okay, pretty good. I think I want to clear up a little bit the exit, and then we'll try to explore the other room. Two potential things that can block me from the exit, so I'll take care of them. I memorize the names of things that I need to avoid. <laughs> or I give them names. <clears throat> like the robot bitches, I call them robot bitches. The wing bitches, I call them with the birdie, the bird stuff. But they're easy to fight. That's how I remember those guys. Meme Dino Vinegar Beth. 
<laughs> That's a long name. I mean, I say meme Dido now, so... Oh, I shrank this down. And I know I have another one. Relax, sir, ma'am. Oh, I'm out. Uh, let's pick up the strength and go. I'm not gonna explore that other room because I've already opened the exit, so we shall just leave. Ouch, bird, it goes, it goes Anzu. Anzu's don't pull. Big ugly bird. Oh, great. Um. I think this is why I do a double rage. Let's see how. Oh, well, you're over there. That's great. Two patrols. Hmm. Okay, let's go this way. There's a. Oh, there's a loading trap. That's good. But can I manage enough pull? Can I manage enough kills to the exit? That's the question. Okay, steel. What is this? It's another loading trap. So this will be how many kills? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I don't like that number. Please be luring. Okay, that is a luring trap. Okay, that's good. So we'll have enough for this, and I'll do the double rage here. <clears throat> if I need more than this, I have um I have the other learn. <laughs> This is gonna get me out of the blind floor. Back up. So we scouted the area, saw the two raid, saw the two lurings, taking advantage of it. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a lot of kills. I needed what, like, that was a three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I needed eight kills. <clears throat> Oh man, no abilities follow up. All right, we gotta try to kill as many as we can. If I can get four, that's gonna be really good. I'm not getting four. Give me this, give me this, give me this. Oh, I didn't get him. Might steal. Oh, yeah. Damn, I only got two kills here. Is that I tried to favor the... I tried to favor not taking the ward with me, but... That's why it was slow. It was just, it was a really risky one because I didn't know if I was gonna hit him and then take the worm, and I didn't want the worm. I definitely didn't want the worm. I can't stop the worm. Without mitigation, they do. <laughs> that's for sure. And that's what. That's what. That's what's hurting more is the fact I don't have mitigation. I mean, I steal up now, but without mitigation, I just chunk for half my HP. Okay, can I at least kill you first before you aggro the Chimera? Okay, I'll take the Chimera right now. Uh-oh, we got party. We got a certified party.
Had a last out short run, 178 white. I, uh, I had five things on me, and one of them paralyzed me, and I thought I hit light speed, and it didn't go off, and I was assuming light speed was off, so I got kind of screwed. Shit. Double shit. Triple shit. Oh, at the edge! <laughs> like, literally the edge of that. Holy hell. Okay. Time to focus. Oh god, I don't know what's doing what. Okay, well, I had no idea which one was doing what because I swapped my stupid, uh... Who's that? Yo, Kira, please? Hello! Welcome to the... Thank you for raiding the stream. I hope you're doing well. Don't worry, don't worry about me. I'm just dying. Really bad. So I confused the hell out of myself because I, I focus target one and I had the other one. I didn't know which one was doing what. Well, the bang guys, Angel's Demon is here. I do a lot of deep dungeon. I know Kira is working on some deep dungeon on their end. I hope you had a good stream. Guys from my end, definitely check out Kira, who's working, who is doing some. I know they were doing Heaven on High uh, for a bit. Thank you for that follow, Sheena. Appreciate that. This is not great. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Here we go again. If I die again, I'm gonna cry. If another one comes, I'm just gonna witching or something. Bang voice in. They better not fucking alternate. They alternate on screw and dragon voice double. These are being very nice and doing it at the same time, but I don't know how long that's gonna last. Okay. Good thing I still have another one coming up. But something just spawned here, which is a frost dragon. Oh my god. Four right now. Dude, where's the cross dragon going? He's going that way. Vinther is coming. I want to get past this cross dragon, but I can't. Wait. Shh. Okay. I wasn't ready for that at all. I'm actually out of that room. I'm somewhat out of the floor though. <laughs> anyway, Kira, I hope your stream went well. <laughs> hope your stream went well. Sorry, I was a little uh, a little distracted. But I appreciate the raid. Thank you so much. There's so many patrol I don't even know where the exit is yet.
saw some great fog in the SR. P1 started my Dark Heaven on high since I borked the machine front. Okay, I hope you enjoyed Dark Knight. Dark Knight's a fun job, dude. It really is. Especially in Heaven on high. I like it a lot with TVN and all that, so it's a good job. <clears throat> it's a good choice. Hey, look, I'm out. But the question is, where is out? I don't know where out is. <clears throat> I'm gonna do an alteration. We have a lot of time, so we're gonna try to bank on the fact that I can maybe get through the next couple floors. Maybe we do an uh, alteration, full floor flight, or maybe double flight. Sit on two ages, hopefully. We have a lot of time though, this is a lot of time. Stop hitting me. Okay, where is the exit? Not that way. It has to be that way then. Okay, worth it on that one. I'm gonna go over here. If the Chimera comes here, then I'll just wait for it, which it did. Safety's good. I know where the exit is. <sighs> Every time I board my spin a wheel and it picks the next job. Oh! Have you picked Astro yet? Because let me tell you, that's one of the best jobs out there. Um, please go further. Go further than this. Further, further, further. Excellent. Now the other one needs to make a decision. And he's going straight. Okay, I moved just far enough so I wouldn't aggro plus take the worm, so it's double dope. I want that chest, but we're just gonna go. No, the wheel is lucky not to hit Astro yet. <laughs> yo, Lan. Yo, Lan, what's up, Lan? How you doing? Okay, got out of the floor, thankfully. Into a blinded floor. Well, great. At least I get a safety card. Um, this is altered. I see Corrigan's over there, so we're gonna go over and punch them. Also, I'm gonna hit this silver chest to see if we get a quick kill. No kill. But we get three. Wait. Okay. Fortune. No other drop. Let's get out of here. <clears throat> Alright, so that's a good start. Three kills in. Let's start hunting down. I won't use anything except the. Uh, I mean, I might re up my strength potentially, but. Where is the exit? There's the exit, I see it. That is a treasure room. We could have had a Corrigan treasure room. So we have enough to pull at least. Just the question is do I get to the exit? I mean, that's the bigger question right now. Looks like the dragons are all moving, so we should be able to sneak around that room to get out of this floor. Rams in. I ran towards. Enemies are all facing one direction, so I could take advantage of that. Dragon boys in. Ran towards out. Mimic, it's okay. So they're all facing one direction, and that means they're just stuck. Which is convenient, because I can sneak around and do that check at the chest. And I'm not upset by this Mimic at all, because it's still contributing to the exit. Time is a little spicy, but I could probably still get away with two flights if we get out of this floor right now. Could also alter again, but we'll run the risk. Kind 
how they all suck, how does that work? So, think of it like H- so like, you know how they have like, the radio boxes around their- around their, uh, themselves? The bigger the enemy, they have that the really big radio box. So in essence, just think of it like, they kind of spawn on top of each other, and then they can't move because if, because the area is too tight. So, so the bigger the enemy, the more likely they get stuck next to each other, and that's how that works. So, more than likely, if I were to pull something out of that room, um, it would dislodge all the enemies, and then they'll start moving. If that makes sense. Um, and that's the idea there. And it's possible that if an enemy walks through there like like a, like a patrol, it could dislodge them as well. It's possible, but unlikely. Um, but the more likely case... Really? Are you serious? Dragon? Dragon. Dragon? Okay. So, so the better the better thing is that if you pull something out of that room, it'll start moving them, but yeah, so... Okay, so I guess we're using a flight, because the game is just like, here's the flight. But basically, when you see it like that, watch them. They're not gonna move for you, like, forever. They're just never gonna move, so take advantage of it. Therefore, I got, I got that chest out of there. It's just like a really weird phenomenon, and it's consistent if it happens. Okay, this is flighted. You're in this room. It's like perfect Jenga tower? Yeah, yeah, I guess that's one way to look at it. Now, another strat that we can do um, and, and this isn't just exclusive to that to that idea that it's that they're stuck in an area, but sometimes you'll see the bigger enemies being stuck in general, like a frost dragon. You'll watch, and they just don't move forever. For some reason, the bigger the bigger they are, the more, the less likely they can move. And a strat we do is to witching. And when you witching them, they turn into an imp, chicken, or a frog. But the other attribute is the fact that their hitbox reduces, and that actually makes them start to move because they get unstuck. So I could walk into that wit I could walk into that treasure room. I could witching it, and you'll see everything start moving because the hitboxes are reduced in size. And that can come in handy for very niche situations. But it is something that is, I guess, worth noting. Because I've used it a handful of times to help me out of a floor and to get me to an exit. I used it I would say like three times to help me get to an exit, because you would have like a frost dragon just staring at an exit for like five minutes. You witching the frost dragon and they start to move because they're toad now. Pretty neat little little strat there. I'm gonna pull this dinosaur next because I don't know what else is left. And this dinosaur I'd rather deal with than the scorpion that's over there. That's the sword. Imagine if I get a third less of 190, it'd be nice, that's for sure. I mean, I should hopefully get there with enough time. I can flight the next floor and we should be good to go. Hopefully, if we get out of here fast enough. Palms are really good, though. I did a, I did a failed double raid, but we still only had like one bad floor and that's anything else. Had two alterations give me Corrigan, so that's great, too. A pretty clean run overall. Yeah, yeah, the Serenities coming back were huge. And me trying to, my best not to use them definitely came into play. Uh, you're coming next. My first second run had Corrigan Treasure on Monday. Ooh, that's nice. Did you get a lot back from that? Or did you get a lot of mimics? Palms are great. Time is, time is pretty damn good. Palms are great. I need 8 minutes on the boss, I think. Maybe I should get some bosses in 10 minutes, but... It should be fine. If I can get on- if I can exit the fort now, it's good. I forgot an ad, I, I need to hit an ad. I'm gonna hit an ad once we open the exit, I'll do a 1 minute ad. I keep forgetting the ads, I'm so focused in here. Hey, evil pillows. I gotta pull something else. Finally got a stream, hope things have been going well. They've been going well too. I've been recovering from sickness and I honestly feel a lot better, so that's good. 
don't aggro. Okay. I don't have good options though. Frost Dragon. Uh, Scorpion, Frost Dragon, Frost Dragon, Scorpion. I'll take the chest first. If it's a Mimic, I actually would prefer to see a Mimic amongst anything else. If not, if not I'll just pull the, uh, the Scorpion. We'll pull this Scorpion. But I have to be very careful with this pull, because he can drag me into traps. I need to be just to respect this thing right now. Okay, I'm going to try to stun Tails through here. Boom, stun. Yeah, a Mimic would be less dangerous right now. It really would be, versus uh, versus what I have here. A Worm, two, two Claws, and two Dragons. I'd much rather be fighting a Mimic right now. Oh, uh... Oh, I actually had stun ready, but... Oh, that's not cool. I have to pull something else. So that... Hmm, that kind of just changed the idea here. I mean... I might still be okay, but... I'm not sure. I may want to rage the next floor now. We'll see. I could also do a double strength steal. Oh crap. That's all. Yeah, the strength seal to come out. I also cannot do that silver chest right now. Oh my god, why am I dying? Oh, because they're both imps. Oh, one's an imp, one's a chicken. Man, that would have nice. So I would have taken the I would have taken the HP drop. And then maybe we would have gone. Why are you doing granite rain first? Actually, would have been real nice if it exploded with living dead on. I have no more mitigation. I'm gonna go for Abyssal Drain. Time is just a little spicy. Okay, you dropped the chest. I think I'll play it safe and go with the Rage. Um, because if I spend too long in the next floor... What happens? If I spend way too long in the next floor, I could really be penalized. And the next floor is going to be what- Oh, one minute ad! Quick one minute ad, guys. I have to do it. Okay. And a safety. We should have enough time. Even if I have, even if I have gold chest to check, we should be good. That's the idea. Don't give me frostbite. <laughs> That's why. Gotta hurry up. Can I get this last one? No, I'm not getting it. 
That's a mimic. Semi regret the strength steal, but what what can I do? I, I had to use it. I have time though for chests. I missed a dragon? Are you kidding me? What? You seriously missed a dragon that had that didn't even aggro? Oh my god. Welcome back to me. Yeah, thanks for that guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, and hey, I mean I call this Chimera and we call this Chimera Nest and if anything, we got something else too. No, it's not a respawn. I've only been here two minutes, so that's not a respawn. That just I just whiffed it. I didn't see it. I thought I killed enough for them. I thought it was a dead body, but uh We haven't been here long enough to respawn. Yo, fire boy, what's up dude? Okay, check. Got the steel back, excellent. Feel bad, but it's alright. Well, There's a lot of chests that dropped, okay, cool. Got the fortune back. Okay, so time is gonna be good. Uh, we have more than enough time for boss. We did go down the rage though, so that sucks. I have to re up the strength steel, um, which is fine, I mean, that is what it is. I should be able to actually get on the... I think I can get on the exit. I'll fight this if I have to. I'll just do it. Okay. <laughs> I need my chart. Get the chart out. I need, I need the chart. Alright. I gotta watch my strength and steel, because if that drops, I'm in trouble. That's not good. Okay. Two. Three. Give me this. I have to take this. Four. Okay. Not the best execution there, but we'll take it. Okay, tank buster coming in. <laughs> Mitigate. First add is going to be to the east. First red bomb is going to be to the east. I'm going to hold some MP here. I'm going to alternate my lusts. So no MP usage for now. Uh, next one is going to be south. I want to be there. Held some of my MP so I can burst the add down. Next one's gonna be southeast. Oh crap. Uh, I can't drop Sulfur Earth. I'm gonna re up the shank and steal in a second. Here. And here. Okay, good position here. Dropping Salted Earth here. Hopefully that's on me. Okay, good. Holding NP. Actually, I don't have to hold NP here. I'm gonna do uh, the second lust here coming up. Which is going to be to the middle. So I need to go middle here.
next ad is going to be, survey says, to the northeast. Northeast. Hold some MP for the next ad after this. I'm gonna stay kinda close to the cap, and then we'll expend it if we're about to over cap. Mm -hmm. Good position here. Next one is going to be to the south. Mitigating. I think I missed. Uh, that's actually not a good position for that. I don't think I did that right. Yeah, I missed it. Dead. Add. Easy. Had full burst there. The boss is dying in immediate at a pretty respectable amount of time. We're gonna bring the boss T e, uh, west to the next add. Using the chart. Oops. I thought you would fall. This is pretty easy on tank. I mean, Behemoth is the one that's way more difficult. I mean, this does tank buses, and you're a tank, so you have mitigation, so that's fine. Of course, this on a, on a DPS is what's scary, for sure. Healer as well. I mean, really, anything not a tank, but... Holding my MP here? Oh, I just don't need to do this. Can I survive a sap? Doesn't do any debuffs? For science? Uh... I don't remember. I don't know if it's just raw damage. Uh, I don't remember if it's just raw damage. If I take a deep freeze, it might be real bad. I was about to show you what the little bombs do though. That was great. Southeast. Come here! Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, and I don't want to re up the striking seal. Y'all probably crit me. Chain crit me on Machinist Necro Clear and gave me some small heart attacks. <laughs> I remember when I did Dragoon in uh, Shadowbringers, I died about. I almost died five different times. If I had just gotten crit, it would have been over. It's pretty hilarious. This is, this is like. This is under 8 minutes. Granted, I re up the Strike and Seal, but this is basically under 8 minutes. Real nice. Tanks are pretty comfy here, as long as you just don't get hit with AoEs. If you get hit with any AoEs, it's really gonna be big and big tragedy. Because you can get deep freeze. I just don't know what sap does. I think it's just raw damage, but... Oh, I need my MP. Oops. Uh, next ad is going to be to southeast, right? No, to be west. Sorry, west. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two lusts, and I almost don't even get to the final set of rotation. Quick kill here. Uh, we'll drag him to the final ad, which is gonna be north, but we probably don't even need him. Alright, didn't even need that final bomb. Okay, bombs are pretty solid. One rage, kind of unfortunate, but I picked up some things, I guess, on the floor. Good. So I have better RNG than Yuhan. Zero? Well, we'll see what we get. 
Alright, let me do a quick... Oh, I can't do an ad, lol. I have to wait on the ad. Why can't I do an ad right now? I'm gonna do an ad right now, otherwise we're gonna be... Otherwise we're gonna have to do an ad later. That's not nice. It's a... Yeah, it's a, it's a good start. <clears throat> I can't do an ad yet. Damn it. 91... On my Necro player, I got back-to-back -back crit and died at the start of the fight. I didn't let it happen again when I got back after my raising. That's what happened my red ma my black mage. When I got black mage up here, I got I just basically died on like the literal first rotation. I got tank bustered, hit, and I was setting up for the bomb. I got hit again, and that's it. Well, I played an ad too soon. I just realized, like, I, but I've been I've been here like ten minutes. I figured it'd be ready, because I want to do it now in between floors, but it doesn't let me do it. Otherwise, it's going to kick in in 20 minutes when you guys don't want to see it. Tell your red mage without steel, one tap. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's going to blow you up without steel and a DPS, that's for sure. No mercy. No mercy at all for that one. Alright, 191. My water's pretty good. Guess I'll just weave in the ads in the middle, I guess. Yeah. It sucks. I want to do it in between. Yeah, and I should probably just do that. I should probably just hit the restroom first, let this let this kind of play out and all that stuff. We'll step into the last floor for sure. I don't have legs to stretch. I have arms to stretch. Do my arms not require stretching, Mr. Pinned? Alright, so let's take a break. Let's take a little break. I'll hit the restroom one more time, so that should be set me up. And then we'll do the one anyone set. So BRB. If an ad plays later on, it's because I had access to it, but uh, BRB, and we will continue in a few minutes, so... Hang tight! Yeah, stretch the legs, get a, get a sip of water, we will go into the last set with pretty good palms, so we could clear today. So, thank you for watching, guys. Okay, good. I killed enough time for an ad show up. <laughs> Alright. I hit the ad, but we'll go in. Um, I'm on always things. You're unarmed, so they don't need stretching. Damn. Good thing I didn't have a mouthful of soda. Oh. <laughs> Alright. You're nervous, Drew? Actually, this is like comfy. <laughs> like, it's pretty funny. This is like comfy for me because, like, compared to Astro, where there's so much on the line, this is just like, oh yeah, you know, it's just another, just a, just a Dark Knight climb, whatever. Um, let me actually re up my uh, my water and then we'll go. And hey, Kiwi, thanks to the Twitch baby, let's go. That is nine months, Twitch baby, let's go. Thank you for the continued support. I really appreciate that. Right, let, I'll just kill some time and then we'll go in. Is this for real how much faster the boss die when you're not a healer? Dude, I- this is like comfy, man. This is so comfy, Drew. Looking at my time, pulling one at a time, 
you know, and it's not even just healer, it's specifically Astro. I mean, even Sage and like, Sage is fine. White Mage is fine. Scarlet was interesting. But like, the others are fine. It's, Astro is just, you're just like looking, you're just looking at the time, you're, you're calculating the pulls. And every pull you do, you're like, okay, here goes three minutes of my life. And if you mess up, there goes three minutes of your life. Did I make landmine plays? No, I didn't. 181 plus, not a single one. Didn't have an op opportunity. Astro's piddly po- dude, Kira. It's so rough. It's it's not that. It's like you make it up by doing big pulls. So like, you make up the damage by doing those pulls. But then the problem is you're risking death because you have so many on you that can all kill you. And even like, even someone who's done a couple runs understands that even a singular enemy in here can destroy you. So having to deal with 2 plus is just nutty. Dark is pretty Yeah, well this run has been pretty good. I mean Dark, it... It really for the tank run it's really behemoth. How was behemoth? Well for Dark Knight, Behemoth's pretty damn good, I can tell you that much. Alright, we're using a lot of things at the opening. Uh Hey aw oh, Nillary, what's up dude? Thanks for gifting the sub. Five of them. Yeah, Louis, I really appreciate that. Thank you for giving subs out to the community. Missy! Hold on, I'm gonna try to read this. Just wanna say thank you for all the content and knowledge. Soloing Heaven has been some always something I wanted to do, but I've always postponed it for some reason. I finally went in went for it and cleared both. And the con Hey! Congratulations on both the clears. Let's go. Uh being able to see you in various situations turned out to be invaluable to my fog. Good luck with it. Hey, I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the long message. Welcome to the club. Also, Fubar, thank you for the five gifted subs. Nice. You guys are very kind. I really appreciate that. All you people don't get to see the final ad we have to play at some point. Oh, you got a clear, Nillery! <gasps> Congratul- Oh, you were working on that for a while. Let's go. Yo, welcome to the club, Millery. I know you were you had some heartbreaks on your end, but hell yeah, let's go. Dang, aw, thanks guys for, for always sharing those those clears. I always love seeing them and hearing them, you know? And the reason a lot of the reasons I post up the videos is so you guys can learn from them. That's pretty much what it comes down to. Hell yeah, Nillery. Aw, oh, thank you guys. You're, you are very kind. Thank you for those good subs. Uh, Aw, oh, Chila! Thank you for the two for the 100 bits. The thing is kicking my ass. Angelus Hype Trennon. We love you, dude. Let's get this DR to clear. We, 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 you read 82 love. I can't. God, I don't have a purity. <laughs> Shit. I ran away from the thing. It was great. Okay, well, you know what? I needed to debuff myself because the run was going so well to begin with. Guess I just needed to debuff myself. Wee wee wee. Ow. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Great, I'm on a bad pattern with my stupid into with my stupid uh thingy. Safety. Uh, imagine a tank. Imagine a tank with Pox on. Couldn't be me. Could it? Yo, Q girls, hello. Oh, thanks for the hype train, guys. Level four. I really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I never picked them up. I haven't I haven't seen a purity in like 30 something floors. It's been a while. It's been a minute. I wanted to I wanted to feel what Astro felt. That's what it is. That patrol is coming back. 
So much for also saving my potsherds, that's not happening. No dice on that one. Nothing here. Wait. What are the chests? Did I just ran past the chest at the drop? Oh god damn it. It must have dropped from the thing I was fighting. There's like no other chest anywhere else either. Wait, that patrol's coming back. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna have to wait for, to see where that patrol's going. And there's a patrol that just spawned. I've been here five minutes. Okay, they're not here at all. So I'm gonna go back and get that chest. Yeah, it, it was a drop. It just threw me off. I must have just ran past it. I have to deal with the hippo to get it. Nice. This time let's not miss the box, shall we? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I miss hit my button. <laughs> Fuck. I went to hit a potion, I hit a I hit in, interject instead. Yo Lake, thank you for the five! Oh my god. Well, I think we hit a level five train. I'm keeping my pox on for the challenge, apparently. Dying star, thanks for the good. Thanks guys, you guys are too kind. Thank you. As I as I throw this run by not being able to to stop pox or something. Okay, look, I did the button. Look, I did the thing. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks for the five. I really appreciate that. We're gonna try. We're gonna do our best, guys. Palms are really good, so we don't want to waste them. That's for sure. Oh, well, I'm dying. Look how easy it is to stop the pox. You have a flight in three hours! Okay, hey, enjoy the flight, be safe. Hope uh, nothing nothing bad happens at all in terms of like, you know, don't get sick. But uh, oh great. More mimics. I haven't been recording these mimics. Okay. Ow. There's like Astro all over again with all these in the next holy crap. That's not good. That's really not good. Stop! I think it'll infatuate. Okay. I was hovering over I was I'm hovering over Living Dead right now. Oh, got a crit! Really? Had to be a crit? I was really thinking about Living Dead too. Um, I'll steal in case I have to deal with it. That, that's just a time waste right there.
I was riding it so tight. I was already thinking about triggering Living Dead just to get the full just to get the full heal again. Like I was thinking about taking Death Trap and then go full heal, but I was just trying to just spread it as long as I could, basically. And I got burnt by a crit. This is gonna be a rough one, that's for sure. By my own doing. Yeah, it's when you almost have a dead. That's what happened to me on a lot on uh, Astro. I almost have the enemies dead, and I just bad things happen. Interesting how when I have full life, this is not too bad. I see it. Wait. Uh, Gene Wreck, thanks to Paula. Safety again. I think I already have a safety going. much on the damage. I'm gonna have to steal. I thought a Mimic was worse, but apparently a course is worse. I've been here 12 minutes! Sounds about right. <clears throat> right. I see that patrol. I can't do anything because I'd have to... Which way are you going? I'll just pull you. Big ass floor! Oh wait, Exit's not here. Exit is there, okay. This is the spawn room. Right side, I'm losing pots in uh, three minutes. We got an ad. We got a. We got an. We got an ad showing up in uh, a minute twenty-three. A respawn. Dark looks comfy. You know, I'm not playing like dummy. Yeah. And I do have steel on. Yeah, it's normal. I do want to try to get. I do want to try to expend all my alterations, though. That's for sure.
Oh my god, I'm not out of here. I get an ad in 33 seconds though. I don't think I should be here. I'm gonna pull this out. I save rage for 199 usually, but it depends on the situation. <laughs> I definitely don't want to be in a room because you get a spawn in 9 seconds. <clears throat> 5, 4, 3, 2, respawn. At least it's not on the exit. Not anywhere here, that's good. <laughs> Great. I'm still not out of here. Welcome to Pals of the Dead. You wanted Necromancer, huh? Okay. I haven't been keeping count, but it's a high it's definitely a high amount. I lost Pox, so that's cool. Imagine this was on Astro. Can you imagine this was Astro right now. Hey, I'm out. We're gonna do a 30 second ad. BRB, 30 seconds. Why'd it have to be Gloom? Why'd it have to be Mimics on top of an exit? Take Pox again. Shit. I still have Steel on. Man, I'm really thinking about it using that damn strength right now. I probably should. Probably will. Let me just get rid of this thing first. Witching, that's good. I do have to kill at least one more mimic because of its position. I'm not sure if I want to re-up the steel quite yet, so we'll probably sit on that for a bit. Definitely would like to use it a little bit later. 
Um, I'm trying to see. That looks like a silver chest over there. There is a steel. You drop the bronze. That is a silver, so I'll pull this. No dice. I don't want to be stuck here. Oh! I just pulled the wrong one. Nice. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna probably steal now. Didn't mean to pull that one. Thought I had the uh, the other one targeted, but I guess not. My bad. I got it so far. So far, I got it. Uh, me, you thanks for the follow earlier. Appreciate that. I do want to get that. I, I want to get to all the bronze chests. Uh, I'm sorry. I want to get to all the gold chests for sure. We must. And there's that patrol, and it's coming this way. I need to deal with this mimic because it is in the way. The other one doesn't give me a problem, but if I open the exit right now, I don't want to make sure that it opens because of this, not the other one. <laughs> Watching the course, he is going straight. Forward and back, yeah. My playlist knows when to bring up the songs. Alright, 22 minutes in the first two floors, that is time efficient, let me tell you, very time efficient. <clears throat> yeah, let's check the other chests first before we proceed. No chest there. Strength came back, it's extremely good. We got one more, we got two more made. Would you just yell the rest of the altars at this point? Um, actually the first thing I'm doing is a flight, uh, first. Because we want to push that down to two. Um, which I'll do right now. Uh, we want to push it down to two. Because I don't want to overcap and have extras coming in. But I will then burn off the alterations early. I, I'd rather have the alterations early than later. My usual play is to burn off alterations at the beginning, to begin with. That's usually what I do. But now that we're pushing down to 36, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm getting the most out of all my comms right now. Shit, I just... I do want to do Alter into Affluence, though. I'm just gonna get rid of this so it's not walking around anymore. It's copying me. Hopefully it doesn't use its MP. Picking up the two strengths so was very nice. That's gonna really, really help me. That's for sure. I am down to two Serenity too, something I need to bear in mind. Okay. 
should be cleared. Oh god damn it! I didn't think I'd aggro that. Well, that's a waste of time. Uh, we'll do a flight. And I'll do an affluence alter. And then probably flight flights and then see what happens after that. This is a mistake that shouldn't have happened though. I could have been very careful. I'm gonna flight on the on the exit. Hopefully one of these alterations gives me a, uh... Gives me a, uh... Something. Corgans. Mandy's. Sounds like no debuff and an, in and an intuition. Good. Okay, this is flighted. Got a rage in. Good. No luck there. Angelus Mimic Bomber hey. Animate. Gratis! Hey, thank you for the 10 months, I appreciate that. Well, the rage will definitely help. We still have to just make sure we utilize it correctly. I can re-up my strength, that's for sure, and I think I will after this kill. Once we pull. I'm going, Sig, I'm going. We're gonna do this setup for the next room. Alter, affluence. And could give me a pot shirt. Okay, Shine here. Oh, Sig got Omni! Hey, congratulations, Sig. Let's go, dude. Finally got the Astro clear, huh? Well done. Hey, Blappy! Hey, it's that raid, dude. Safety. Congrats, Sig. Well done. Good work. I knew you could do it. Serenity came back. Hog. Hey Blappy, how's your stream? Thank you. I'm gonna need some good luck. Time's a little spicy right now. But we're doing our best. How's your stream? Guys, check out Blappy. Does Final Fantasy 14. Does some raiding. I know that for sure. Hope you had a wonderful stream. We reached the last ball. Hey, Yo, let's go. Almost there, P P7. Just a matter of time. 10 seconds on my steal. Okay, no more steals, so I need to be a little bit careful here. Um, yeah, you know. We had a, we had a, um, we had a 15, 16 minute first floor. So time is just a little spicy right now, but other than that, it's not it's not too bad. Definitely have ways of speeding up, that's for sure. Yeah, time it does suck, but we'll try our best. No more racing either, so that sucks. I didn't think I'd open the exit, but it's alright. It should open, I think, on this one.
Yeah, it's good. But I don't have steel, so the resos are gonna be pretty ballsy, to say the least. Okay. So 94. I definitely want to get rid of these altars though, but 94, 95, 96, altar, 7, 8. Actually, I probably should flight from here on after this. I guess get through this floor and we're good. Ugh, oh, what a disgusting floor. Did I- I just altered this, right? Okay, we did get Mandy's, and we got four of them. So let's do the fortune here. Oh, sight. Ah, excellent. Thank you. Oh! Bulls are pretty good right now. We're gonna do a flight. Damn it! I get a single pot shirt. Feels bad. Are oh, you gonna get dragged to the exit to the spawn room here? I need to watch the patrol coming in, which I know exists and it's over there. Gaze. I want to skip the patrol because there's an onyx dragon, which is which is which is a proximity. Oh crap! We're already out. Okay, that's a really fast forward. Uh, I don't get that chest unless I pull the. Hello? Okay. I'll pull it. I'll, I want to get that chest. This is an easy fight anyway, so it's okay. <clears throat> Need to watch out for the patrol. Hope I can kill this fast enough. You managed to farm many potions during the run? Yeah, I have to use, I think, 20 to get back on par. So I've farmed like 11 so far. I might do another... I might do a red mage run next week to kind of help me farm again. I really need more potions. We got, we got a bit. Yo, turn the AC on. Thanks for the 15 months. I really appreciate that continued support. Uh, this Hippograph is a jerk. He's probably gonna aggro. I'm just gonna bail out. Hold on. Let's just think this over. Okay, good. I have to wait anyway. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Thank you for, for passing by. It's late. Why should I still in the other room? Yeah, I thought about that, but it, it's a far drop. Far drag over there. Get this chest. Even if it, it's the, if this is the mimic, I'd probably drag it to the silver, to be fair. Okay, kind of worth it. Alright. Yo, Lindar, hello. Uh, Sukoi, thanks for follow. I gotta squeeze in one more 30 second ad. Uh, I will do it after this one. This is flighted. Blinded, okay. Um, let's do the race. No dice.
gonna deal with this floor because um, it is it is flighted, so we should need less kills here. Incoming patrol. So right now we're looking at 96 will be flighted, 97, 98, maybe rage rage. I could do a double rage too. I can do rezo actually for 97 and then rage rage 90, 99. And I can do three vessels on one floor, that's kind of the plan right now. So the time still is a little spicy, but we have the play... Oh, we have the... we have the resources to finish this... to finish this out. It's... here. Hellbat, hello. I got another patrol coming in. I'll have to... type this around a little bit. No fun. I would prefer not to because of the risk that can create. If I get a floor that has no knockback, it's really bad. So I'd rather do a full floor with a rage and then another full floor with a rage. Assuming I, I provide myself enough time to do so, that would be ideal. Emergency would be to do a double rage. I tend not to like it here if I can help it. Or if I was a healer. If I was a healer, yeah, I would probably do it, but... Considering the, the tough, how tough time is right now, I don't want to do too much of a risk. Okay, I want to kind of make sure I clear up the exit, so we're going to probably get the dragon over there. I'm gonna get this, but I'm gonna back out. There's the palm tree. Flight. Multiple patrols. I do- I definitely want to get rid of the onyx dragon because it's prox. Had to jump because of the height difference there. Potcher, good. Where are the potchers coming in? Yo, Bowie, good morning, dude. Thanks for passing by. Bastion going that way. Okay, there is a chest over there, but it's guarded by a wraith. And there's... that's a treasure room, okay. Thankfully, it's not in the exit. But I don't know if I want to deal with that treasure room, because there's... There's probably not much I can bother to squeeze out of that room. Okay, Wraith it is, so I can get the chest. Unfortunately, it's going to be the Wraith first, then the chest, which could be a problem. There better not be something behind me, I'm going to be very upset. Oh god, well, Salted Earth should get out of here by the time. I will need to stun. Okay. Intuition, yes. Thank you. Um, I guess I can do another fashion, which I can do LOSing for too. Potion. Come here, come here, come here. Mitigate damage here. We have boxes, so we can do boxes. And boxes are fun. Kind of. Oh, bye. They are solid objects. Ninyao, hey, thanks for the six months. Maybe. Well, I'm gonna try. Just I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Another clear, maybe. I'm gonna try. We should have the resources to do it. It's just time that's gonna be uh, a little spicy. Nice, I missed. Alright, there we go. We're not taking damage. 
Oh, five. Okay. Let's go to the exits. Except I have to wait because that fashion's coming. I'll squeeze the 30 second ad in right now and then that'll be it for ads for the rest of the stream. So 30, thir 30 minutes. I say 30 minutes. 30 seconds. BRB, 30 seconds. Go watch a 30 minute ad. BRB. Is there somewhere outside Deep Dungeon you can practice LOSing? Um, yeah. I mean, you could do- you can just walk into 51. Uh, 51 can- can have, like, puddings. Floor 1 can have the fire sprites, that's for sure. Okay, how's my thing? So this is blinded. This is flighted, right? This was flighted? I believe I flighted this floor. So I need to try to fight through it, and then I'll have Serenities all the way through. And we get the- we get the old-fashioned, uh, exit room, a treasure room. Everyone's favorites. Make sure this thing doesn't actually kill me. Actually, it might be a smart idea to maybe do a rezo here. Use one of the rezos here. Because of how long it's going to take me to kill this floor. Considering time is a problem as well. I can get this chest clean. I could get that chest clean. Wait, I have four floors left. Okay, so I already know what this room looks like. Oh, steel's very good. I'm going to safety first. Okay, that steel is going to come into play very soon. I'm going to squeeze out this chest and then we'll clear up the exit room. I guess I'm pulling this, huh? Oh, I'm not! Oh, that's shocking. I probably- I, I bet I aggro it on the way back, though. Okay. Steel. Make this a little safe. I cannot take Pox here. If I take Pox, I actually make this so much more difficult. So one thing that's nice with the transformations as well... They don't miss. So we're blinded. But my resolutions will not miss. And that's... Convenient, to say the least. That's also one reason why I'm thinking about doing it, even though this is a flighted floor, I can at least get rid of that treasure room. Does Pox have a range limit? Uh, end of the universe to end of the universe. But we can't go that distance, so we'll never find out. I've seen a- I've seen a- I've seen a Mimic shoot a Pox, like, literally across the big room. So that's- they just don't care. They defied the laws of range. Yeah, outrun it, LOS it. No, it just it just gets to you. It's like a heat-seeking missile. There's a fashion here. Fashion is not undead. Can I not miss? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Are you ready? I'm gonna bait these things to shoot at me. One, and give me the second one. Yeah, I know. I, I believe in you. It's not gonna do it. Okay, so that will aggro. So we eliminate that one. Uh, it's a little bit too early, I think. Oh, I got him. Oh. Knight has to go. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Okay, it's good. It's okay, with tank privilege, it's fine. Gotta hurry up, though. I need to get rid of this knight.
I missed. Feels bad. Hey, Purity, just in case I take another pox. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna wait for that next floor. Alright, so we rezo these two, and then we rage the last two, which we have Serenities for. So we have Serenity all the way up, Sights and Safeties all the way up. And that's, of course, gonna be a Serenity. So let's do a... Um, hmm. Maybe a Safety here. I don't know where the exit is, though. Do I get both? I don't think I get both. Oh yeah, this was a bad choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was not a great option. <clears throat> I died in two shots. Okay. Um, here. Well, as long as I don't make a mistake, which is viable, which is possible. If we don't get a treasure room, you know, a treasure room could also become a problem. I'm a tank, I'm a tank, I'm a tank, I'm a tank, I'm a tank. Oh, I missed. Uh, where's the exit? That's the exit, okay. So we do the last rezo here. Last was are here. I don't check chests right now because it kind of doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, clean. Off to the next floor. Yeah, I mean we took a 15-minute first floor, but we we're still able to. Pull it through, this one's. Okay, sights. Serenity. That's a treasure room. Guess I will indeed with that room. I'll check this one chest though. Intuition, ayo. Alright, let's not screw this up. One. Two. There's a nice glowing trap over there. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, that's it. Alright. Enough for a uh, two kill, that's cool. Enough for a double rage, I mean. My playlist was playing this song, and the game was playing this song. My playlist and the game lined up music today. I'll kill these two and then sight and then finish them. Okay, check the chests. Hey look, it's a mimic! <clears throat> One more for the road. Very serious, the best. It's good. Wait, oh, I didn't serenity. Oh, oops. See, I told you I could make a mistake. I didn't serenity. So we just have to make sure we don't take too many hits here, otherwise, I have to actually fight something. No problem. We don't care we had a 15 minute floor, it's okay. You just, uh. You just, be you just level out your palms. Now, man, if I could just do this on Astro, that'd be great. <laughs> just have to do this on Astro, right, guys? Oh. It's okay. I will. I need to farm. I only got. 
I think I only got uh, 13 potsherds, so I have to probably do one more week of with, um, farming. Ew, it's a fire crest. Ew. 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 Hey, thanks for watching the journey, guys. Let's go. Fire crest. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And I get to play with the moments? Where's the moment thingy? Where's that moment thing? This one. Moment. Create a moment. We've created a moment of the Dark Knight clear. Let's go. Alright. Let's get my screenshot. Oh, I gotta face the... Wait, I gotta face the camera. So, Give me... Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's a good screenshot. A little angled. Gotta see the face. There you go. Let's go! Alright, I, this should not be a high score. <laughs> I, I mean, I didn't do Dark Knight well the first time, but I mean, this shouldn't be high score. <clears throat> 1 to 200. Let's go. Hey, it is a high score. Well, that's fun. Not that I was trying, but I, I'll take it. Cool. Alright, cool. There you go. Well, Dark Knight's really good. Is it better than Warrior? Hmm. I don't know. I think I still like Warrior better. But I think I will say that Dark Knight Behemoth felt better than Warrior. I think that I'll say. There's just less to worry about. It's just like burn your resources. Uh, do a tincture or just do Living Dead and just like run and just run your rotation. It's really not that bad. I mean, Warrior is like it's a little complicated because you have to worry about when you're using Thrill, when you're using Equal, when you're doing Raw Intuition. Actually, if anything, Raw Intuition is the difficult part because you don't want to clip your GCD. Whereas now, on Dark Knight, you don't have to worry about clipping your GCD and Blood Weapon because it stacks. So it kind of makes it a little bit... That, that made it a lot less stressful, you know? Trying to get that right timing. But... Of course I'm following her adventures. She keeps looking at my video and making fun of me, so I have to watch her adventures, dude. She goes to the part of my warrior video where I say it's easy and then she like laughs in my face. <laughs> and then she gets really angry. <laughs> I wish I could help Zeppla with her stuff. She'll get it, dude. She's she's a gamer. She's gonna figure it out. She's a very smart lady, and she's gonna figure it out. No problem. She's getting so much better, dude. She's gotten to 183 times straight. I mean that 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 alone is already more than what a lot of people are able to do. She just has to clean up Behemoth. That's it. Did I come? I came ahead, but this is not enough for like more Astro. That's for sure. Because I have to use I think 20 here. Um. So that puts me at 26. Yeah. We're gonna do so. Here's here's the uh, here's the plan. Okay, next week we'll go to do red mage. We'll return to red mage for that for that no potion uh, sustaining potion run that I keep botching. It's either I disconnect or I die to stupid things. So we'll do it again next week. So that's a pure form, um, and then probably the week after we get back to Astro. So two weeks, um, we'll do it. But tomorrow I am live. If you guys want to catch me live tomorrow, we're working on stray speed running. And I have a path to world record. I had world record, and then I lost it, and then I got it again, and then I lost it again. So I have a path to it, and uh, if you want to see that tomorrow, that's 9 p.m. Eastern. Maybe earlier, depends on how I feel. Sunday is Heaven on High, but I don't know what I'm doing. I'll figure it out uh, over the weekend. So we'll do something on Heaven on High. I'm not sure what job, but we'll do something. And then next week we'll go back into... Um... I had it. Yeah, for PS5, I had it. And then people got faster. It's very competitive there. But that'll be tomorrow, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, and then Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern for Heaven on High. Nothing Saturday, because I'm not doing Astro. Saturday's clear. And then Heaven on High, and then Red Mage, uh, Palace of Death. Thank you, guys. This is definitely going up on the YouTube. And if you haven't already, we do have the YouTube channels. The first one is where all this stuff shows up. The second one is where, like, my stray stuff comes up, and all the variety stuff. So if you want to check either of those channels, good. Discord. I encourage everyone to join Discord if you want to learn Deep Dungeon Solo and all that stuff. It's there. All the information is there. We like to chat. We like to help everyone. So Discord's very, very good. And it's prepping for the next one. The next one's in about January to March of next year, 2023. So we're all prepping for that next one. So if you want a Discord to be ready to go when the new Deep Dungeon comes in, especially for Solo, jump in ours and we'll, we'll be ready for that. And then Twitter's when I announce to go live. So thank you for everyone who passed by, who watched... Uh, if you joined the moment, maybe, I don't know if you joined the moment, anyway. Thank you for being here. Uh, let's go find someone to drop you guys off. See who's up, He's, see who's alive. See who's playing the game. Um, 
Let's see. Who can I send you guys off to? Da, 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 da. Um. Let's go to. You know, I haven't raided. Um, I haven't raided this gentleman in a while, and he's gonna go for a while. Um, he's on. I believe he's on the Oceanic server. He's a raider. He's a good man. Um. And he usually starts stream around this time. But some of you guys might know him if you if you're late night guys and raiding guys. Um, we'll go to Mr. Gerald. Haven't said hi to Gerald in a long time, so we'll go to Mr. Gerald Hart. Um, he'll treat you guys well. If you guys have raiding questions, definitely go to him. If you guys have my raid message, we got the one, we got the two. Gady, thanks for being here. If you have subs, you can do the first one. If you don't have subs, you can do the second one. I'll drop you guys off there. Thank you again. Hope to catch you tomorrow. If not Sunday, if not. Next Tuesday. Nina, good to see you. Have a good night, weekend, everything. Be well, and I'll catch you next time. Let's go to jail. See you guys. Wait now.